Springtime is just around the corner. Recent excursions have left you all with a lot to consider, but classes continue to come at you unyielding. A few weeks have passed, but given everything that's happened, Chrysalis allowed the whole class extensions on your group biology reports, and now it's time to grade them. Uh, so really quick, we're about to take a mundane test, but before we do that, I just want to remind you guys what what parts of the cell you guys picked, because I think it's very interesting. Alex, you worked with Nelson and Evan on the mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cell. Jay, you worked with Maya and Aiden on the Golgi apparatus, which modifies, sorts, and packages substances for use within the cell like a factory. Echo, you worked with Danny on the endoplasmic reticulum, a highway network within the cell through which other molecules move. Lily, you worked with Olivia and Gabe on the Nucleus, the cell's control center. And Terry, you worked with Lawrence and Triffany on the membrane, which separates and protects the interior of the cell from the outside environment. Just interesting uh, how those kind of lined up. I, I realized looking over them, I was like, hmm, they all picked parts of the cell that uh, feel kind of, uh, feel kind of fitting. Uh, <laughs> But now, we're going to do a mundane test, which the test rules are in our uh, handouts, but everyone is going to roll plus mundane, and then depending on what you get, we will figure out how you guys do on your part of the report. Fingers Who crossed. is this report for again? It was for... Chrysalis. Chrysalis, right. This is biology. Fuck! Oh, oh, no. oh, oh dear. No. We all suck at sight. <laughs> Damn. Mm, let me channel a little. Mm, I want a four. No, you don't. Damn it! You got to the end. <laughs> Take double a four. <laughs> Wanted to be bad. Okay. So nothing amazing across the board, but we'll we'll go down from the top. So oh. Alex, uh, on your part of your report, you got a nine, uh, which is you know a partial hit. You did all right but you had to sacrifice something to make the cut. Uh, additionally, I'm going to give everybody a default plus one because you have people that you're working with. As we go down, I'll see if that actually affects some of you or oh, not. does that save me? Uh, I don't know if that's <laughs> it. Um, but so, Alex, your nine is bumped up to a 10. Uh, so oh, yeah. you pass with flying colors. Uh, you were able to work. I mean, Nelson carried. Nelson carried hard. Uh, <laughs> Evan carried uh, the presentation pretty well. You know, he's a very personable guy, and you were able to help carry the research just thanks to having a lot of time recovering from when you were hit by a meteor. Uh, so yep. you did you did amazing. Uh, you can mark one potential or shift mundane up and any other label down, your choice. Mm -hmm. uh, additionally, as a reminder today, we're not marking potential on failed roles, but if you get potential through other ways, we will still be marking so if if i like i already have all five potential checked from last time where i still need an advancement can i like uncheck those and start over or do i have yeah, to yeah, uh, uncheck those and start over and just add an advancement that says you unlocked it but you haven't picked it yet okay yeah do you want to mark one potential or do you want to shift your labels hmm I'm pretty happy with my labels right now. So I'm, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just do the mark potential. All right. Then we'll move down to Jay. Uh, Jay, you got a four, bump that up to a five. That is still sadly a miss. Uh, so you blew it hard. Uh, and the faculty <laughs> and people around you who care about you are gonna come down on you. So, you know, just prepare yourself as you're working with Maya and Aiden and you know, trying to get the right research together. Um, but, you know, Jay might not be as forward about doing these kinds of projects as maybe Joe was, and you've been quite busy lately. Maya mm -hmm. is preoccupied, given what you guys have asked her to do, and Aiden cannot carry a project. So you guys didn't do very well. Makes uh, sense. But you at least, you know, <laughs> you were able to put your piece of the cell together. Uh, Lily. Oh, dear. You, you also did very poorly, so 
you also blew it pretty hard. Did you count it with the one? <laughs> yep, I counted it with the plus one. And, uh, sad I to say. Demand a recount. <laughs> sad to say, you still didn't do great. Uh, you know, Gabe is just very... He's very hands-off. He was trying to help put stuff together, but he's a very hands-off guy. You've been very busy lately. Olivia's kind of been trying, but she's just... It, it just really didn't come together very well. Uh, and on top of that, none of you were really able to lead in the presentation super well with stuff on your mind and Olivia and Gabe being your partner. Yeah, bro, I'm so, busy. Yeah, it's, you, you've had other stuff, so once again, faculty, Wasn't... people care about you're going to come down on you for this. We were using, like, candy or something for this project, weren't we? Yes, we were. Yeah, and I think our group, I think I think I'd said Lily's group is, like, our plan was to just chew a bunch of gum and make it into a nucleus by just making a huge gumball. Yeah. <laughs> and so you you turn that in and it's like... Uh, it really goes like a, through a week and it's like, fuck, I totally forgot I was supposed to be chewing gum this whole time. <laughs> uh, next on the list is Terry, uh, which with a plus one, you're at a nine, so it's still a partial hit. So... Terry, you, Lawrence, and Triffany, you did all right, but you had to sacrifice something to make the cut. So you can choose one from the list, uh, which is in, again, the test handout, or I can read them out to you. Oh, no. Terry turbo crut like crutched on Triffany and like sacrificed his social life, so I'll give her influence. Okay. Makes sense. He's been doing other things. There's been more science to do. Yeah, Terry's been preoccupied, and Lawrence is definitely not doing anything with the project, so Triffany cared for you guys, and yeah, uh, give her influence. And then we move down to Echo, which, same thing, seven up to an eight, still a partial hit, so you also have to sacrifice something to make the and cut as you're working with Danny. Can I, can I, can I, can I, uh, make a, can I make a suggestion? Okay. Could Echo have gotten an extension because he had his neck slip? You, you all did get extensions. It's been a little bit of time since all this happened. So the, the extension was kind of like doubling the deadline you all had. Uh, ah. So you you did ah. get an extension. How long are you going to milk this whole, oh, my neck was slid open thing. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, I almost died. <laughs> oh, I almost died. <laughs> get over it. <laughs> so which, which one do you want to take from the list? Uh... Probably he feels bad he disappointed Chrysalis again, which means because Jerry has influence, you can shift my labels. That's true. Uh, let me look at your labels really fast and figure out what does she want to see from Echo. Danger negative one, freak one, uh, savior negative one, uh, superior two, uh, uh, mundane, three. Uh, mundane three. Um, that's some of my five labels. That's it's a uh, four. Uh, no four. Yes, uh. <laughs> snapping my fingers. Uh, your mundane is maxed out already. Yes. Uh, really? Yeah, he, yeah, Echo has maxed out Mundane. Damn. Does not comfort or support people very often. Um, okay. I don't know how that came to be. That's a good <laughs> question. You, you've been you've been humbled a lot and have been learning a lot about Earth, so it makes sense. You've been learning a lot about Earth culture and being like, okay, I want to try to feel more normal. And you've been dealing with a lot of normal problems. Uh, I think Chrysalis given the situation that got your neck slit uh you know she kind of pulls you aside after one of the classes and talks to you about this and you can tell you disappointed her and you feel kind of bad but it's not that she's disappointed in you she's just kind of disappointed in general because she, ob she obviously wants what's best for you mm -hmm. uh and in her lecture she kind of talks with you again about what you guys discussed in the medical bay you know you you need to be a little more careful your powers let you go just about anywhere but that can be very dangerous and put you in a lot of danger when you're on your own so she's going to shift your danger down because she doesn't want you to be in those situations oh, and no. she's going to shift superior up because she just wants you to keep a sharp a sharp eye out around you and keep yourself and the other people around you safe and also again just kind of lecturing you about school and studying and whatnot Sounds good. But all right. Uh, with all of that, all of your you guys, you, you turn in these projects. Uh, and with that behind you, we move into homeroom at the top of a new day. I'll 
zoom in here. As it's the start of a new day, and Nightwalker stands at the front of the class, starting his usual morning lecture. Good morning, class. As you all have learned, heroes come in many kinds, and it's important to know where your skills are best utilized. Whether your skills lend themselves to evacuating civilians, or to investigation and ambush, each hero has a job to do, a role to fill. Regardless of preference between working solo or joining a team, there come times when you must work with others to get a job done, whether by the limits of your capabilities or the limits of being an individual. As such, the next few weeks will be focused on teamwork, to work in duos or even larger groups. We've dabbled in the idea across our exercises, but we must hone our synergy and adaptability aimed at a common goal. For our first exercise, we're starting light. Later today, we will be playing a game of kickball against class 1A. Our class will be working together under one goal, to score more points than the other team. We will go over specifics before the game. Understood? Yes, Mr. Nightwalker. Yeah, yes, Mr. Nightwalker. Yes, Mr. Nightwalker. <laughs> <laughs> Terry raises his hand. He looks to you and, and nods. Yes, Mr. Damon Tim. Uh, I know you said like specifics will be elaborated on, but just like to clear it, just to get it clear, is this a, is this a powers thing or is this a no powers thing? He he gives a little smirk and uh, offers a little nod and just says, "In advance of the game, I will inform you all. Powers are to be allowed during this game." Okay, just wanted to know what headspace I needed to be in. He nods and then looks around. Are there any other questions? scans the room and yeah no... jay's just kind of nodding at in, in like waiting for the next uh, portion to come up mm -hmm. then he gives a nod and says very good then you may relax for the rest of homeroom and with that he turns on his heel and goes to sit at his desk as usual and of course you all have a little bit of time before the bell rings uh and, you know, everybody kind of starts murmuring in the class. Uh, mm -hmm. But after the mention of kickball, Lawrence raises his hand now, and Nightwalker looks over and just says, Yes, Lawrence. Uh, I, I don't... I, I don't feel well. Can I go to the nurse's office? <laughs> uh, yes, you may. And he'll, he'll nod and kind of stand up and wobble a little bit before walking around the desks and heading out towards the hallway. Uh, can I roll superior to see if he's faking it? Yeah, sure. Or would that be more Pierce the Mask? Uh, no, yeah, that would be Pierce the Mask. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, you get three questions on Lawrence. Uh, yeah, no, he's he's very clearly faking it, right? Uh, no, as you're watching him walk, he does actually look quite ill. Oh. Wow, that's a surprise. Uh, can I tell what's wrong with him? You're you're looking over him, and Spark is kind of analyzing, and you're even able to pick up some of his vitals, and his vitals look completely out of whack. You you can't tell what's wrong with him, but he definitely he definitely seems to be dealing with something. It, it almost reads like he's having a panic attack. Oh. Um Is there any clear indication of what caused it? You were kind of keeping an eye on everyone uh, during when Nightwalker was talking about this. When he mentioned kickball, you might not know what kickball is, but you can kind of guess. Like, okay, we're going to kick a ball around, sure. Reminds me of dodgeball. And you looked around, some people were excited, some people weren't. But it seemed like Lawrence wasn't really paying attention, so you don't think that caused it, but you're not really sure what else could have caused it. Hmm. There's no, like, obvious bite mark on his neck or something. No, no, nothing like that. Okay, good to know. Um, Echo's gonna kind of raise his goggles uh, and kind of look over to Terry. Terry, what are you, what are you feeling with Lauren saying he's sick? Oh. Terry is just watching him silently. <laughs> okay, do you want to do anything or do you just want to let him go? 
Oh, Terry's going to let him go. If he feels sick, he should go to the nurse's office. All right. And yeah, with that, the doors whiz open. He goes out into the hallway. Thank you for the... Thank you for the inspiration, Daco. The what? Inspiration. Look in the, look in the general chat. <laughs> so he's so quick with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good thing. But all right. Incredible. Yeah, with that, again, you guys have some time in homeroom here uh, just to talk amongst yourselves or, or do anything as you need with the little bit of time you have before the bell rings. And I just want to clarify, how many days has it been since our last session again? Or has it just been like a day or? Uh, it's been a couple of days. We're, we're in a new week now. The, the last session happened over the course of a weekend. Okay. Uh, Lily would Lily would get up and move over. Yeah, I mean, we're allowed to get up. We're allowed to talk amongst ourselves, right? Yeah, you are. Okay, good. Lily, Lily would come over to Danny's uh, desk for a moment, just like tap her shoulder. She looks over her shoulder at you and looks up kind of over her sunglasses. What's up? Hey, real quick. Just want to, you know, now that we know what's going on later today, uh, just want to give the heads up. Y do you know who Eugene is from Class 1A? Yeah, I've seen him around. Uh, yeah, he's the guy who kicked Echo's ass in like <laughs> the first week or whatever. Yeah, that's right. Uh, don't let him like touch you or get near you at all. Yeah, he's got those weird tentacle things that steal people's powers, right? Yeah. She gives a nod and says, "I'll keep him in mind." I think I think it's so long as we, it's so long as we have you and they don't have anything similar to you. I feel like this is an easy dub. Yeah, she she gives a little smirk at you and goes for a fist bump and says, "Absolutely." She returns it, fist bump, and then just goes back to her desk. All right. And Jay, what are you thinking uh, back here in the corner of class? Well, I just kind of watched that conversation happen. Mm -hmm. um, because it's like right in front of my desk. And then I kind of look around to see if anyone's looking at me. And then I just look to Maya and I just go, hey, uh, how's, your, how's your week been going? Oh, uh, it's been fine. And she kind of looks around the room a bit. And, you know, eyes aren't really on you guys at this point. And she speaks lowly to you and says... I've been keeping up with what you guys asked me to do. I don't know if you want to talk about that after school today. Uh, sure, we can talk after school. Sure. She nods. And then just kind of sighs and says, Other than that, not very eventful. Kind of pissed about the project, but whatever. What do you do? Yeah, I really dropped the ball on that one. Hey, I did too. And Aiden, I guess, but... Well, again, what will you do? Maybe we can see if there's extra credit? She kind of thinks to herself. She's like, I never really consider extra credit. There probably is. I mean, if we do hey. more community service. I'll ask for us. She nods. I'm gonna walk up past everyone. Uh, Mr. Nightwalker. You walk up and Nightwalker's tapping away at, on his computer and he looks over to you before kind of putting his hands in his lap and turning to face you. Yes, Jay. I was wondering if there's any extra credit we can do to bring up our grade. He looks you over and gives a nod and just says, yes, if you were to speak with the student council, or if you were to give me time to speak with the student council, there is work to be done. All right. Thanks. He nods and also just uh, kind of nods over in Nelson's direction and says he does quite a bit of extra credit himself, so he would be someone good to ask. Right. Kind of looking at Nelson. It's like, this guy stole my job. <laughs> <laughs> you were impeached. Get over it. <laughs> I was impeached on no grounds. <laughs> We no didn't grounds for, you. for Those are the grounds. I'm Ego the death. same person, but also the different person. It's, you can't I don't be the really... different person, but also when it benefits you, but then be the same person when it benefits you. Pick a side. I'll never pick a side. As, <laughs> as you walk Gender over, is a meaningless construct. 
That's so true. Okay, hang on, based though. <laughs> you walk over and uh, Nelson's been like, you know, flipping through one of the textbooks and kind of looking over and, and chatting up Alex. Uh, and you, you come over and he opens up to you and just says, Ah, hello, Jay. How are you doing this morning? Uh, not not as good as I could be doing. I didn't do very well on my biology assignment. Oh, uh, that is right. I, I do remember that. I'm sorry to hear about that. Do you have any extra credit that me and Maya and Aiden could do to maybe bring that grade up? Hmm. Well, I am going around the city and picking up a bit of trash for extra credit if you all would like to join me. Kind of like, I look to Maya in the back, um, and then look back to Nelson and is like, yeah, I think we could pick up trash, sure. Oh, excellent. I was the only person who picked up that job, so it'll be nice to have some company. <laughs> that, that'll be nice, yeah. I'll let the group know. Oh, and uh, excellent that you're looking for more opportunities. Uh, I hear that your club recently went to the Haven Park Homeless Shelter? Yeah, we did. Um, we still have to do some more for that um, place as well. I promised that we'd be coming out there more often as well, um, since what happened to the owner of it. I did hear about that. But it is wonderful that you all did that work in the first place and plan to return. The place could really use the help, I'm sure, so... Well, I'm sure it doesn't mean much coming from me, but... Even I would like to thank you for doing work with them. Yeah, I mean, of course. He just offers you a little smile. And if you're doing any work for them, just call on me for an extra pair of hands. Or 20. That's actually a really good point. I was talking about talking to, um... What if, is it like the engineering club or is it the mechanic club? I forget. What's the club that echoes in again? Oh, uh, the technical course is they they technical have an they, course. well the technical course has an engineering club that Echo has joined. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Jay would just say I was also talking about maybe partnering with the engineering club as the um, shelter actually has a couple of appliances that are broken in the kitchen that could probably use. Uh, a much more intense fix than what I was able to provide while I was there. Oh, that's an excellent idea, Jay! I, I just gotta work up the courage to go and talk to them. Hmm. Well, you could always send Echo as an envoy. Yeah, I guess that's true. Just gotta work up the courage to ask Echo, oh, Echo to do anything for me. Hmm. Well... If you need anything from me, again, I will be more than happy to help wherever necessary. Thanks, Nelson. I appreciate it. He smiles and then just says, Oh, um, by the way, we're going to have a meeting with the student council after school this afternoon. Uh, nothing important, but, well, it's relatively important. Uh, either way, just one of our regular meetings. Wanted to be sure to remind you since you've been away recently. Okay, I'll, I'll be there. He nods. Thanks. All right. Um. Does another nod too, and just walks back, and kind of just takes a minute to sit down and be like, "We are picking up trash." <laughs> yeah. You sit <laughs> down, and Maya hears that and kind of raises a brow, and uh, we'll we'll move across the room to Terry. Mm -hmm. uh, Terry, what, what are you thinking right now? Just kind of biding your time in homeroom. Well, other than you know the thing Terry's thinking about most of the time, he's thinking about how much of a bloodbath this kickball game is going to be and how much <laughs> he is going to want to avoid getting trucked by people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good, also good moderately concerned mind. about Lawrence mm -hmm. for multiple reasons. Makes sense. And uh, we'll kind of look over Terry's shoulder at Echo and Echo, what are you thinking about in Homeroom? Uh, Echo's kind of just hanging out. He's kind of wondering what's going on with Lawrence, because, like, Lawrence... He expected Lawrence to be, like, dodging uh, at first, but, like, now that he's actually sick, Echo's just kind of curious. He's like, what the fuck is up with that? Mm -hmm. um, but he's kind of just mulling over that, staying quiet, kind of just keeping to himself right now. All right. And then we'll pan over to the side to Alex, who... Alex, you, you were here chatting with Nelson a little bit and saw Jay <laughs> talk with Nelson a bit about the... Uh, extra credit and all of that 
What's Alex thinking? Alex is just um, relieved and thankful to Nelson for helping to carry um, the project so that she actually got a good grade and like the last big uh, math test where she failed horribly. <laughs> Yeah, you're, as you're talking with Nelson about this, you and Evan are both like, "Hey, man, you, you saved our hides," and he's like, "No, it was a, it was a team effort. We all worked together." But you know, you you both give him his flowers. Mm -hmm. And of course, Robert's kind of joking uh, in that little group with you guys as he's talking about his project with Priscilla and how it went surprisingly well. Although he does mention having to do basically all of it himself. <laughs> Yeah, as uh, we get to the back of the classroom, Lily, you come and sit after chatting with Danny real quick. What's going through Lily's head? Uh, I guess since there's nothing else, because yeah, it's just the dodgeball game. It's not like there's anything else really going on today as far as she's concerned. Mm -hmm. So I guess she's not dodgeball, kickball. Uh, I think she's probably like taking, looking around the class, just kind of thinking about people's powers. Because it's like now that that's on the mind. It's like, all right, how how good is our class at kickball, theoretically? Mm -hmm. It's like, probably pretty good. Yeah, I mean, we've got a lot of good superpowers. Uh, is there anything you want to roll to assess, or are you just kind of thinking in the back of Lily's head? She's just thinking. Okay. It's probably jotting down something, like little notes, mm -hmm. her thoughts on, like, her phone. Yeah. Well, with that, time passes, and... Uh, pretty soon, the bell rings and everyone is dismissed to leave homeroom for the day. Of course, everyone's picking up their stuff and heading out. Uh, and if anybody has any last things to do in homeroom, they may. Otherwise, we can move along. I'm good. All right. I'm good. Well, then with that, the school day passes by until lunchtime. And it feels like it's been a little while since we've had a normal lunch period. <laughs> but you all enter the dining hall and grab some food as usual before going to find your seats. And you can see that the seating arrangements have changed ever so slightly. Hmm. Hmm. I know you're gonna laugh the second I sat down. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and uh, Terry, what are you thinking of sitting? Hmm, looking around. Lawrence is gone, and that means we can't do any funny hijinks together, <laughs> which leaves only one option. Join <laughs> <laughs> the girls and Gabe. Yeah, the girl squad table. <laughs> Terry, through just general snap decision making, has decided this is the least infuriating group of people to be around when nothing's <laughs> happening. All right. Well, yeah. Uh, we'll we'll start with you guys first. As Lily, you walk over to your usual table, and Terry just sort of shadows you and comes over to sit with you guys. Oh shit! Hey, Terry. Oh, hey, Lily. Lily does a quick sweep around the lunchroom, looking for ah, uh, Lawrence gone, huh? Yeah, he's didn't look too good. I hope he's doing fine. Eh, he's probably just faking. Hmm. Potentially. That or he got bit by one of his own little creatures and gave himself a disease. More likely. I think that'd be deserved. So, Terry, I'm not going to be able to convince you to use your powers on the other team, am I? Because, <sighs> I mean, that'd be an easy, like, we'd just win. Yeah, but then I, there'd be, like, an entire class of people that directly hate me. Olivia is just, like, <laughs> sitting by quietly and just gives a little shudder and just says, That sounds kind of scary. Do you really care? I mean, no. like, fair if you do, but... Oh, no, I don't I don't care about them, mostly. I, I care about the fact they may retaliate. That's kind of the problem. 
Eh, who would retaliate? I, you know what, actually? The, whatever that guy's name is, the guy who fought Nelson, he'd probably try something. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I really should reinforce my windows, shouldn't I? I don't think you can. I think our windows are already reinforced somewhat. I have to test how durable those are. <laughs> Olivia just, her shoulders slump a bit, and she's like, Are you going to try to break your window? Hmm? Oh, no, I, I just go ask. I don't know. Who do you think is responsible for strut like this building and like repair of the school? Isn't one of the teachers like a tree? Yeah, I, yeah, but like, also do glass work? I don't know. Um, Mr. Thimble might know? Yeah. That's the bone. I'll ask isn't around. It? She nods. I hate that guy. Why do you hate Mr. <laughs> Thimble? It just gives me weird vibes. Oh. She kind of just looks down a little bit. You know what I think? You know what I think it is? <laughs> you know how he gives you little trinkets at the end of conversations with him? Yeah. I swear to God, he's just giving, he's just cleaning out his pockets. <laughs> I don't think that's true. I think he just thinks they're nice gifts. I swear to God, he just has garbage and is like, oh, how do I get rid of this? And just gives it to people. She, she looks down at a button in her hand. <laughs> She just kind of puts it in her pocket. Uh, Terry just kind of like takes a swig of a drink. <laughs> yeah, um, that would be really funny if he's been doing that for years. Uh, I mean, it'd be a good scam. It's not even a scam. It's just like needless, I guess. A good like, bit. Why would he do that? Is it a lesson to, like, not trust things? Is Maybe puts trackers on them. He tracks people. Do you think anyone in the school tracks people? We should talk yeah, to the probably. monitor. Gabe, Definitely Gabe. the monitor, right? Gabe just nods and says, absolutely. Yeah. And then Gabe mm -hmm. kind of holds up his student handbook and waves it a little bit as if signaling to it and then puts it away. Very, very true. And we'll... Don't break your student handbook. <laughs> oh no. Well, just, they're simply like taking into the account all the resources. All the ways they have eyes on you. Well, we'll, we'll pan over from this conversation to Alex and Jay, as you both sit down here with the rest of your class uh, and Nelson gives a little wave and just says, Hark! Hello! Hello? He did not just say, Hark. Is that what he just said? <laughs> he did. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Maya just looks at you and gives a little nod. I sit, I look at everybody's lunches. Yeah, everybody's got the, the usual kind of stuff. I say without being specific. Uh, that... <laughs> uh, you know, every, everybody's kind of just eating away, chatting. <laughs> yeah, bowls of gruel, etc. Uh, Evan, Evan just kind of looks over your guys' shoulders and nods a bit. Uh, his line of sight going over to Echo as he sits down in the distance and just says, "Oh, Echo's kind of brave," or I don't know what I call it. I guess. Alex turns around and sees that he chose to sit next to Eugene, and then turns back and says. Well, I'll definitely have to talk to him later to see how that went. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the kids in the other class are cool and all, but I know that there are some in that class that are kind of, uh, competitive. I mean, we've got competitive types too, but just going over to sit with them, knowing we're all going to be competing later today, it just, I don't know, kind of strikes me as funny. He chuckles to himself. Yeah, definitely bold move. I guess we'll see if he learns anything. 
Fingers crossed. And, uh, Maya just looks over to you, Jay, and asks, So, trash? We, we didn't really talk too much about that before the bell rang. Yeah, so, um, Nelson here is picking up trash in the city and invited us to join him, and it's for extra credit. She kind of blinks a little bit and raises her brows. Oh, okay, that sounds nice, I guess. Nelson just leans over the table and accidentally kind of bumps the table out of enthusiasm and just says, Once again, it'll be excellent to have people joining me for this, so I appreciate it very much. And he claps his hands together. I figure it's just like walking and enjoying the city, except we'll be picking things up along the way. Oh, I guess it's a good thing I can hold my breath for a really long time. And... Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Did you just ask, huh? <laughs> yeah, Jay. <laughs> also, I assume you've told what? Aiden that he's coming on this. Um, no, I haven't yet. Um, I'm gonna take this opportunity to just look at Aiden and be like, Aiden, you're coming too. You also need the grade bump. Oh, okay, thanks. Oh, uh, do I need to be able to breathe to help? <laughs> I, no, I, wait, why do we have to hold our breath? Oh, um. I mean, the trash is gonna smell pretty bad. Oh yeah, things things have smells. Oh yeah. Yeah, but I'll be able to handle it. Oh, and I can't smell anything! And Nelson just like, looking down at his food, light on his glasses, just says, I'll endure. I, I'll I, get nose plugs! <laughs> I don't know why I'm just laughing at the idea of Maya wearing a mask and all of her snakes also wearing little tiny masks. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> That'd be so cute. And she she shrugs and just says, "Lucky me <clears throat> having some snake biology. That's why I can hold my breath for so long." Hmm. That's actually really interesting. She gives a nod. It's very useful for staying covert. Let's me I... erase my presence, I guess. Hmm. I don't have to breathe technically either, but I never really thought about it as how it can make me more stealthy. He gives a nod. And Robert is just like looking between you guys and says, Well, I mean, it's not pretty work, but somebody needs to do it. I mean, I invite you too, Robert, if you'd like to come, but also no pressure. It is apparently going to be stinky. He waves his hand and just says, ah, I, I think I'm good, but, you know, you guys will make the best of it. It's not yeah. pretty work, but someone's got to do it. You want to join? <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no shot. <laughs> <laughs> you think, I'm gonna, you think um, I'm gonna go do that shit? No. That's disgusting. Uh, Jay also just takes a breath and says, I still have to reach out as well to the engineering club. Um, with some of the people of the technical course so that I can see if they will go to the shelter and help repair some of the stuff in the kitchen. But I'm not excited for it. Um, because even though kind of like looks back and then looks forward, even though me and Echo are cool, I still have a hard time sometimes talking to him. Um, and then if I go right into the engineering course, I have to talk to Kelsey, who makes me even more uncomfortable. So Kenzie. Kenzie, I'm sorry. Thank you. Yeah, you're. I haven't seen that. I haven't. I haven't seen her in a in a while. It's been a minute. Yeah, yeah. You're you're talking about this, and uh, every everyone at the table gives nods like they they all know what happened. They're they're all. They all saw that. <laughs> they all they saw, saw what happened at the dance. <laughs> they're yeah. You 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 get like a pat on the shoulder, and and everyone be like, <laughs> yeah, that's a yeah. Uh, <laughs> and Evan just sighs and says. Oh, well, hopefully Echo's gonna... <laughs> hopefully he's gonna drop that habit. Hopefully he already has, actually. I mean, he keeps trying to be my friend more, and I appreciate it. But I also am not over it yet? I don't know. You'd think that I would be. It's been a while. But just Joe is the coolest, and if Joe gets betrayed like that, what does that mean for me? Robert actually kind of... You know, he crosses his arms and leans on the table, and he says, uh, I want to ask this uh, in a 
respectful way, so, you know, I don't mean anything by it, and if you don't have an answer, you don't have to, but if it happened to Joe, how does it feel for you? I mean, do you remember it the same? Does it feel like it happened to somebody else? Not really. It's not like it happened to someone else. It still happened to me. It just happened to this other part of me. It's like... I haven't been around very long, but you ever think back about whenever maybe you were a kid and you were bullied by someone whenever you were really young? It's like that anger towards that bully never really goes away because it was to a kid version of you. It was to a version that was younger and nicer and maybe even more innocent. Someone who didn't have as much of a grasp on the world and yet someone was mean to you anyways. That's how it feels. It's like looking back on a younger part of me and I don't know, it makes me upset. Tiffany's antennas droop as she nods along, and Danny is just kind of like, you know, fist clenched on the table, just kind of, you know, idly listening, but not looking in your direction, and, you know, there's like a beat of silence after, and Evan just says, that was, that was really insightful, Jay. I, I get exactly what you mean. Jay kind of, like, realizes how tuned in everyone at the table is, and mm -hmm. is realizing, like, this this like passion coming from everyone here and it's just like thanks to everyone here i'm for caring and for listening and for understanding where i'm coming from i kind of feel crazy about it i feel like i should just let it go but then every time we start talking again i feel those feelings again and, and it's new nelson just <laughs> looks over to you with a with a smile and just says feelings are important jay One of the main things that make me not just a robot, kind of like does the robotic movements. <laughs> <laughs> Get some dry truffles. Man, you, you shouldn't necessarily force yourself to muscle through situations like that that make you uncomfortable, but I did want to comment on something else you said that um, the way someone else treats you doesn't have anything to do with you. All it ha the only person it reflects on is the person who behaved that way. Um, and as much as I, I care about Echo and value him a lot as a friend, I know that he's struggled a bit, um, just like you have in adjusting to life here and relationships with people. And I guess I'd, I hope that one day you guys can be friends, but I totally understand where you're coming from. And if there's anything that we can do to help uh, maybe communicate with the engineering club or anything like that. I'm sure all of us would be down to help. Hmm. <laughs> Jay like has this brief moment is like, you are pretty close friends with Echo, huh? <laughs> so real quick, uh, Alex, do you want to roll the comfort or support? Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. I don't do that very yeah. often. Let's see if that'll... Support me! Yeah. That's a partial hit, yeah. So, uh, Jay, you can either mark potential, clear condition, uh, or if you open up to Alex, uh, shift your labels. Hmm. I am going to, uh, wait, I mark a condition or unmark a condition? Uh, clear a condition. I'm and, going or, to clear or you can the mark guilty. Potential. Okay. Uh, I'm going to clear guilty, and because Jay does not necessarily turn around and start just opening up more to Alex, mm -hmm. um, Jay's going to turn to Alex and actually be like, you are pretty close friends with Echo. Do you think yeah. you could talk to him? <laughs> I'd, I'd be happy to. Yes! Kind of like takes a breath, because I really don't want to talk to Kenzie, and it was awkward last time me and Echo <laughs> talked, because Echo tried to give me advice about the whole Lily situation, and I did not want to hear it, and now... I just feel very awkward again. Yeah, it would it would be no problem. But then you could also do the extra credit with us because we're fixing up the um the the I think it's one of the stoves. It's the oven is hasn't been working, and then I was hoping that we could actually work on some of the other smaller appliances in the kitchen of the um, homeless shelter. Okay, yeah, I I'd, I'd be happy to do that. I didn't really get a a chance to come out the first time, so. Yeah, sure. Perfect. Kind of like looking over the table like, yes, 
problem solved. <laughs> problem solved. <laughs> As in problem uh, completely avoided. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jay learned avoidant personality. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but we'll we'll pan over your guys' shoulders, make our way over to Echo. As Echo, you come into the lunchroom, and uh, you know, everybody's kind of scattering and finding their seats, and you make your way to sit by Eugene. And uh, do you say anything as you sit down? What, what are you doing as you come over here? Uh, Echo kind of walks over and puts his tray down, and he kind of looks over at Eugene. He doesn't say anything, but he has kind of this shit-eating smile on his face. <laughs> He looks at you as you sit down and rolls his eyes and just says, Oh, brother. Why are, why are you here? Oh, I just wanted to say hi. It's been a while. It has been a little while since our classes have sat together, but I kind of figured you'd be... He wiggles his fingers. Over there, given the game later today? I mean, you don't I... want to talk to the enemy, do you? I could honestly care less. We're still going to kick your ass. Couldn't care less, is I assume what you meant. But sure, fair enough. How's everyone doing here? Echo kind of says, looking away from you for a second. <laughs> yeah, they, they all just like nod and, and greet you. Uh, Alexis, uh, the, the girl with the raincoat, is a reminder. She, she just gives a wave and just says, Yeah, well, uh, I, we were talking a bit about strategy, but I guess we have to keep that on the down low now. And Gloria just puts a fist in hand and just says, Oh, we'll be fine. Oh, strategy, interesting. So um I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ask about it, but um I'm curious, do you know any of the rules, like how big the teams are gonna be? Like is it gonna be the both classes against each other? Have you guys learned anything else about in that regard? Gloria kind of taps her chin a bit and thought and just says, well, I mean, we're all, pr well, most of us are pretty familiar with general kickball rules, so there might be some house rules that they do. No specifics yet, just that we'll be able to use our powers. Okay, this is going to be a little embarrassing, and Echo kind of looks at Eugene for a second, and then I back to everyone. How do you play kickball? Uh, you ask that, and you actually don't get any, like, snide comments, and Vizula gives a bit of a chuckle first and just says, Do not worry, Echo. I was also unaware of how to play this kickball. And uh, across from him, Starwalker also kind of raises his hand and gives a bit of a nod. Uh, and, you know, Lewis in the middle uh, just gives a smile and says, We can go over some of the rules again just to get you up to speed. Please, that would be very helpful because I assume you kick a ball that's as far as I go. He gives a nod, and he spends a little bit of time explaining the basics of kickball to you, that, you know, you, you go up to the first plate, you kick you kick a ball, uh, run around the bases, and if you get hit by the ball, or if your ball gets caught, you're out. You know, standard kickball fare. Hmm. Like, I was kind of tapping his chin thinking about that. I wonder if they're gonna put some limitations on particular students. Like, for me, for example, I can't just put the ball somewhere else. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that would be bad if the ball went into another dimension. And Eugene looks over at you with a little smirk and says, What, can't win without cheating? How's that cheating if I'm using what I have been given? My powers. Yeah, just removing the ball from play entirely, but yeah, it is what it is. If you need to do that to win, you can. We'll still kick your ass. Echo knows Eugene steals powers from other people, right? That's mm. been established? Yeah, that's been established. Okay. Uh, Echo kind of looks at him and kind of gives him a little smirk. At least I don't have to steal my powers. He he gives a smile, just says, Touche. Might as well be resourceful and use what's in reach. Mm-hmm. Uh, Echo kind of like squints at him, just trying to think as if he's stolen anything recently. He, he then just kind of <laughs> scoffs and says, Though it's a shame that you're the one to came, that, that came to sit with us, given how... He just wiggles his fingers again. And then, and then just shakes his head and titties eating. Echo puts, like, kind of, like, taps his gauntlet on the table and just kind of gives a smirk. That's part of the reason, actually, why I came over and sat beside you, because I know you can't do that. He 
makes eye contact with you for a second. Uh, Neko, roll to pierce the mask real quick. Uh oh. <laughs> you can do it, Will. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. As you're as you're making eye contact with with Eugene here, and you know you, you guys are having a little bit of a stare down, you can ask a few questions about. Eugene, his powers, just whatever you think you might be able to pick up from Insight. What is he feeling right now? Uh, like emotionally? Yes. Uh, your heart flutters a bit when you look at his eyes. <laughs> uh, no, you're, you're talking to Eugene, and I mean, you've had some instances before where, you know, Eugene can be kind of abrasive, uh, but you've never got, like, a sense of malice from him it seems like he he definitely thinks himself kind of high and mighty uh but he, he's he's got a bit of a level head on his shoulders when it counts but as you're talking to him now it seems like he might actually be having a little bit of fun kind of ribbing with you <laughs> eugene no <laughs> never um <laughs> what else should i ask hey you're doing great on piercing the mask today you have two more questions I know, it's scary, because we just mentioned, oh, how do I have this? And now so I much have power, it. Will. Um, I should ask, like, uh, what? Actually, here's a better question. Uh, how could I get him to spill the beans on, like, a potential strategy? <laughs> uh, you think that if Eugene were alone and not surrounded by other classmates. If you goaded him enough, it's possible that he would just start, like, teasing you with information just to make you feel, like, more helpless. Like, in order to kind of undermine you. Hmm. Okay. Um. And I guess, what does he intend to do at the game? Like, is he gonna be up front? Is he gonna be, like, in the... Like, what's his... Yeah, the only thing that you can really gather from him is that, you know, you know his power, and, you know, he made the, the snide little comment of like, oh, of course you had to be the one to come over here and sit next to me. Um, but all you can really gather is you're pretty confident he's going to use his power, but you're not quite sure how. Interesting. Okay. Um, I got to gives a shrug and a small wink to him as he kind of eats one of his uh, skewers. But, um, other than that, everything's been good in your class? Uh, don't talk with your mouth full. Hmm. Ooh, sorry. Um, everything's been good in your guys' class? Alexis gives a little nod and just says, yeah, it's been pretty uneventful for us. I mean, I hear you guys have, um, had some trouble lately, word kind of spread around you got like attacked or something oh yeah that uh, echo kind of rubs his eyes if you don't want to talk about it you don't have to no it's fine it's fine. uh villain ambushed me she just kind of tilts her head and says oh, i'm i'm sorry you had to have that happen and eugene just scoffs and says of course it did and then you hear a thump under the table as he kind of <laughs> holds his leg uh, Echo kind of, like, uh, gives him, like, a look, uh, like, he didn't smiley, but he kind of gives him, like, a narrow glance, um, and just kind of rubs his neck before shrugging. I'm alive, that's, that's what matters, right? Exactly. You're alive. So it doesn't really matter that that happened. What matters is that you're gonna do better next time. I mean, it'd be pretty pathetic if you died by getting ambushed, right? Yeah. Uh, Echo kind of looks at his skewers a second. Yeah. Anyways, um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to doing the kickball thing with you guys. Um, hmm. <laughs> Every kind of, he's like thrown off his game a little bit by that. <laughs> and, you know, Lewis just kind of looks over and says, uh, well, yeah, kick, kickball is going to be pretty fun today. Um, I'm, I guess I'm not really surprised it's going to be class versus class, but I'm almost kind of surprised they didn't just let us do, I don't know, like a draft, like we pick captains and just pick from both classes. Might have been fun, but I guess we're 
working on synergy or whatever, and we know our own class is best. Yeah, but it would have been interesting if we could, like, synergize with people from the other class, because we haven't really learned much about, like, well, we've learned a lot, like, just not in class context, you know? Missoula gives a nod and says, Perhaps that's exactly why we're enemies, because we know the least about each other. And Eugene just scoffs again and says, Well, I'm just happy we're going to be able to take your class down a peg. Not that you guys need to be taken any lower, considering all of our scores. And how are you doing on your leaderboard, exactly? He kind of tenses up and grimaces a little bit. Uh, and Alexis gives a chuckle, uh, and she's actually going to open up her student handbook. Ooh, Lord Drop! Mm -hmm. Oh my god, Vizula! And show you the Damn. scores. So yeah, as you're looking over the scores, something becomes immediately apparent to you, uh, which is almost a little bit scary. As you're looking over the scores, you note that most of their scores are higher than the top performers in your guys' class. <laughs> oh no! Uh, Can we see our leaderboard? Because we I don't think we've looked at that for a little bit. Yeah, it's still in the handouts. Uh, it has not changed since the last time it was updated, so you guys can compare between them. Uh, mm -hmm. Heck, I'll even open yeah, that up. Can I? Yeah, there we go. I can open that up for you guys. As a comparison. Hmm... Hmm. Yeah, as you guys are looking between the scores, uh, notably Echo, well, you guys, as Echo, you're looking between them, uh, something you notice is that Haley's score is actually, let me double check here before I say this, uh, is actually a little bit higher than Nelson's, or, hold on, let me double check. I want to make sure I don't give you guys wrong information by looking at the bars. Uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, it seems that Haley's score is just about tied with the top performer in your class being Nelson. And then that's... everybody above is scaling even higher. That's crazy. Uh, Echo kind of looks over that and like, he, his face, he kind of like just goes, his face just goes flat. And then, you know, Eugene kind of leans back a bit and just says, I could be doing better, but it's been a little difficult to keep up with some of the superstars of our class. He looks over to Gloria, Zyler, and Vizula, who, you know, give give small smiles in response. I see that. Wow. Uh, it goes kind of like gobsmacked as he kind of offers the um, pad back to Alexis. Um, hmm, this might be an uphill battle. <laughs> and Yuji just smiles at you and says, when you're going up against us, it always will be. Echo kind of gives him a look. By the way, how and... are you doing on your leaderboard? Uh, oh, uh, Echo kind of pulls out his pad from his backpack taps it open and goes to the page as he shows him it. Hmm. He just kind of... He just kind of gives a little, you know, a single chuckle to himself and looks away. <laughs> you speak your mind, please. I, I would love to hear it. Oh, nothing. Just... Well, you're not quite as high on your leaderboard as I am, but that's not what's funny to me. It's just kind of funny you're so high on your leaderboard as all, uh, at all. Your class must be pretty pathetic. <sighs> We're gonna make you eat those words, you know? Echo kind of gives a smile and takes a bite out of his uh, skewer. Uh, with that, we'll zoom out, and uh, if anyone else has anything they want to go over or anyone they want to talk to, we've got a bit of time before lunch ends. But otherwise, we can move on with the rest of the day. All right, yeah. Then you guys all talk amongst yourselves uh, at your, each of your tables. You know, Jay, you're getting support from the people around you. Lily and Terry, you're talking about uh, uh, numerous things. Uh, and Echo, you're just sort of prodding the other class, trying to figure stuff out. But 
After eating and full of energy, you all go to Liberty Eagle's law class. And after his lecture, you make your way to the locker rooms, change into your athletic uniforms, and head out to the field. Get a sky view of the field before we zoom in. Did you make mm -hmm. this map from scratch? Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, well, thank you. Good job. Uh, you all meet with Nightwalker by one of the dugouts for a rundown of the rules. And let me share with you all the kickball rules. These will be available to look at during the game. I'll have them open in order to give some reminders during the game, but the moves are pretty basic, and again, he goes over the standard rules for kickball. Uh, goes over them pretty quick, uh, even including the very common and superstitious rule, barring ghosts. And Lily, you can confirm what this. What the fuck? Lily, actually, you can confirm this. For some reason, ghosts aren't allowed near kickball games, and this is normal to everyone who grew up on Earth. <laughs> this is not, not volleyball though <laughs> no no not not volleyball not dodgeball only kickball it's very particular mm -hmm. and you guys have known this since you were kids it's just some superstitious thing that lily can confirm with her ghost is in fact true it's weird that it even need to be put down as the rule that'd be like saying you know in baseball you can't uh hit the ball back in time or something <laughs> well i guess some people could have powers like that but you know what i mean <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Rules of nature and such. Uh, he then continues. Additionally, as stated this morning, use of powers is allowed. They will be moderated as such. No headshots and no hard blows. If a student is injured, the attacker is out. Use your powers creatively and in tandem to outwit the other team. Now, it is Terry raises his hand. He looks over to you. Yes, Terry. Is that, phys is that just physically injured or does that also cut, like, you know count for like mental damage if they're out for the count it counts terry smiles raise the lowest hand <laughs> he nods uh and he'll look over for any additional questions can i oh i don't have like a question for nightwalker but can i charge my burns and flares <laughs> yes you can okay but... <laughs> can i do that too <laughs> yes you can uh yeah night nightwalker is okay, going over so... this both of you guys can roll my god. Oh, oh my god. My god. <laughs> oh dear god, oh. my lord. Let's kill him. <laughs> yeah. As Nightwalker is going over the basic rules and finishes up, Alex charges up. The air around her becomes dense. She glows with a purple, awesome power. Uh, Jay supercharges electricity, like crackles out of your eyes. You both power up with like Dragon Ball auras and look at each other with a nod. <laughs> Uh, and... Yeah, can we, like, hype each other up? Can we say that we're, like, almost next to each other and we're just, like, bouncing, like, ready to go? <laughs> yeah. You guys can make your way. You know, hold on. Let me just, uh, let me just move some people around as you, you guys <laughs> move next to each other in the crowd. Uh, you know, Echo's kind of next to you guys and, and between you as you move in, Jay. Uh, but you... A shiver runs down Echo's spine as he feels this raw energy. <laughs> Evan's just kind of awkwardly <laughs> chuckling as well. Um... And Nightwalker, he, he gives, like, a very approving nod and says, No, it is time to pick your team's captain and co-captain. They will be deciding on plays and discussing calls with the referee when not on the field. And then he opens the floor to you all to decide who the captain and co-captain will be. I'll take one of those roles if there's no ob uh, objections. Yeah, you, you raise your hand and say that, and... Yeah, largely uh, a number of students in the class either agree or don't really have much to say about it. I vote Lily. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I also agree that Lily should be captain. All right. Then without any objections, uh, the class agrees that Lily will be the captain of the team. And now you all just need to decide who the co-captain will be. And is, because it says decides on place, talk to the referee about calls. Are we... 
off field basically we're going to be in like the dugout so the reason why there's going to be a captain and co-captain is so that one of them can be on the field and the other can be in the dugout so that way okay. it's like there's there's always a balance of like okay you know they're not going to be as biased being on the field for they their play and the co-captain's like watching uh but both of you will get to play you'll just kind of swap out whenever you decide to Uh, Echo mm. speaks up. Evan for co-captain! Oh, me? <laughs> he kind of points to himself. <laughs> He's like, uh, I mean, I'd be happy to. Lily, do you have thoughts about that? Not particularly. <laughs> and wow. Nelson clenches his fist and says, maybe next time. And then he just, and then he just says, Don't fucking volunteer if you want to be. No, <laughs> Christ, man. the people have spoken. I agree, Evan should be the co-captain. Well, now just two of you have spoken. I don't really think that's the people, but like... <laughs> wait, hang on. No, wait. When two Nelsons are split, you guys have to refuse to get your memories together, right? Uh, yes, that is correct. Okay. So it's not like one Nelson could be in the dugout with me, one on the field, and it's like having a walkie-talkie. Uh, no, not exactly. Okay. Also, I'm not entirely certain if that would be allowed. Uh, with the it, position. It only says no ghosts. It doesn't say you can't have clones. That's true. I suppose that is true. Nightwalker, does Nel would Nelson count as one player regardless of how many Nelsons there are? He offers a nod and just says, if Nelson is on the field, he will not be able to speak to plays in the same unbiased manner as someone in the dugout. Mm. Okay, that's still good to know. Okay, so we can only have seven players when we're defending. We can only have seven players on the field. Correct. Okay, I'm gonna. Lily pulls out her phone. I've written notes all all of today. Get some raised eyebrows as people look over to you. Uh, I think it's probably mostly only important to come up with plans and talk about what we're gonna do during defense, because during defense is when we're gonna be on the field at the same time, and therefore. You know what we do will not only affect the the enemy but also ourselves uh so we need to be careful not to go wild and ruin things for our other players uh when we're kicking you can do whatever like you know it, i doubt you're gonna kick and use your cars in a way that's gonna ruin it for every other kicker from then on you might surprise me and find a way to do that and if you do i'll be very mad so if you think that could happen just be mindful of that but you're probably fine right <laughs> You, a, a few a few students kind of chuckle in response to that, just being like, hey, she's got a point. But you, get, so you get a few nods across the class. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think we can all agree. Danny is like the going to be the most important player, right? Yeah, you get you get yeah. some nods and Danny kind of you know, adjusts her sunglasses a little bit, seemingly a bit Terry. shy on having it spoken out to the whole class. Terry raises <laughs> his hand. Yeah. I, I'm assuming they're going to understand that and they're going to try and sabotage Danny the most. Um, secondary question, Mr. Nightwalker. He yes, kind of like yeah. leans over. Lisa. Mm. Uh, are we playing to the letter of the rules or the spirit of the rules? He raises a brow. Go to elaborate. <laughs> How far can we go to sabotage the other team's attempts at winning? Is it within conventional sports? Thought process or more extreme he just nods once again and says creativity will be key here the use of powers is allowed as long as no one is down for the count so the only rule other than the rules that we have here is don't permanently or significantly hurt someone and no headshots and yes and no headshots okay uh they're gonna be out for blood but mostly for danny uh we need a danny defense squad yeah so if nelson counts as one player regardless of how many nelsons there are when we're on defense i think nelson you should make clones be all of the base players and then the other people who are technically the base players can also just kind of feel right like i mean it's not like when you're a base player if you step off the base you go to jail <laughs> like, like you can, you're you're a bass player in name, but you can do other stuff. 
Mm -hmm. That is true. So we can kind of just have extra fielders. Oh. Nelson lights up at the end at that and just says, Oh, that's a very good idea, Lily. And plus you you're you know, you're built, you're athletic, you're fit, you're built. You can probably <laughs> catch pretty good. He nods and gives a thumbs up and just says, And if I'm going to miss, I'll just create another clone to catch it real quick. If our powers sure. are if our powers are allowed to be used, I assume as long as my clones don't stay on the field over the limit, that should be fine. And Nightwalker thinks on that, and because there are a few students that can make more students, and he just nods and says, I'll allow it. <laughs> okay, so one on base is Nelson. We're going to have Danny on defense, because the whole, I think, you know, obviously if you have a chance to get someone out, do it. But if you think it'll be even slightly hard, prioritize getting the ball to Danny, because Danny mm -hmm. can do it. He nods. Uh, I think if we have Gabe out there, Gabe, could you just focus your efforts, unless told otherwise, on getting Danny safe? Maybe if they try to throw some shit at Danny or do whatever, just use your little stuff to protect her. Uh, kind of looks out to the field, uh, because you're you're talking about when you guys go to kick, right? Uh, no, when we're when we're defending, if they're gonna try to do stuff to mess oh, with I Danny see. so that she isn't. You know. Mm -hmm. uh, he kind of thinks on that and says, if she's in relatively close range, I would be able to. But with how often she's able to move large distances, I'm not exactly sure if I'd be able to keep up. That's fair. Okay, let's see. Out of the seven that can be on defense, Danny, Nelson. I think Triff and Alex should also be fielders if they hit the ball high enough i think alex can do a good job of keeping it from being a home run by just sucking the ball back down to earth and if you <laughs> stall it in air to make it you know slow enough like the you know the momentum that's trying to make it go up and your pull is making it go down if you can just stall it in the air triff could just grab it and that'd be an out yeah sounds good perfany nods and just says i will do my best Echo, I think you could do a lot to make the run to bases harder for them with your whole little ice dimension mm -hmm. by just setting up, like, road hazards, essentially. <laughs> oh, no, of course, I could do that. I was thinking about that actually looking over the field. So. How many is that? Hang on. Sorry, I'm really bad at counting. <laughs> It'll be good Nelson. to have this all jotted down on like a note. It would be good to write this down, actually. True. Nelson, Alex, Triff, Echo, Danny. Okay, that's five. We have two more players that can go on the field. I'm just going to stay in the dugout. Ghosts aren't going to be useful anyway. <laughs> uh, Evan and Robert are acrobatic, they can do little flips. Gabe, if you think you can protect Danny, that's also pretty good. You could also be an extra layer of defense to keep it from, or keep them from getting any home runs, since you could probably... Or, you said it's close range. Do you not think you could, like, shoot a wall up? He just kind of shakes his head a bit, and Evan raises his hand and says, uh, I mean, my hair has a really long range, so I would probably be able to catch something if it went too high. Okay. Yeah, you and Robert would be good at that. And plus, you're co-captain, so you should be out there anyway. Sweet. Echo offers uh, a fifth book, Evan. He gives it back. All right. Nelson, Alex, Triff, Echo, Danny, Evan. We have one more. Anyone Anyone want to be on field that thinks they can do stuff? So? As you're, like, scanning the class, people are kind of thinking, you know, you've got Olivia next to you who has been very quiet and is just kind of, you know, you, you know how she is with thinking herself capable. Uh, but you're looking at the back of the class and you see like Lawrence is just like totally not paying attention and Priscilla's like yeah, on her phone, fun. but everybody else is kind of thinking about it. Jay's hand slowly raises. Sure. Yes. <laughs> you know what? Hey, Jay. Yeah. They brace themselves for a blow. Because you can, as we know, 
uh, extend your limbs in an almost an octopus-like fashion. Yeah. So that and... is, you could fill a similar role to Evan in that regard, in that you could try to snatch the ball out of the air, or even just shoot your hand up. And I don't know, you can do all sorts of robotic morphy stuff. Could you just like try to scoot? Like if you can tell the ball's trajectory, try to just like deflect it so that it, you know, doesn't go out of bounds. Stuff like that. I will catch anything that goes over my head. Okay. And if, again, if the ball hits the ground, and so it's not going to be an instant out if you catch it, unless you're certain, and this goes to everyone, unless you're certain that you think you can get someone out in an easier, quicker fashion, then try to get the ball to Danny. That That is, mm -hmm. I think, the main goal here. Agreed. And yeah. then on offense, I think we should definitely get a few good kickers in first, because if we can load the bases, Danny, you, I assume you're good at kicking, right? Do you think if you kick, you can probably guarantee it's going to be an out, you know, barring uh, any, I don't know, people fucking teleporting the ball back to their hands? Hmm. Well, I'm good at kicking. I don't know if I would be able to guarantee a home run, but if the bases are clear, I could guarantee I could clear the bases before they could catch mm -hmm. me. That's fair. Does anyone mm -hmm. does anyone think they can guarantee it'll be a home run using their powers or whatever? Or maybe you're just really good at kickball. <laughs> Gabe raises his hand. Okay. <laughs> then we should get the bases. Maybe we have Danny kick first. Then we load up good kickers that can at least get on base. And then we send Gabe in. Ideally, you know, bases loaded or something like that. So mm -hmm. that then if Gabe can hit a home run, that's like four right there. People mob and Nelson once again is commending you and we'll we'll quickly move to the back of the class as this conversation's happening as Terry you move over towards Lawrence. Hey Lawrence. Huh? Oh, uh hey Terry, what's up? Do you think you could like hex the other team and not have them know? Do any of the other do they have magic? Hmm. He kind of looks across the field as the other team is speaking with Great Oak at, at their own dugout. Uh, he kind of squints his eyes a little bit. Uh, they have some stuff that kind of feels like magic, but, I mean, nobody's, like, casting spells over there. Then they wouldn't know. Fantastic. Oh, You're going to be our sabotage expert. <laughs> okay. Just do stuff that will make them unhappy and fail, but not permanently hurt them. He kind of, like, he's kind of, like, looking up and tilting his head side to side a bit, and he's like, okay, sure, I can do that. I don't think magic can do headshots, but none of that either. Uh, I won't try to. And then Terry ter just like, hmm, now that I'm thinking about it, hey, Lily! He kind of yells over. Yeah. Oh, wait, maybe I shouldn't, like, yell this. He kind of like, oh, so, okay, okay, yeah. No, I can you come over if once. we want it to be a secret. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> I'll, I think I hang on first. I think I basically said everything I was gonna say. Only other thing is, if for some reason we need to swap people out from defense, I think like Gabe is up first, and then Gabe can kind of do a similar thing to like Echo and just block people on the road as they're running, and mm -hmm. then Priscilla, you, because you can do something similar to Nelson if we need it. She kind of looks at you and you know, glances over to Gabe and in, in, during this conversation and just shrugs and says. Okay, I'll see what I can do. But that's only if we end up needing it. She gets a nod. Alright, what's up? So, uh, like, what time did we know that this was going to take place? Like, when we were going to do kickball? It was, like, first thing in the morning, so, like, what, like... So, so yeah, Ethan, like, what's, like, the time discrepancy between then and now? Uh, someone... you can look in your, uh, your know we class have schedule but mm -hmm. you found out in homeroom and this is basically the crime fighting pe period okay now i'm not saying that i would do this because i have other things on my mind but if i was a really really petty and really wanted to win i'd sabotage the field before we got here because that would almost be impossible to predict unfortunately i'm moderately paranoid so i'm gonna say they've definitely sabotaged the field in some way to immediately hurt us just be careful of that 
I'm also, Lawrence familiar. is going to be hexing them. Oh, that's... you. Can you do that? Can you just, like, curse them? I kind them? of assumed. It's magic. I mean, I'll see what I can do. I'll have to flip through and find the right hexes. But, I mean, I've got a whole bunch in here. And he kind of hefts his book up and then puts it back at his, shoulder, uh, back at his waist. Okay. If you end up needing, like, any of their hair or something, I feel <laughs> like I could get a ghost to do that. Uh, well, I mean, they're not going to be able to intervene when the game starts. Well, yeah, but I mean, when they're in the dugout. You know, when they're right. kicking, only one person at a time is going to be out. Well, unless, you know, they're on base. They're going to be in the dugout for the most part. Uh, yeah, I guess that is true. They're not in play. And as we all know, the field is holy ground. Therefore, ghosts can't be on it. But nothing about <laughs> the dugout. That's true. He nods. This is very <laughs> true. Yeah, I'll I'll start looking for some spells, I guess, and see if I need anything like that. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if I could fear gas the dugout with light trace amounts of it to increase our anxiety before they enter play. If you can, do it. <laughs> Look, Echo. I wasn't even going to ask you to do anything because I know mm -hmm. how you are, but if you can use your powers in any way that you're comfortable using it, absolutely. Oh, no, I wouldn't be doing permanent psychological damage. Just sure. increase anxiety. Hopefully none of them have heart conditions. Echo, we're doing psychological warfare. Well, <laughs> actually, chemical warfare. Get over here. Nope. <laughs> now you're going to walk somewhere. Evan starts kind of talking with people about the, the plays that Lily has mentioned and just gets to work kind of organizing people uh, while you guys are having this conversation. So, sorry, what are we doing? Um, I was thinking maybe I could send lighter amounts of fear toxin through your portals to their dugout to a point where it doesn't send them into full, you know, fear-induced psychosis, but just makes them really anxious. Okay, uh, Echo kind of pulls down his goggles and looks through the realms. Is there just, like, a clear path to their dugout? Uh, I mean, in general, you know, Megaea and Pagonia are both, they, they both have a lot of wastelands, so there's a lot of open space in both of those dimensions. Obviously, Kafsi, the fire dimension, would be the roughest because its landscape is ever-changing. Hmm. I, I, could I could sneak you over there and open a small portal so you could, like, oh. leak it. No, I would just send it occasionally. I don't want it to be constant, otherwise they'll notice. Also, Echo, you're like a resident tech expert. Have they sabotaged the field at all? Uh... Would you be able to scan for that? Yeah, sure, let me take a peek. And he kind of pulls his goggles down again and kind of walks over here to look. Uh, can I see? Can I roll to see if they have sabotaged the field? Yeah, roll to assess the situation. I still get uh, one. <laughs> you I still get still one get question. One. Yeah, so you want to ask if they've sabotaged the field? Yes. Uh, yeah, you're looking around, and uh, Spark is just scanning the field, the topology of everything, and you know, beeps back at you that the field does not seem to have been touched. It seems clear. He says, kind of looking over. Shame. That would have been fun. Yeah, I don't think any of them really have, you know, home alone sabotaging powers. Oh, no, it's just ingenuity. It wouldn't even have, like, placing tax. Yeah. Heck, placing small little, like, Caltro is cal it, it, little like things you throw on the ground they're spiky lacing them in an like you know some sort of paralytic you were right putting cal them in the grass caltrops cal cal yeah. yeah just kind of throwing them around chemical warfare heck i would be surprised if they like had like some sort of like sonic device to like slowly impede our thinking process playing at like a low enough decibel where we couldn't even recognize it honestly at this point i'd be surprised they didn't start poisoning our food Rocks. did they poison our food looks over at you and it's like scary Gary, are you okay? <laughs> oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. It's just, you know, this is war. We're at battle. We can't lose. I do anything it takes to win. So I'm assuming they take do whatever it takes to win. It's just I've been, you know, a little bit preoccupied. So I haven't exactly been on the ball or I would have been doing all the things I've been talking about to them. It's fine. You guys go. You'll do the plan. I'll sabotage them psychologically and we'll win. Well, Terry, when do okay? you want to do that? When do you, how do you want to get your gas to them? Oh, People aren't very, you know, prone to the yips in the beginning of a match. They're more anxious to start. We'll do it at the start of the of their second kicking. That's when they think the stress will be somewhat more natural. Got to play to their mental state as well as the mental state expected, yeah? Correct. So you want me and you to sneak off during the second inning? 
I assume we just time it. Okay, let me know. Just We're... come get me, and I'll take you through the portals. <laughs> gotcha. Robert, Louis kind of raises his Louis hand. looks to Lawrence, and is like, as they're talking, he's like, you hang out with him the most. How are you asking if he's all right? You should know he's not. <laughs> he's he's so paranoid. How do you not know that by now? Oh, no, it was Robert <laughs> who asked. Oh, I thought it was Lawrence. <laughs> no, no, Robert just looked back okay, and never like, mind. Are you okay, man? Uh, and Robert also additionally just says, uh, if you're wanting to do this while they're kicking, won't Echo be on the field? We can time it when we switch so that our collaboration doesn't look as direct. We'll have a very small time frame, Echo. It has to be perfect. It's okay, though. If it fails, we have multiple other plans, like uh, Lawrence, what should we call Operation Hexing them? That's not very good. Uh, the, the demon hex. I <laughs> holy shit, dude! What? <sighs> uh, I I I don't have the. It's it's real. It's something. true. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. You want know, look close enough? Yeah. Don't worry. Uh, if, if things don't go perfectly, it's fine. Mistakes are fine here. There are no lethal consequences. Are they up kicking first, or is it us? Uh, do you ask this out loud, or, or are you just wondering? Yes. Uh, yeah, you, you ask that, and Nightwalker confirms that... Let me double-check, because I don't want to say something wrong. Uh, he confirms our class will be kicking first. The other ca the other class kicks last. Okay, so we're going to have to plan that pretty well. Or I could just, during the switch, put you in the sand room. Yeah, I was thinking something like that. Are you going to be fine there? It's Terry would like look to his left. Is there something with sand that I... I I'm fine with it. Sand's fine. There's... <laughs> well... Remember... Was he there for the sandworm incident? He was not. <laughs> yeah, you'll be fine. Just if you see anything, like if the ground starts shaking or something, just hide. Where? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll keep an eye on you. Yeah, Terry would look at Lily. Is this a good idea? No. <laughs> Echo, I'm starting to think we should scrap this one. If if there's something I need to hide from, and I asked where I hide, and you just didn't answer. <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I don't trust I... that anymore. How long does your uh, smoke shit last? Hmm. I suppose like, it will depend on the concentration. How long does it concentration. Ethan, what's, what's like the aerosol properties of fear gas? <laughs> uh, I mean, you're, you're able to, f to affect people for a decent amount of time. It depends on the dosage. Yeah, it does depend on the dosage, does it? Oh, he should have poisoned and their food. He didn't you, go insane enough. You would also know that it uh, it also depends on a different each different person's metabolism. Like if somebody yeah. can metabolize Physiology. It faster. Yeah, it, there, there are variances. Hmm. Depends. Dosage, physiology, mental state, honestly. Okay, but if you huffed your breath and then put it into, like, a jar and we closed the jar, if we opened it later, would your breath still be there? Yep. Okay. Does anyone have, like, a plastic water bottle? Uh, you kind of look around and uh, Nelson and Evan both pull some out of their bags. Okay. Any of you mind if we use it for something? You, you don't need to know what. <laughs> you guys kind of... You guys start discussing. Nelson's been been drinking some water, so he has a few empty ones, and he doesn't question it. He's like, ah, oh, you're you're the team leader. You know what's best, and he'll, he'll give some So to you. true. <laughs> okay. Nelson. Just breathe into this, and then when it comes time, Echo, you can just sneak off and real quick basically pour this out in a small hole in their dugout, and then come back. Okay, you gotta... You gotta tell me when, because I don't fully understand this. Just like if we're if we're kicking first, it's gonna be when we switch over to being defense. So after okay. we're done kicking. So right yeah. when the switch happens, sneak up. Oh. Um, yeah. or try and time it when something really cool happens when you're sitting off. That would also work. Fair. Just time. Uh, just do it on the switch. Okay. Uh, I need the thing. Terry, can I oh, have the okay. thing? Okay. Yeah. Terry would. Like you know, huff and puff into smoke the... and, yeah, huff and puff into the water <laughs> bottle. <laughs> what does it look like? Like, what color is it? I always imagine it's like a almost like indigo. 
like a, like a dark blue. Well, like bluish purple, I suppose, more accurate. Yeah, deep bluish purple, like fog that comes out of his mouth. Hmm. Can Echo roll superior to see if he notices anything about this stuff? Sure. Because he's never, like, actually seen Terry's gas. I'm trying to think if that's true. That might that might be true. I don't know for sure if Terry's used his power around you yet. No, only when he did it to the punch, but that was very, like, that was when it was infused with something. Yeah. I still um, get one. Yeah, you Dang. get one question. Uh, fuck you, Diego. Uh, is there any <laughs> inherent, like... How do I say this? <sighs> what inherent qualities are, like, apparent in the gas as, like, Echo looks at it? Uh, as you're looking over it, Spark is, is analyzing it through your goggles, and, I mean, you're able to pick up that it's not magical in nature or anything. You've analyzed magic and magitech before. Uh, it, it seems to be made up of these volatile chemical compounds that, you know, just seem to be kind of mixed between whatever chemicals his body generates and just the, his natural pheromones in order to create this. Wild. Okay. Yeah, he nods and just kind of tucks it away in his coat. All right. Sounds like the plan. All right, well, with Lily being decided as captain, Evan is co-captain, and you all coming up with your plans for kicking and defense in advance, you know, jotting some stuff down, uh, Nightwalker speaks up one more time. As you all head into this game, I want you to remember something very important. This will teach us about teamwork, and we can have fun. But above all else, we are here to do one thing. We are here to win. I expect nothing less than victory. Total domination. God damn. As our class will be kicking first, I expect great things from you all. Give them no chances and annihilate them. Yes, Mr. Nightwalker. Yes, Mr. Nightwalker. <laughs> yeah, the whole <laughs> the whole class gives a, a very resolute response as you know you, uh -huh. you guys are getting hyped up, and we'll start preparing for the game. Uh, when when Nightwalker was saying that, can I? Try to study him. It, it, am I? I want to look at him to try to see if I can get the vibe. Is this like? Because I feel like that's not usually what he would say. Does mm -hmm. he dislike the other teacher? Is this like personal for him? <laughs> that's uh, such yeah, a roll, good question. Because that's the immediate vibe I'm getting. We got like the bets mask. going on. Come on. Oh, oh no. no! I've never seen a I've negative. I've never seen a minus. Wow! Well, it's because it's because I simply have never in my life. <laughs> had good mundane. <laughs> you, I, it shouldn't be possible to roll a negative. It made the text off center. <laughs> <laughs> you, you just look at Nightwalker and you're like, man, I can never get a read on that guy. <laughs> no idea what's going on in his mind. He's such an enigma. Such a weird guy. He's so mysterious and cool. I have no idea what he's thinking. <laughs> Uh, also, if anybody else wants to roll to pierce the mask, you can. I would like to try. Okay, um, go ahead, Jay. Yeah, I'm not the best at mundane either, but we shall see. I think I'm I'm gonna give it a try. Okay. That's Jay, right. you have no idea. Alex, you have no idea. You guys are like, man, <laughs> Nightwalker's so mysterious guy. and cool. I I have no idea what he's thinking. <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna assume he's got serious beef with this other teacher. All right. <laughs> I can't tell, but that's my gut instinct. There's so the we'll color. With it. Uh, what, what, Terry? Oh, no, no, I just put, like, the, the, the color of the smoke for every, or Will, just like he knows in the general. He just put a hex code in the general <laughs> chat and was like, there's the color. <laughs> oh, I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Oh, well. my God. That is pink. Purple. That's purple. <laughs> As we... 95% magenta. <laughs> As we're going right. to prepare for the game, uh, I want everyone to vote on who's the leader, and we'll do team points. That's... Okay. Everyone, I'm looking at everyone, like, at the same time through the Cyberverse. Oh, 
All right. Man, surprise, surprise. Everybody voted the same. Everybody voted for the same person. I was okay. to vote wrong. <laughs> I, I can feel it from you. You were the last person to vote. Um, <laughs> is a goof. So yes, uh, you've all voted the same. Uh, by default, we start with one team point. We're entering into a game together. Get plus two. Uh, you all voted on the same leader. Uh, Lily, do you have influence over the other, every other player? I have influence over... I do. You do? Well, every other, every other player of the players. Yes, yeah. Do you mean everyone else in the team? Like, on the school? No, ju just the, just the real people, the, the players. Yeah, I, I, I have Alex Terry, Joey Joe J, and then Echo. Okay. Then that's another team. Uh, my pieces of the right. infinity stone i was going to say not just not just jay yeah. joey joe and jay yeah <laughs> I just put all three. uh all right i i assume you all have the same purpose in this in this game we do we want to yes. win yeah crush the other team all right that's another one uh does anybody mistrust lily no 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 Okay, and Terry has, like, trust you? issues, but, like, he does not directly distrust Lily more than anyone else. Is that fine? No, yeah, you're you're fine. You're fine. Okay. You, you trust her in this situation. You trust her to be a good leader. Oh, yeah, this is sports. This is this is the wheelhouse. Yeah. Literally. Yeah, yeah. Okay, then... Hey! We are going to be starting seven? with... Seven? Uh, we're going to be starting with five team. Oh, my oh, God. Five team. Oh, easy dub. Easy We've never had dub. this before. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of team points going around. Yay! Uh, and... Now let's not use them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> For real. That's the flex. That's the achievement. Use no team. Nightwalker will go over to the coach's box. And I'll start moving everybody to sit in the dugout as you guys prepare to, uh... You know, get, get your, your kicking in order. If we hit Mr. Nightwalker in the coaching box, is that a foul? <laughs> that is a foul. That it would be, be a he foul. Do if... He'd dodge. It'd be a foul it's if you managed to hit him. Yeah. Out of bounds. Moving people around real fast. Well. Uh, we're here. Yeah, we just got got people all over the place mm -hmm. seeing terry slowly slink towards the bleachers is very fun <laughs> <laughs> so i'll be standing here <laughs> and, and terry standing. would just kind of like lean over towards them and be like do you think they're gonna try and sabotage us should we hide anyone have any way of anyone got like fake bush You've got, Actually, you have problems, man. Of course, I have problems. This is literally fo like fake war. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go hide in that tree. Terry's like gonna go like behind and like try and go climb the tree over by Lawrence. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you see that Lawrence is like sat down next to the trash can, just like reading through his book. You come down and get in the tree. <laughs> <laughs> gotta roll anything for climbing a tree, or can Terry just climb a tree. You can climb a tree. Okay. Yeah, Terry's just gonna be up here. All right, we will do this as we get everyone in order. You guys are going to be looking out at the field and you can see that uh, the other team is all getting into position to defend. We'll zoom out and do a shot of the whole field here. Five. Looking at the field, we have some general positions for everyone. We also have a pitcher and catcher ready to start. Okay. And as we zoom in, as a reminder for the kicking rules, uh, we either go until three outs, or we go until ten people have successfully kicked, and then we will 
swap positions for the teams. So, mm-hmm. who do you guys want to send first? Danny. Danny. All Danny. Right. And yeah, Danny is going to make her way over to the base, giving you guys a, a thumbs up. And we'll zoom out here as this is going to be fun for me to fi- figure out the best uh, camera angles for everything. I think I'm going to just stay <laughs> eye in the sky the whole time. Uh, this is too high in the sky. I'll just I'll just zoom in like this. This will be fun. There's like a wonderful game we got here tonight, folks. <laughs> class one A and one B. And Danny is going to go up to the first base, and you all watch as uh you know the the girl that's pitching, Ala Caliente, is going to rev the ball back do a little spin as the ball bursts into flames in the air and she is going to rocket it towards Danny. Uh, And Danny, very quickly, in reaction, is going to kick the ball straight up into the air. It goes up high and you see some of the other students preparing to go to catch it and do something about it. But in a flash, with a deafening boom, Danny moves to one base, Danny moves to another base, unimpeded she moves to a third base and then zips all the way back around to home base without anybody standing in her way uh and eventually eventually uh lewis up here uh, is flying around and manages to go to catch the ball and then looks back and danny has already cleared all of the bases and he just says ah fuck okay uh and danny is going to walk back to the dugout and just say all right that was easy Who's next? Willie, Willie calls out from the the bunker, just jeering. Game started, guys. Look alive. <laughs> <laughs> Get some people kind of oh. cursing under their breaths. And uh, yeah, who do you guys want to send next? Alex is gonna volunteer to go next. Ooh, go Alex. All right, Alex. Let's go Alex. As you move out to the field, uh, you, you kind of get up to the plate. Uh, and behind you, you you hear uh, Ramhead. He kind of like scuffs his horns a little bit to get your attention, and he just says, "Hey, break a leg out there." Thanks. And then he gives a nod, and once again, uh, she is going to rev the ball back. It bursts into flames, and she rolls it towards you very quickly. And as it comes towards Alex. Uh, I'm either going to need you to roll danger to kick the ball, or you can use your powers if you want to use your powers in a unique way with it. I'm going to try to use my powers. I'm going to try to um, lower the gravity around the ball so that it comes toward me more slowly. And then hopefully when I kick it, it'll just launch into the air and float up in the air for a while. Okay, so you want to make it a zero gravity ball. Yeah. All right, then roll to unleash your powers. No. That is a miss as uh, the ball is coming over towards you and you start trying to focus to create a zero gravity field around the ball, but the ball whizzes past you so fast that you weren't able to react in time and it slams into Ramhead's chest as he is like pushed back from the force. Uh, And he puts a hand up and Jackhammer says, uh, well, she sticks up a hand and says, foul one. And uh, you have missed one kick. If you miss two more, you're out. Okay. She's going to rev up the ball once again, roll it towards you at high speeds as it burns along the ground. And at this point, it's creating, like, burn marks in the grass as it comes towards Mm -hmm. you. What does Alex want to do? I'm going to try the same strategy again and hope it works better for me this time. Okay. Once again, nope. you try to catch it in a zero gravity field. It flies right by you, slams into Ram Head. You hear second foul. Uh, also, I'm going to use the term Alex. use the term foul because out mm-hmm. means you're out. I don't know if that's accurate. We'll say, uh, but second kick misses. She. Oh yeah, you're right. It's you're so right. Strike two. Uh, Ram Head. <laughs> the ball crashes into him. Uh, it almost feels like a crater should be created with the impact, but he tosses it over. Uh, and rolls it back to uh, to Alec Caliente. And Alex, you're starting to sweat a bit. You have two strikes already. Does Alex try the same strategy again, or does she want to try something new? Can I um, spend one bit burn to use my flare worship 
and put out a tremendous display of my might, spend one burn to awe an, audi awe an audience into silence, respect, and attention when I unleash my powers. Yes, you can do that. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> okay. Roll to unleash your powers. You got this. All right. Yeah! That is a partial hit. Uh, so the ball flies towards you at high speeds, and this time you just think, okay, I'm, I'm not going to worry about focusing on the ball. I'm just going to hit it really, really hard. And when you go to kick it, a shockwave pulses outward that even everyone in the dugouts, you're able to feel the force from this kick. As the ball tries to resist for a second, but eventually... Your kick blasts the ball straight into the air, ripping the clouds around it as it flies into the sky. Um, and everyone on the other team is just shot from the amount of force that went into the ball as it flies straight up. And you have a good amount of time as they are stunned into silence watching the ball fall. It doesn't seem like anyone is en route to catch it and get you out, but it will eventually land back in the field and give them an opportunity. Uh, so now, because you've done that, I'm going to say you get the first run for free because everybody is watching the ball. And you can just go straight to the first base uh, without having to roll to run. Uh, and as you are flying along and touch the base, you can make a decision. Do you want to try to run to the second base or do you want to stay safe here? I want to run to the second base. I think everybody's still got to be distracted. All right. Then roll... Let me double check. Roll to directly engage a threat as you are running the bases, but add plus one when it asks you for a modifier. Okay. Oh my Ooh. god. All right. Yeah, you you go to run the bases forward, uh, and you are flying through the air in order to get to the second base. Um, and as you pass by Eugene, you, like, kick back some force, and uh, Eugene, like, snaps back to attention and calls out to everyone else as you make your way forward. Uh, Vizula ends up snatching the ball out of the air as his arm shapeshifts into very long tendrils, and then he whips it around towards you, and his eyes glow as you feel a pulse in your mind as he just says, Stop and you freeze in place, and the ball hits you on the shoulder. God damn. <laughs> okay. And, and sadly, Alex is out. So Jackhammer raises a hand and calls, Out one! And now you've got to make your way back to the dugout, Alex. The walk of shame. Pretty good. She's pretty good at pitching, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Maya just kind of has her arms crossed and just says, that's going to be annoying. Uh, Lily's going to come down to Gabe. All right. Gabe. Yeah, you, you move over to Gabe and he gives a nod to you. Uh, so how far is the range on your little stuff? If you Do you think if I went up there to kick, you could put something in front of me? Or how much closer would you have to get to do that? I would have to be pretty close. I can do it for myself, but for others, they need to be close by. That's true. You could do it for yourself. Oh, but we need you to score hard. Also, uh, okay, hang on. Meanwhile, r real quick, uh, Echo, do you want to roll a comfort or support, Alex? <laughs> yeah, sure. I'll do that. All right. Nice. Yeah, Echo's, Echo's helping you feel better after that. You know, it's not down to your fault. It, a, a lot of was going on out there. Uh, and you can mark potential or clear condition or shift your labels. And then additionally, you guys get... Uh, you guys can either get an additional team point or Echo, you can clear a condition. Mm. I want to clear a condition... Okay, what condition are you clearing? Guilty. Okay. 
Alex, what do you want out of this? I'm going to clear afraid. All right. And Echo helps kind of ground you, pull you back to your center. <laughs> uh, anyways, cutting back over to Lily as you're figuring things out with Gabe. All right. No, never mind, Gabe. You just stay there. We're going to get good players on the, the bases, and then you're going to score. He gives a nod. But first, Alex, you have pretty good range on your powers, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, I have an idea, because this is a pretty annoying pitcher, huh? I mean, mm -hmm. I, I hadn't even considered the idea of needing someone to use powers to pitch. I kind of was only thinking about... I figured we'd be pitching normal. I don't know why I thought that. You think mm -hmm. you could make a... You think you could make it so the ball hits me in the head? <laughs> <laughs> it worked before in dodgeball to get someone out, so... Is that really, is that really what you want? I can try if that's... Hey, I'm not gonna be a good kicker anyway. I don't have, I can't use my ghosts, and I don't have kick-related powers. So if I can be a sacrificial lamb to get their good pitcher out so that we can have easy pitches for the rest of the game, that sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> well, well, I, I respect that. I will, I will try. All right, I'll hop over the fence. All right, Robert looks to you and just says, Godspeed, soldier. <laughs> <laughs> I love Robert. <laughs> All right, and you move forward to kick, and she's once again going to rev the ball up. It bursts into flame as she spins around, and she's going to roll it towards you. And uh, how do you want to approach kicking it? Do you want to use? Well, you can't use your power, so I guess you just have to go regular, and then uh, we'll we'll do another roll after. Yeah, Lily is more focused on just standing still and keeping her head still so that it is a easy target to pull the ball up into. Okay, in fact, actually, roll to provoke someone. Okay. That's superior. It is. You're just provoking them yep. to make yourself an easy target. Uh, so on a 7 to 9, they choose 1. Uh, okay, she is shocked by like how like not ready you seem like by how defenseless you seem as you're like you're ready you look ready to kick but she's able to tell like some nuances from your from your posture um and they are going to they're going to air as they throw the ball in your direction uh and you guys are going to gain a critical opportunity uh, and Alex, I want you to roll to unleash your powers. Okay. All right. That's a partial hit. So I can either tell you how uh, it is unstable or temporary, or you can mark a condition. Can we can we use some team from the pool to make it a full hit? Yeah, I was uh, thinking the same that thing. That would be three really points. Real. Let's do it. We got team do, to spare. Do you want to spend three points? To, to do this. Hmm. And by, and, no. you, and you guys would need to be able to help Alex do this. Lily's helping, and, but Alex is doing the action. This hmm. is to make the ball spike up and hit Lily in the face, correct? It is. Yes. But again, it could be <laughs> unstable or temporary what Alex is doing, or again, she can mark a condition on a partial hit. I think unstable could be fine. Yeah, let's let's go with that. Okay. Then uh you are able to affect this is some of the farthest you've ever pushed your powers to affect things. Um but you do affect the gravity of the ball causing it to spike up and change its trajectory as it is rolling at high speed. But sadly, you aren't able to slow down the speed of the ball uh in order to make it a safe hit in the face. Uh, this so, is okay. So, Lily, I need you to roll to take a powerful blow. <laughs> this is okay. <laughs> take it like a champ. This Ooh. is okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can choose one from the top list or two from the bottom. Rem remember my remember my advice. Remember what <laughs> I told you. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna be knocked out. I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The ball flies up, slams into Lily's face as you're going to go 
flying over Ramhead and just land in the field behind him. Jesus. Like, your nose is busted. You just fall flat on the ground, fully unconscious. And she just goes, oh, shit. Can we say that, like, a lot of people over here just immediately jump up and they're like, what the heck? What the hell is that room? <laughs> uh, Jay, roll to provoke someone. Yeah. I, I can try. I'll try my best. Changed out world. Hi. Can I use a team and say Echo's like also like helping, being like, "Hey, what the frick, rap?" Yeah, again, you can make this a full hit, but it would require spending two team points. I thought it was a nine. Oh. Oh right. I. Ooh, I think we should. Why? What is the difference between provoking from an eight to a ten? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to move off to well, a nine. On a ten, they rise to the bait and do what you want if you have a certain thing you're wanting to provoke them to do otherwise they pick mm -hmm. from the list i think she's 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 already if they stay by the rules gonna yeah, she's be out. out yeah so i think we're fine yeah i'm just gonna do from the seven to nine okay um yeah. and and they're going to pick uh okay so yeah you're you're calling out, uh, and Echo, you're still calling out, too, even if you're not spending team to help. You're all like, hey, what What the hell? Hey, that was our captain! What are you doing? Uh, and uh, she's going to stomp on the ground and burst into flames and just say, let me tell you something! I know I didn't do that on purpose! And, like, she just starts yelling at you guys. Um, but Jackhammer will blow the whistle, put her hands in the air, and just say, Alicaliente, out! Uh, and she just like grumbles stomps her feet like kicks dirt and she's like throwing a tantrum out there as they have to like get somebody to come out there in order to move her off the field uh <laughs> actually it's gonna be uh gonna be elastic here it's gonna go like wrap her up with his arms and like hoist her uh up as she's like kicking her feet and he just moves her off the field god well he's gotta be careful when we play football that shit's gonna be lethal <laughs> And uh, you all can have somebody come to to pick up Lily and, and move her into the the dugout as uh, mm -hmm. Lily is going to be unconscious for this inning. Uh, say Evan's gonna come over and pick you up and and, and move you over, uh, kind of drag you away, <laughs> move you over here into the shade, and he'll lay you down. And Gabe will get up to give you room, uh, and Evan just says, "Okay." We're still waiting to put Gabe out so that we can fill the bases. Uh, and he's going to look around and just look to Nelson and Robert and nod to them as he kind of starts talking with them about who should go next. Uh, if any players want to go next, they can come over and ask. Otherwise, Evan's, you know, deciding on making some plays here. I want to try. Yeah, you, you come over and Evan looks to you and looks you up and down and says... Okay, if you want to head out there, go ahead. Uh, I think we're going to have Nelson and Robert follow you up, and if you guys have filled the bases, then Gabe's going to come through for a clean sweep. Got it. I hop over the fence, and I'm going. All right. Way, Ethan pushes, yeah. pushes fingers together. Just want to ask to make sure, could the could the benefit of me getting rid of their best pitcher be like a, like a plus one to kicking for the rest of our inning? That's you know, a, if we're getting rid of their good pitcher. That's a good question. That's a fair question. I'll say yes. You you guys can get Yay. plus one for the rest of the inning, yeah. Yay! Uh, so yeah, you, you make your way out there. Evan's discussing kind of next plays to do. Uh, Aiden's also going to come over to Lily and kind of like use one of his hands as like a cold pack for her head. <laughs> uh, Trifony's mm -hmm. also like over here kind of doting on you unconscious as Jay, you make your way over. And... You'll look in the distance, mm -hmm. and you will see who is on the base now. And we'll change the music up. As oh. you see, Wayne is on the pitching mound. Mm -hmm. Okay. This guy. And he looks over to you. And, you know, kind of gives you a, a look up and down as they're figuring out who's going on the far base since Elastic has kind of moved off to the side. 
Uh, and I want you to roll to pierce the mask. Okay. But Yeah, you can tell he's looking you over, but you can't really get a read on him, especially since he's wearing, like, a full helmet, and his posture gives nothing away. Now, whenever... Oh, wait, actually, I guess this doesn't exactly work. They don't count as a villain because just because they're on another team, right? No, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> Depends on how psychopathic you are in, like, competitiveness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, and uh, they'll move Alexis onto the far base. Okay. So we'll get ready for the next kick here as you're, you're yep. up and Wayne is going to prepare and... His stances all seem very meticulous, and you, you've never really gotten a read on, like, if he has powers or not, but he goes to mm -hmm. roll the ball towards you, and it seems like a normal roll, but considerably fast, even for a regular person. Uh, so now, mm -hmm. you can either use your powers, you can roll to kick. What is it that Jay wants to do? Jay's gonna give it their all and give a good kick. Alright, then roll plus danger to kick the ball. Got it. That's a full hit. Uh, yeah, with a full hit, you kick the ball. Uh, there aren't any notable difficulties that come from this. You kick the ball high into the air. And what direction do you want to kick it in? Um, hold on. Let me look at the field again because I was looking at my stuff. Um, I kind of kick it over here. All right. Then, yeah, you're going to kick it over in that direction. And... Uh, you are able to start making the run to first base. Okay. So I'm able to make that run. That, that was, was a home a, run, right? That was not a home run. No, uh, if it says Kapow, that's a home run. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, so but, that's just a success. Yeah, with, with a full success, you get to decide what direction you're kicking it. And also, there are mm -hmm. not any notable difficulties that come from where the ball lands. Uh, but okay. you've made the kick. Now roll to directly engage a threat as you go to first base. Okay. You did add the plus one, right? I did. Okay, okay. That's yeah, that was a plus four. Then it'd be a kapow. Yep. All right. Ooh. That's another full hit on running. Uh, and so from directly engage a threat, you can pick two from the list. Okay. I would like to... Um... I would like to... Impress, surprise, or frighten the opposition, first of all, because I want to say that I am actually not using technically my powers. I haven't transformed or anything, but I'm running really fast. Yeah. I'm actually, like, I'm taken off, basically, and I, I'm not transforming into a car or nothing. This is just pure me, you know, not not having to transform or anything. You're not using any rocket thrusters or wheels or anything in your legs. You're just booking it. Yeah, exactly. All I'm right. literally just running. Okay. Um, and then I want to ask, where's the ball right now as I'm at first base before yeah, as, I choose my second, like, move? Yeah, as you kick the ball up into the air, uh, you see Glamoury, a uh, girl on the left, mm -hmm. move over mm -hmm. towards it as it bounces off the ground and she catches it in one hand after the bounce. And then the ball starts to glow as she looks over in your direction. Uh, and if you want to, you can try to assess the situation uh, to see what answers you might be able to get from, like, what this might mean. Okay. I'm going to do that, but I still have one more thing to take from my yes. danger roll. But I will roll to assess the situation. Mm -hmm. This this is just to help. Well, it won't help you. Uh, you're, yeah. you're looking at her and you're like, okay, that must be related to her powers, but you don't have any idea what her powers are. So you don't know what she's about to do. I would like to create an opportunity for my allies. And what I mean by this is I'm going to do the thing where I look like I'm constantly trying to steal a base. Okay. Um, so that the next person who is kicking, maybe Glamoury, is kind of keeping their eye on me because I'm constantly looking like I'm going to take off to another base. Okay. Um, without actually taking off. And I also want to say this is probably unintentional and it's just Jane has never played this game before. <laughs> um, and so they're like casually stepping off it for a second and then they step back on it and it's like making everyone on the other team kind of flinch for a second. Okay. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Then Just kind of making people think that I'm trying to distract them um, <laughs> to give opportunity maybe for the next person to kick to be able to kind of 
uh, have the field, the defense people be uh, distracted. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, she, like, readies to do something with the ball, but looks at you. You're staying firm on the base, and you're, like, looking like you're going forward, but the play is called because you're stopped. Uh, and, you know, you Eugene is standing at you, uh, kind of had, like, backed up with the force you came at the first base and just scoffs to himself as uh, we're ready to send someone else out to kick. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, Evan is going to focus first on sending Robert out. So Robert is going to hop along, get on the kicking mound here. Wayne is going to have the ball rolled back to him. He'll roll it at Robert, and Robert, with a mighty powerful kick, manages to kick it very high in the sky. And uh, Jay, you've got an opportunity to run as, you know, all, all eyes are on you rather than Robert as you are darting forward. And you just roll okay. to directly engage a threat again as the ball flies in the air. Uh, and okay. once again, it kind of goes over in, in Glamoury's direction. Got it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That is a full hit. Once again, you get two from directly engage a threat. I am going to... Um, I want to take something from them and what i'm hoping to take from them is all of their attention basically i kind of was already doing that but i want to basically have it so like a lot of eyes are on me Mm -hmm. um and robert can get to first base without issue basically okay and i'm i think i want to do the same thing i'm trying to create an opportunity for my allies actually well I don't really want to choose resist or avoid their blows because I I get to the base, you know. I don't like. Uh, no, you know what? It would I'm... it would still be a good, that that can still be a good idea because the the thing is you're rolling to make the run, uh. But depending yeah. on how you make the run, like right now, all their attention is on you, so yeah, they're all looking at you. So it'd be a good idea to avoid their blows. Okay, then I'll change what I do entirely. I'm going to do the impress, surprise, or frighten them. I want to surprise them as I resist and avoid their blows entirely and make it to the second base. Okay. Then, yeah, uh, as you're skating along or, or running very fast with, like, you know, your super hydraulic legs blitzing down the field, <laughs> you've got all eyes on you. Robert's able to safely get to his base. Um, mm-hmm. And as you get close... You notice that once again the ball bounces, Glamoury catches it, and it glows before it disappears. And you land on the base, and you look behind you, and Alexis, who is just barely off time, is holding the ball. And she says, ah, Mm. damn. Good job, Jay. Oh, thank you. And she's going to roll the ball back over to Wayne as you're, you know, left to think, like, okay, what was that? Alex is going to yeah. cheer from the stage. All right, all right. <laughs> then uh, next, Evan is going to send Nelson out onto the field. He'll make his way to kick. And of course, you know, the, the bases are close to loaded. And yeah. these two start staring each other down. You, mm-hmm. you. I want everyone who is uh, currently conscious and watching the game uh, to roll to pierce the mask. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Alex, you're too distracted by what's going on with the game. Jay, you're preoccupied with what you're about to do. Yeah. Echo and Terry, you guys, are you guys watching for this? Mm-hmm. We cannot. <laughs> Mundane. Yep. Wait, so I'm rolling mundane with no minuses or penalties? Uh, you're just rolling to pierce the mask, so yeah, you're just hitting the, the button next to mundane. Mm. Let's miss as well. No! <laughs> That's a partial hit. That's uh, great. Yeah, Terry, you're, you're looking over the field, and uh, you know, you you're going to get one answer from this, but as you look between Wayne and Nelson, uh, you can feel malice on the field. Like, <laughs> you, you can feel a very high level of tension between them as they are both, like, stanced and ready 
you know, Wayne gets in position to roll the ball, Nelson, like, tenses up. Um, and when Wayne goes to roll the ball, it flies down the way, you know, wind cutting around it at high speed. Nelson goes to mm. kick it, and he kicks it hard, like, harder than you would expect him to, even with super strength. And it pops, flies straight into the air. It doesn't literally pop, uh, but it flies straight up into the air uh, with a loud thud as Nelson is going to immediately start running, and Wayne is just keeping his eyes on Nelson this whole time. Uh, and Jay, I want you to roll yeah. to directly engage a threat once again as everyone starts running the bases. Okay. All right, all right. Not the base. All right. You get one from the directly engage a threat list as you are moving along. What is it that you want to do? I want to resist or avoid their blows. Okay. I want to. I want to make it to the base. All right. Then yeah, you you are able to blitz forward, uh, and you know at a good speed that uh, the the ball flies through the air. Uh, this time, like Evan is able to catch it, catch it as it bounces. He tosses it over to Alexis, who like catches it with a cloud behind her, moves it over mm -hmm. her hand. She's gonna throw it in your direction and have the ball be carried by clouds, but you're able to dodge out of the way. Robert touches down on the base. Uh, and as the ball flies past you, Glamoury is going to catch it. You're able to make it to the base successfully. And Glamoury, the ball is going to glow again, is going to flash. And Vizula is now going to be holding the ball as he is preparing to throw it at Nelson, who is about to reach the first base here. Uh, he's going to throw it. And it just barely misses Nelson as Nelson, like, dives under the ball and goes into, like, a combat roll onto the base. Uh, Eugene mm -hmm. just picks it up with his tendrils and kind of scoffs to himself. And then, you know, <laughs> kind of looks at Nelson and says, All right, Class Prez, you're doing all right. And he'll go to toss the ball over in Wayne's direction, who's still just staring Nelson down. Uh, and now... Evan looks to Gabe, gives a nod. Gabe is going to make his way onto the field. And staring down Wayne, you know, Wayne kind of loosens up in his posture for this role. Seems like he's not nearly as tense as he prepares, goes to roll it, and he kind of rolls it lightly towards Gabe. Uh, and as it comes towards Gabe, Gabe, arms crossed, raises a leg back, kicks the ball, like, very lackadaisically, and the ball just mm -hmm. rockets into the stratosphere. Uh, it is <laughs> gone. Good. It is a home run. Gabe just starts sliding without moving uh, around <laughs> all of the bases, uh, and Jay, you're able to come through. Robert is able to hop along behind you, uh, and Nelson goes to run along as well. And eventually, all four of you, uh, followed by Gabe, who is sliding around the bases at high <laughs> speed. All of all four of you end up making your way back, and your team scores four more points. Which let me jot down real fast. We've got five right now, correct? You've got four points from you guys. Uh Lily. And then one in the very beginning from Danny. Yes, one from in the beginning from Danny, that's true. No, all we need to do is prevent them from ever scoring a single point. Yep. This is easy. <laughs> they will never. Let's get them. <laughs> okay. Jotting these down to make sure I have stuff written. Uh, okay, yeah. All of you guys make your way around, and, you know, the people on the other team start kind of scoffing, cursing under their breaths as, you know, you, you come in and you, you guys start high-fiving around the three of you with Gabe kind of standing off next to you guys and you can make mm -hmm. your ways back over to the dugout hooray hop over the fence echoes clapping oh. alex goes for a high five for jay and nelson as they come in definitely give that high five and as you guys uh high five each other and and celebrate getting a large number of points thankfully following lily's plan after she uh got knocked out perished uh 
Evan starts kind of counting on his fingers and says, okay, we've got one out. We've had two, three, four more. Okay, we have three more kicks, guys. Uh, let me write that down. As uh, he's going to look around um, and see, you know, who's who's kind of ready to go next. And Terry and Echo, if you guys want to go, by all means. Sure, Echo will, Echo will go up to bat. All right, then he'll, he'll snap and point over to you and says, all right, be careful out there. Uh, Terry climbs lot. down the tree and starts to get ready. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You make your way onto the field uh and wayne like looks at you uh and looks back to his team and kind of he makes a specific hand motion and then <laughs> looks back at you uh can i roll to pierce the mask to see what the fuck that was about yes you can yeah what the fuck was that about all right uh, yeah, as you pierce the mask, you're looking around, and Eugene is smirking and looking at you, and you can almost read what this hand sign means from Eugene's expression, and you get the vibe that he just called you an easy out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sure. All right, then he is going to look back at you, rev the ball hey, back. Can... Yeah? I guess you could say... He's underestimating me, hey? <laughs> yeah, he's underestimating you. Good, I'm rolling superior. Fuck your danger. <laughs> oh, you shit talked before the roll. Bold. Everybody's gonna move closer. All right. Use the grappling hook. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right. <laughs> Going and roll. He's underestimating you. Super. <clears throat> nah, I got three. <laughs> We're good. I want to let him think. <laughs> yeah, you you rev the your you you rev your prosthetic back. Go to kick it, and uh, you're not a kicker. You really aren't. Um, but you go to swing your leg. It rolls by you almost a little slowly, which like feels kind of insulting. Uh. And the ball gets thrown back over towards Wayne from Ramhead, uh, and he just says, "Hey, don't worry, you'll get it next time, man." <laughs> Is he being sincere, like in Echo World Pierce the Mask? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna give you three questions because you rolled that high. Uh, you want to know if he's being sincere? Yes. He's being totally sincere. Oh, what did what did you? Um, Ah, that's all really I need. We're good. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll let you ask some questions about other people in the field. Oh, shit. Uh, hmm. What is, is, can Echo tell what uh, Archer Boy over here is doing? Like what kind of hit he's going to do next? Uh, you get the vibe from, and this is kind of helped by Spark analyzing, that he has tensed certain muscles in a way where you think that after that slow roll, he's going to try to surprise you with a fast roll. Okay. Well, and then what's Eugene thinking? Uh, Eugene is just looking at you, arms crossed. He is like, it looks like he is not even prepared to start moving. <laughs> he's just relaxing. All right. Let's do this again. All right. And I get a plus one to this, right? I realized I didn't have a plus one in my last one, but it wouldn't have made, uh, made much. Uh, is that what the little space yeah. thing does? It's no, it's because no, it's the we picture is different. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yes. Keep me honest, guys. Always. All right. Here we go. Eat cereal. All right. That is a partial hit on kicking the ball. Uh, so this time, second kick, you're able to hit it. Uh, it goes flying across the field. Not nearly as high as some of the superhuman kicks we've had so far. Um, but it goes rolling, and now you have a chance to run in uh, Eugene's direction for first base. 
What do you want to do? Uh, I'm going to cheat a little bit and yeah. be sneaky. Uh, while the ball's in the air and Echo's running to the other base, he's going to try to put it in the other dimension. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, roll to unleash your powers as you're affecting the environment. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. <laughs> you kick the ball into the air. Uh, it goes flying, and as you are running in Eugene's direction, uh, you, you, you shoot with your portal gun uh, pretty long range across the field as a portal opens up, and it seems like Glamoury is moving to grab it, uh, but it a portal opens and it disappears before she can. She seems kind of shocked as she steps back from that, and uh, you are able to successfully make it to uh, the other side unimpeded as you <laughs> land on the base here and eugene just you know still arms crossed looks at you and just says better be careful trying that again next time it's not going to work twice uh echo kind of opens a portal as it's kind of in the final arc so he like actually lands on the field <laughs> um, he doesn't want to just keep it in a realm uh, as he kind of looks at eugene and just kind of scoffs Easy out, eh? Easy out. <laughs> couldn't, he, couldn't Echo technically just keep it in a portal and run all the bases? Uh, I just want to ask. <laughs> that's a good question, actually. Yeah, it's, because it's, it's, I mean, it's not against the rules. It's not a ghost or anything like that. It's just he's using his powers. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, it's out of the park. It's it is run. literally out of the park. I guess, <laughs> I guess that is that is like a dirty home run. It's not a clean home run, but it's a dirty home run. So it would, it could technically be, but uh, Echo, you already brought it back, so you don't get to do that this time. But you can keep that in mind for the future. Uh, I like how Jake goes like, he's like, fuck. But uh, <laughs> that's fucking guy. This guy. All right, all right. Well, you are on the first base. They get the ball back over to Wayne. And, uh, you know, Evan looks around and is kind of making note of who is gone. Uh, Terry, do you want to go up and kick? Terry would like crack his neck and go, okay, my turn. All right. Evan gives a nod to you and says, all right, good luck out there. And climbs over fence. Okay. Over the field. Oh, wait. Uh, actually, nah, it doesn't matter. Cold out here anyway. Then like stretches a bit. Claps. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did you put your coat on over your athletic uniform? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's cold. You've got it's your aesthetic. Got your coat on over your like, you know, running shorts and you're kind of doing some stretches and preparing and Wayne, you know, is eyeing you up, getting ready to pitch the ball, uh, and Ramhead is waiting behind you. And once again, unless you want to use your powers to do something fancy, we're gonna roll danger to try to kick the ball. Um if again, like if he used his own fear like fear toxin to like produce adrenaline in his body. To, like make himself a little bit like more physically alert would that have an effect that would like, have would, an but, effect, like, yeah. a rolling effect uh and yeah, would that what's would, it wouldn't change it from danger but like would i get like a plus uh roll to unleash your powers and based on how you do i'll give you a modifier okay okay Nine. uh i assume you want it to be temporary unless you want to mark a condition yeah it's, it's temporary yeah okay then it just lasts for this kick uh but yeah you're able to hype yourself up and i will give you a plus one on your uh danger rolls for for this whole inning okay yeah so terry just kind of revs himself up lets out a little bit of puff but of, of like gas but it just goes like kind of up his head mm -hmm. and I then do want to remind you to just do it would be a plus two sorry to interrupt oh, because yeah, of true. the pitcher thing oh uh, yeah. yeah true true yeah wow okay and then he's just gonna get ready to kick. All right, then roll danger to kick. Damn! Wow, that was with a plus two. Yeah, yeah minus two use, danger. Use a team point. Wait. In my opinion. He gets three shits, so I think. This... Wait, that shouldn't be that. That shouldn't be impossible. That should be. Yeah, that shouldn't be possible. I'm afraid, so it's minus two. But I already have a natural plus three. Did you do when hmm. in the adding the modifier? Which one is it? Hang on. Oh wait, I, I it, wait. It should be like total. It should be like everything I add up, right? Yeah, it so is. So that should have been a plus well, three because I have a three naturally, and then I have a minus two, and then I had a plus two, which would have put it back to three. 
did you did you put the plus in when adding the modifier? Might have forgot. No, because if you do do that, then I think it uh, fucks it up. This had this has happened before. If you just put the number two without a plus, but then when you do a minus modifier, you have to put the sign for mo minus. It's it, it's. Confusing. So I shouldn't have put a plus. You should not have put a plus. Okay. okay well, this roll, uh, you would have had a plus, nine plus three for a nine minus two for your conditions, uh, which would be so a seven a seven, and then plus two cancels out the minus two, uh, and then. Yeah, okay. So you would have a uh, 7, a 9. It's a partial hit. Uh, yeah. So for a partial hit on this kick, uh, the ball is going to go flying, uh, and it's going to go... Let's see. Where's the ball going to go? Uh, the ball's going to go over in this direction, uh, kind of towards Vizula, as you are going to start running. And uh, Echo mm -hmm. and Terry, I want both of you to roll to directly engage a threat in order to make the run. Uh, do they underestimate Echo still? <laughs> they do still underestimate you, yes. Okay. okay, so no pluses. It makes things screwy. Yeah, your your conditions and label should be automatic, so you just want to put, like, uh, the regular two, and then... Yeah, okay. Can I? Ah, oh, I want a team point to make that a full hit so we don't have to worry about <laughs> I don't think that's a bad choice. We have five and we haven't used them yet. Yeah, I just, say just use using one. one would make sense. Yeah. You want to do it? Terry's out here and Terry could find a way to help you. Yeah, sure, let's do that one. Attention being split by Terry being here. I'll post that. Uh, and then, yeah, the attention is just split from Terry being out here, so that makes enough sense. Uh, and I'm double-checking. We started with five. We haven't used any, so we've got four left. And, uh, yeah, Echo, as you are running forward, you have got a full hit, so you can pick two. And then, Terry, you have a full hit, so you can also pick two from directly engaged threat as you're making your way to the next bases. Uh, so first we'll go with Echo, as the ball is going to roll by, and uh, <laughs> you're you're going to start running and kind of have to, like, hop over the ball uh, as Vizula <laughs> is going to snatch it. Uh, what what two choices do you want to pick? Uh, probably resist or avoid their blows. Okay. Uh, and... <laughs> I want to take something from them, and I want to take. I wanted to say uh, I want to take Eugene's focus and just boop him on the nose as I start running. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, sure. Uh, yeah, you you, you, you you like stand up, boop him on the nose, and start running. He's like, what the what the hell? Uh, and you start running forward. Vizula is going to snatch the ball off of the ground, uh, and he's going to kind of glance at you quickly as you are running, glance at Eugene, and then he'll just glance back at you, throw the ball in your direction. You're going to be able to dodge. How do you dodge the balls it's thrown at you? Uh, I just, just for flavor, he jumps in a portal real quick and jumps back out. Yeah, you just zip out and back in. The ball goes rolling. Uh, Aid, uh, uh, Lewis, as the ball bounces in the air, is able to fly to like catch it midair and sweep back around. Uh, you are able to make it to this next base. No problem. And, uh, Terry, what two are you going to pick from the list? Mm, uh, resist or avoid. Okay. And then impress the opposition. Okay, what do you want to do to impress them? Uh, is, and it, okay, wait. Firstly, is, is there, like, anyone throwing a ball, like, a Terry or anything, or is he just gonna, like, get the run? Because if not, he's gonna want to make, um, create an opportunity. Actually, no. I'm gonna resist and create an opportunity. Okay. Because that just makes more sense. How do you want to create an opportunity? So this is coming from like my not understanding how kickball works. People are like, do we have like an entire run? Like, like, do so we go through everyone and then we yep. switch and then we go through everyone again? This uh, is correct. We we go through ten people. Yeah. So the next person that kicks will be the last. Ten people or three outs, which we've only had one out so far on your team, not counting Lily being unconscious because that wasn't her fault. 
Uh-huh. Okay, <laughs> Terry, Terry, knowing how Danny's power works, is going to take um, a piece of metal. I think he might break off his zipper and place it somewhere around here on the field. So if she has to dodge, she can. Okay, you're creating an opportunity for later. For for later. Yeah. Because okay. Terry's thinking ahead and he's like, yeah, they're gonna try and do something screwy with Danny, so she needs an out in case she does need to dodge. That's so fucking smart. Alright. Then yeah, you you take a bit of metal, you flip it onto the ground while people aren't looking at you, uh, and you're running ahead. Uh Avian is going to uh toss the ball, Vizula will snatch it, throw it in your direction, uh, but you are able to clean slide onto the base and Eugene snatches the ball out of the air with his tendrils, but he was too distracted by Echo, could not hit you in time as you make the base, uh, and he just, like, sighs to himself and then rolls the ball back over to Wayne. Ah, ah, fuck you, Eugene! <laughs> you call that out, and Alexis looks over at you and kind of flicks you on the ear and just says, hey, don't be a troublemaker. Ow, fine. <laughs> I like this sport. This is a good sport. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> and, uh, Terry, you make it here, and, uh, you know, you Eugene, you know, kind of just looks you over and just says, ah, Gotta admit, you guys are doing pretty well for this first inning. Well, yeah, that's the idea. He just kind of smirks at you. And uh, Evan's going to look around and just be like, Okay, who do we have left that hasn't gone? Uh, Triffany, want to head out? And Trifany kind of looks to Evan, looks back to Lily unconscious, and then nods, and she'll flutter over the fence and head out onto the field. And as Trifany gets on the field, Wayne will rev up once again, go to roll the ball, and uh, Trifany does a, a pretty regular kick. It, it, it's a nice hard kick, but it goes rolling across the field. These last three kicks have been a lot more standard for, for kick ball as she goes to flutter and fly across the field. Um, um, how does she scoot it along? Like, is it a worm burner? Does it scoot across the ground or is it like in the air? Uh, it's kind of going along the ground. Okay. Uh, I am going to use my powers to try to send it somewhere and do a dirty home run. Okay. Uh, roll to unleash your powers. All right. Oh, how could Kai? Kai, how do you want to make this wit? How do you? <laughs> oh. Hmm. You want me to? Want me to like help? Yes. I assume. Yes. We well, yeah. Terry could just like. So. Uh, Terry could just like huff out some gas, to, like obscure vision. That won't help with where the ball is going. Oh, with the where the ball is going. Terry yeah. can't like. What do you want him to do? Like take his shoe off and throw it at him. <laughs> That's like obstruction. Is that like against the? No, <laughs> no. It's... <laughs> it's... Is that allowed? It's not in the rules. Do you want to try to distract people by calling out and throwing something? Oh, yeah, I Terry's gonna try... throw the shoe to like bounce it into the portal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. But he sacrifices a shoe, so it's fair. <laughs> do you want to do that, Terry? Yeah, sure. That feels <laughs> strange enough. Why not? All right. Uh, yeah, you you open a portal, Terry. You help change the trajectory so the ball goes into the portal. Uh, Echo, you manage to close it, uh, and you you're Is gonna the shoot start... in the portal. <laughs> uh, the shoe did follow the portal. Yes. Ah, oh, it's gone. <laughs> it's not gone forever, but you know, it's it's oh, in the sand room. The worm's gonna eat that. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, Trifidi is flying towards you. Uh, Terry, you're making a run. Uh, Echo, still roll to directly engage a threat. But it's a home run. They can't get the ball. Roll to directly engage a threat. Dude, who's the threat? Monka. Okay. Well, Do they, they underestimate you? A lasher appears. Do they underestimate me? Uh, they don't anymore because you've been using your portals. Uh, yeah, Echo, as you're running, you're like, okay, you know, you've got your peace signs in the air. You're like, I've got a, I've got a dirty home run. We're making it all the way. Uh, and you look, you like look over your shoulder, uh, as you're running and you see Glamoury is holding a glowing ball as she goes to throw it at you. 
and you're like, wait, what the hell? And the ball manages to hit you in the chest and just, like, mm -hmm. knock you onto the ground as you're sat there stunned, like, what the hell just happened? Uh, what, like, does the ball stay there or is it just gone? Uh, the ball lands next to you. Gloria's gonna run up and pick it up, and then Glamour is going to snap, and the ball disappears from her hand, and, you know, you're, you're having to kind of, like, look around the field for what happened. Uh, <laughs> but in, in the time that this is happening, Terry, you're able to very freely get to this third base. Triffany is flying along behind you because everybody is like, oh yeah, we got a home run happening here. But now there is a ball in play. And Terry, as you're making your way to the final base, roll to directly engage a threat. Just make a new ball. Act it. Fair. That's, that's big thonks. <laughs> Unironically, so, that's like turbo brain. Me, I'm just personally, I'm like confused. It got, Lord, they teleported it back to their hands is kind of what I'm hearing here. The glowing ball. Yes. And now they're trying to teleport it probably over here. Uh, you're not really sure where they're going, but you can roll to assess the situation. I would like to roll that. I think Jay's watching this and actually, I'm also listening and I'm like, huh? Yeah. Um, okay. 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 Uh, to assess the situation, you have one question so you i assume you just want to figure out like what are they doing like what's happening yeah them? what is the play that's happening right now uh you notice that as you're like scanning the ball it seems like the ball has been encased in some kind of glowing tangible energy and mm -hmm. whenever she snaps her fingers the ball whenever it disappears a small dagger replaces it and the ball appears in someone else's hands or like next to someone else. And you start mm -hmm. piecing together that Glamoury in defense has planted small daggers across the field and is swapping their places with the ball. Mm -hmm. Got it. Uh, and now Terry, you have got a partial hit. Uh, so you can yep. pick one from directly engage a threat. Well, resist or avoid their blows. All right. Yeah, uh, you are running along. The ball gets, like, zipped over to Avian, who's able to fly in the air and throw it to you. You're able to, like, dodge roll out of the way, and you safely make it to the final base. Uh, and as Triffany yeah. goes to fly around, she doesn't... It's like, this is the final kick, and she's just going for the long haul. She's just going to try to fly and run. Uh, but sadly... Uh, the ball gets zipped back over to Vizula, who zips it back over to Wayne, who's able to, like, pitch it into the air, uh, knock Triff out of mm. the sky as she lands, and that is going to be the end of the inning, with all ten people having run, and technically three outs. They both happened at the same time. Uh, Terry was able to score one more point, and... Nice. I'm wanting to keep myself honest with the amount of points. I believe your team has six points currently. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Uh, so with that, Triffany lands and just starts cursing under her breath. Uh, to echo, you sit up and Gloria like dusts off your shoulders and just says, don't worry, you'll get us next time. That was actually <laughs> impressive. <laughs> he says, kind of looking over at Glamour. She smiles and just says, well, we had to have some kind of answer to you. Yeah. Yeah. He kind of gives her like a fist bump. She gives you a fist bump back and just says, All right, you guys better be ready. We look forward to it. Triffany will move over here as you move over. Uh, and we'll bring the energy uh, a little lower for just a second as we've got a, a brief intermission uh, and the, the teams are going to move to change places. Uh everyone on the field of course going to move off the field as they're lining up and figuring out their kicking situation and over here you know you guys make your way back over to the dugout uh and lily you wake up now that uh that that series of kicks uh is over lily wakes up realizes her forehead is wet just mm -hmm. kind of tries to brush aiden off like hey you can you can stop Aiden sloshes away and just goes, Oh, oh, I'm, I'm glad you're awake, Lily. What happened? Uh, Robert, like, leans over the fence and just says, Well, it got hit in the face, but we managed to score six points. 
Okay. Did the Gabe plan work? He nods with a little smile okay. on throat. Evan uh, just kind of looks over to you with a little chuckle and just says, yeah, uh, I mean, it, it got a little difficult towards the end as we started running out of hard hit kickers, but, I mean, overall, I think that was a pretty good inning for us. Yeah, who's... Okay, so, because Danny scored, and then the game plan should have gotten four people. Who else scored? Uh, oh, Terry made a last run. Terry? God it damn. was me. I just ran it like normal person. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> Yeah, Gabe just sort of like nods to you, Terry. Uh, and Echo, what are you what are you doing up here? Uh, Echo's gonna go run, pretend to like jump the fence, and as he jumps the fence, he's gonna jump into a portal. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, you you disappear into a portal. Uh, I'll give you like the the yellow as usual as you're like in another dimension. He's gonna uh, make his way to the other <laughs> to the other team's box. <laughs> okay. So so we have picked up well jay jay noticed that you said that there are daggers in the field uh where yes. okay jay's gonna basically relay this um to lily and to the team in general mm -hmm. um and basically say we got to get those daggers out of the field or else they're gonna keep teleporting the ball around and you'll notice as well that while the teams are switching places, it seems like Glamoury has disappeared all of the daggers that currently existed as they're going to start doing the kicking. Is... hang on. Where's the ball? Yeah, as you guys... Well, we will go and get the, get the ball. Yeah, Evan, Evan will kind of see the, the position you're in and offer to, to go get it and, and bring it over to you from, from Jackhammer. Mm -hmm. Hey, Lawrence, I don't mean to interrupt your important part of the plan, which, by the way, I hope is going well. Oh, yeah, uh, I found a few spells. Real quick, can you sniff this ball and tell me if it's like, <laughs> is the ball enchanted? Like, it is, because I guess the pink one is like teleporting the ball around. Is it a... If we swap out the ball, can she still do it? Or is it like she put some sort of enchantment on the ball? Uh, kind of can you sense anything from the ball? Picks it up, puts it in his open palm, and moves it around. He's like, eh, it seems like a normal ball to me. I mean, no, I don't think they did anything to the ball itself. I wasn't really paying attention when she was uh, doing whatever it was she was doing. Okay, you can't just... I mean, you said you said you could smell death on me one time. Can you not just smell magic on the ball if the ball is magic? Well, that's what I'm saying. I, it seems like okay. a normal ball. Well, it's just the way you said it made it sound like you were more basing that off not seeing her do anything. Oh, no. But thank I mean, you. Yeah, I just, I didn't see anything else. All right, well, then let's keep an eye out for the daggers. I was hoping we could just swip out, or swap out the ball, but I guess we should keep an eye out. People start nodding around, and you know, Evan kind of does a a, a a small exhale. It's like, okay, well, we're defending now. Uh, I mean, we're we're just gonna take up our our positions as discussed, right? I was thinking about it. Mm -hmm. Who's probably gonna be the best kicker on their team? Do you think? Mm -hmm. Because they might just end up trying to do the same sort of plan, like load the bases, send a strong kicker. Hmm. And I want to be able to identify who their best kicker is to know that's what they're doing. Like, probably, like, what does Gloria do? She looks buff, but, like... Yeah, roll to assess the situation, and you can ask some questions. Uh, I know Gloria's powers, don't I? Miracle Girl? That's, I've discussed a, it with her before. That's Pins, do you remember? If you remember, by all means. That, that's that's not fair. I know this that I so discussed it with her. Down. I was on student council with her. We we all talked about our powers. She's she's talked about her powers loosely enough that I wouldn't be surprised if somebody forgot what her powers were. Can I say what I think it was if I remember? Yeah. Even though I wasn't there. Uh it's like luck, isn't it? Yeah, it is luck. Yeah. Uh, also, yeah, you've got a nine on assess the situation, so you can ask one question about their team, their makeup, on like, you know, the the kickers and, and all of that. Who's like the, who, from 
the times I have seen them, because there are also a few of them in like the the uh, talent show and such. And using using all that, who's probably their best kicker, to my knowledge? Their best kicker. Let me evaluate. You think that their best kicker could be? I'm actually. Hold on, I need to double check something real quick. Okay. Uh, you, you think they have a few people that would probably be pretty good kickers. Uh, you think that uh, Jace, who was in the Ugly Little Upstarts, the, the rabbit-themed hero, uh, is probably a very oh, good yeah, kicker. That makes sense. Uh, and Haley also kind of flashes into your mind from volleyball. She doesn't really have any powers, but something about her just reads to you as like, okay, she... She, she can be pretty crazy when she wants to be. I, I, I assume Ram Guy could probably send it into the stratosphere a la Gabe style. Because he's, see, like, he's strong, isn't he? He did some shit during the talent show. Uh, during the talent show, uh, he did slam poetry. And that takes oh, real yeah. strength of character. It does. It <laughs> does. <laughs> okay. If, if the, okay. If the bases are loaded, I think we should probably because we can call a timeout, right? And uh, like yeah. swap someone out. Yeah, we can. I think if that happens, Gabe should be catcher, and then Gabe, you can just set up a barrier so they literally can't kick beyond like home base. <laughs> he he just like smirks a little bit for a second before dropping it and just nodding to you. If we, and also, if we need a cheap, if we get two outs, that could just be an easy way to get a cheap third and end it. Okay. Well, I mean, I, th I think that that works. Uh, and we weren't already going to have him on the field. So we yeah. really do just need to figure out who's pitching and who's catching. Who's Alex, you think you'd be good at pitching? You use gravity. Could you use that I to can... make a wonky, yeah. hard-to-hit ball? Yeah. Okay. And then, I don't know, whoever wants to catch, really. Hmm, well, we probably want to have somebody catch that could catch one of Alex's balls if she needs to pitch hard. That's true. I mean, we could always swap Gabe in later, but we could also just have him pull it up as a surprise. It's true. But we already, hang on, I already put down the list. Let me scroll up. Yep, 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 yep. I have, I have it written down. Um, in the field, you wanted Nelson, Danny, Alex, Evan, Triff, Echo, and Jay. Echo probably can't catch a ball super good. But it, for him to do what he's going to do, it's not like he really needs to move around anyway. So he could just sit there and, like, shoot portals out to try to trip people up from behind home base. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, we could... The catcher can move, right? <laughs> uh, it seems like the catcher needs to stay behind the base. Okay. It... It might be a good idea if Echo's catcher, because couldn't they just make a portal wherever the ball is and have the portal end where they're at? That's true. It'd be an easy way to stop a, a home run mm -hmm. if you could just bring a ball to him. Meanwhile, yeah, uh, we'll we'll follow Echo's perspective for a bit as uh, you're, you're slinking around in the other dimension and you're going over by the other team's dugout, which isn't on the map. Uh, yeah, he's gonna pick up Terry's shoe first, though. Okay. Thank you. Thank Holy, you. Terry appreciates that. <laughs> you, He'll remember this. You pick up his shoe. It has a big cartoony bite out of it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, you'll make your way over to uh, to their dugout in the other dimension. You're gonna try to do a little portal in order to leak some fear gas. So, uh, what I want you to do is, I want you to roll directly engage a threat on stealth like if you're being picked up doing this little maneuver 
Can I argue, before he does this, can I open a portal and listen to see what they're saying? You can. Uh, that'll be roll to assess the situation. Okay. Okay. Uh, you've got two questions, and you have sharpened eyes, but you're listening. So I'll, I'll give you a follow-up after this. Uh, All right. But the, the other team is talking, and from what you're gathering, it seems like Gloria is the team captain and Haley is co-captain. Uh, mm -hmm. And they're they're discussing a, a plan of attack, and it seems like they're talking about loading up the bases and and sending strong kickers out to get home runs. <laughs> uh, which do they say who? Uh, they do they do talk about a few people. They're kind of deciding the order right now. Uh, but notably, uh, you hear Eugene complain because he's like, it's like they it's like they knew what we wanted to do before we got out there. I guess it's just an easy strategy. So he's just like almost like we got a good team captain. Um But who are they gonna send as the powerful kicker? Uh well again, because there are ten people, there are a few powerful kickers. So they're talking about Jace, they're talking about Haley, they're talking about Alec Caliente, they're just kind of talking about uh they're talking about Xyler as well. Just they're they're talking about like the order that they're gonna be sending people out. But uh you get an additional question with all of this. Do you want to figure out like who the first big kicker is as they're like winding down the conversation? Yes. Uh, they figure like, okay, let's try to surprise them at the start with a home run, and then we'll load up the bases, and then we're going to, you know, they 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 basically are like, all right, let's like, we're I guess we're gonna mirror their strategy because you know, fuck, we were already gonna do it. Why change our strategy? Uh, but they're going to throw, like, a wrench into the middle of the game to try to throw you guys off. Okay. Uh, and as Deco said, uh, I get a plus one while acting on answers, so can I spin the fact that Echo's, like, acting while they're distracted? Sure. Get a plus one to your direct engage threat for stealth. Cool. We're stealing our whole flow! I know I had a plus, right? <laughs> What, what, Will? What'd you say, Will? Oh, I, it's just one. It's not a plus one on the modifier. It's just a, yeah, just, just, put a, just put a one. A nice one, okay. Oh, dear. <laughs> uh, you, you open a portal, and uh, Gloria, lucky as she is, looks over when you do that, uh, and immediately like Haley looks over in that direction because her eyes are just following Gloria's and Wayne reaches towards the portal, grabs your arm and pulls it through the portal and is has an iron <laughs> grip on you. <laughs> I can go, hey, this isn't my dugout. Uh, he, he grips your hand tight and he goes to swipe the bottle from you and just like make sure it's shut. Uh, I got kind of Can Terry this. see this from like across <laughs> uh, the way? Roll to assess the situation. There is no way. Okay. I would do the same. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no, I, I can explain this. Terry starts to see what's <laughs> happening. He looks away. He actively like looks <laughs> away from the situation. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Lily, you see what's happening as you guys are discussing the plan for who to put on the field. You, like, note Terry, look away, and, like, turn, and you're like, what? Oh, no. Like, you see Echo pulled out of the portal. Uh, and Jay, you get, uh, an additional question on top of seeing this happening. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to ask, uh, my two questions is, basically... What here is the biggest threat? Who looks really mad over there? Who who are we going to have to like explain <laughs> this away to? Him. Yeah. Who, who's the biggest threat in the game, or who's the biggest threat to Echo? To Echo in this no. moment is. Wait, no, you should have asked the first one. It no. seems like... that's actually fair to be honest. I, I feel like it'd be a mix of both, but if I have to choose one. If I have to choose one, who's the biggest threat in the game? And then, because my second question is going to focus more in on the exact thing that's happening to Echo. Well, the, the, the first question that I'm giving you an answer for is that you get to see this happening. Uh, so I'm giving you an additional question that you can ask for some specifics on it. Oh, okay. Um, 
Hmm. Yeah, who over there is the biggest threat in the game? Uh, yeah, as you're looking around, you know, uh, Gloria, you immediately get the vibe of, like, who knows what could happen around her? Like, you get the chance to, to kind of spot that the, the only reason they caught Echo is because she happened to notice him. Uh, mm -hmm. So it's like, okay, if she's on the field at all, they could suddenly get, like, full points, and it'd be like a washout, and you have no idea of knowing when it'll happen. Um, but additionally, off to the side, you see Starwalker, Xyler, uh, who has, like, a star-shaped mask, just sort of standing there quietly, and the thought runs through your mind that he reminds you a lot of Gabe. Okay. I'm going to voice this to Alex, who is beside me. Okay. I'm just going to kind of say it lowly. I'm going to be like, that one, it's like that one's their Gabe. Ooh. Well, I guess we need to keep an eye out for him. Can, can I do something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, because you said, you said Wayne with one hand is like holding Echo's arm. The other hand is holding the bottle. Yes. And we've established that bunkers are no man's land. Bunkers are no <laughs> holy land. There is no god here. Can I send a ghost over to try to unscrew the bottle while they're all looking and like arguing and interrogating Echo? Yes. yes. I'm in the danger zone. <laughs> fun. It's fun. This is have to be made. Roll, I'm in roll. the spot zone. Roll to command your spirits. Will, you know what happens to captured spies. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right. Get a you get a partial hit. Uh, a partial hit on seven to nine. Effect is unstable or temporary. Ghosts bring unwanted attention. Mark a condition. Mark your doom track. Can the unwanted attention? I think I'll do that because it doesn't say. If can I? Can I it doesn't say. Because I feel like temporary would be like. You know, it doesn't work as well. Could it just be that after it takes the thing off, they look to see a ghost, like, hand holding the lid so they know I did that? <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> the, the lid screws really, like, quickly and pops off and floats in the air, and they can, like, everyone quickly looks over. Echo, your, like, arm is being grabbed. Uh, and they're going to notice that uh, a ghost has caught the lid, as Wayne is holding it and smoke starts to seep out from the bottle. Uh, and they all know that a ghost did this, and Lily, you, you, I mean, what are you thinking when this happens as smoke pours out of the <laughs> well, bottle? It's not a lot of smoke. Like, we dilute, it's like a little just for anxiety, not for bringing their darkest fears and making them <laughs> mentally collapse, right? Just want to double check. <laughs> yeah, yes. but you're, you're still releasing the gas. I mean, what, is, what does Lily okay. think is the, it's a success? Uh, Lily is smiling smugly, leaning forward on the, uh fence she's got like the because we i didn't apparently chew enough gum for my fucking science project so i've got a bunch <laughs> of that left i've got like the big league baseball chew and i'm just looking <laughs> over like i don't know smug <laughs> i don't care that they know it's me all right yeah you, you see a few eyes catch over to you and oh. very quickly uh echo you seize up as you're like oh shit i'm about to get caught up in the smoke uh, but you hear a few clicks as Alexis turns one of the dials on her headpiece, and immediately the entire dugout is filled with clouds, and you're not able to see what's happening around Echo. Echo, roll to assess the situation. Oh god, I'm in the danger zone. <laughs> Why is this the roll I do good on? <laughs> All right. You've got sharpened eyes, you have three questions as clouds fill the dugout and your vision is obscured and dark images are like moving through the clouds. You can get three bits of information. Uh, what is everyone doing? Uh, it seems like the immediate reaction is that everyone in the dugout, well, some of the students are panicking, you know, like Alicaliente, uh, Elastic, uh, <laughs> Aviat, especially Lewis. Uh, they, they kind of twitch back and, and cover their mouths as the smoke seeps out and manages to get near a few people. Um, but a lot of other students in the class immediately jump into action. Like, 
Gloria just stumbles back and falls outside of the radius. Haley like does a backflip over the fence. Jace does the same. Uh, and Wayne, who is grabbing onto your hand, just growls lowly as he's the only person you can see. And he pulls you in close and you hear a rebreather in his helmet and he says, cheap trick. <laughs> uh, so that's, <laughs> that's the first thing. That's the general situation happening around you. So he's still holding on to, he's like, Wayne's still holding on to him. Yeah, he's got an iron grip on your not gauntlet hand, so it hurts a little bit. Yeah, it would probably hurt. Um, you said I heard a rebreather. That means it's technology. <laughs> yeah, there is, <laughs> there is a rebreather in his helmet. Can I roll uh, alien tech to cause that to malfunction? <laughs> you can. Make him, make him suck in specifically. You're going to Darth smoke. Vader him. Do it well, roll well, it's to hurt someone. <laughs> so the way this works, here, I'll post this in the thing. All right, uh, let's see. On a 10 plus, you get one. Oh, yeah. When I miss, it works as an unintended side effect. Is there a partial hit thing, or is it just on hit you you create it it does it once and then it fizzles so it does the thing once okay so yeah you, you can have spark jump into wayne's mask to do something what do you want it to do turn off the filter so he sucks in some gas okay you turn off the filter and uh you also watch as like the helmet kind of flickers a bit and you see his eyes like in the darkness of the helmet um and you just hear him smirk and says sorry kid too late for that uh and you get one more answer what was the, what just happened <laughs> so as you're looking around uh spark is you know jumps back into your goggles and locks on to a silhouette in the clouds as you see alexis standing there as she bends all of the clouds around her and starts pushing them up into the sky uh and as the clouds funnel out of the dugout and, you know, some of the students have jumped out, it seems like a few people still manage to get affected, but largely the team as a whole is safe as she funnels all of the clouds straight up into the sky to disperse it. And then she just looks over to you and turns the gadget on her head off. Uh, Echo kind of huffs and just kind of smiles away. And, you can't blame me for trying, right? And he smiles. Uh, as Wayne is gripping your hand, he lets go of you. Ah, ah, Haley ah. walks over to you, puts a foot on your chest, presses you to the ground, and just says, get the hell out of here. Haley said that? Yes. Uh, Agro kind of gives a nod, uh, and just kind of rolls to the left into a portal. <laughs> okay. You, you disappear into the portal. They start talking about, like, you know, they, they definitely don't have a chance to underestimate you now. Uh, yeah, there right. was a chance that it, like, wobbled before, but now they're all like, okay, we need to be on red alert. He could appear anywhere, and who knows, like, what they're going to try to do. Uh, so you you go into the portal, uh, you you disappear, and uh, do you make your way back over to your team? Uh, yeah, he's going to head back to over beside, he's going to pop out over beside Terry. <laughs> Yeah, you oh. pop out of your portal and just, like, rubbing your wrist as you come back over to everyone kind of deflated. Echo uh, Terry, offers... Terry had looked back and he had, like, watched basically, like, the tail end of that. Oh, that was interesting. Yeah, how? Uh, and he kind of gives Terry his shoe back. Oh. Well, thank you, actually. <laughs> I, I, I had made peace that this was gone. You're welcome. Sacrifices <laughs> heroes make. Takes it back and slips it back on. That one so, guy has um, really strong grip. <laughs> Yeah, it gives the impression. So uh, I'm assuming the operation was unsuccessful. No, no, some of them got it. It just wouldn't didn't hit the majority of the team. It was purely by luck. Gloria is crazy. Fair enough. Well, it wasn't a complete success, but I think that was still pretty good. E um, even if we didn't get anyone with the actual fog. Why? Why did you? Now. Why did you do it when I was in the danger zone? I respect it, but why? Uh, because I was willing to sacrifice you. Mm. Mm. The sacrifices um, heroes must make, Echo. 
Uh, there was a there was a plus side to this. I have some information. Okay. Uh, and he lays out exactly what he heard about, like their plan. Terry raises his hand. Yeah, Terry. Aren't they just going to change all that now because they know you could have been there? I mean, if they do, that's good. <laughs> because that sounded like, I mean, what? Oh, sorry, we shouldn't do the good plan now. Let's do a worse plan. Oh, yeah. You know, making them panic and scramble to come up with something right before the game starts is still good, even if it means we don't know what they're going to do. So yeah. I did good? Yeah, okay. you did pretty good. Oh, also, okay. what they just took our plan. They did just take our plan. I thought you were going to yell at me, Lily, I'll be honest. I mean, no. you have the grace of, like, an elephant. So <laughs> that is kind of annoying, but, you know, there were upsides. We got in their heads, at least even if we didn't actually make any of them more anxious via chemical warfare. I'm sure, you know, being not safe when they thought they were safe is, like, going to make them panic. Yeah. Also, mm -hmm. Echo, I'd like to thank you for help, inspiration. Oh? In what way? I forgot about the air density. It needs to be denser than air. Concentrated air, I suppose. Oh. Moisture, too. I'll work out the... I'll work it out later. Wait. That, that reminded me. Yeah, if that lady... If, if whatever her name is fucking unleashed clouds in their little dugout. Alexis. Alexis. Is it not like... Would they not all be kind of now a little soaked, a little damp? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Depends on the exact specifics of how her power works. I'm assuming she just kind of isolated it and she can control the airflow. But it just, you know... I mean, it seemed pretty obscuring. Mm-hmm. You know, Wait, that's so another just... plus side. If now a couple of them are uncomfortable and just kind of soggy. Something just occurred to me. Why didn't they have Kathleen out on defense? I don't know. I was also thinking that. But it might it might be that it's hard to tell her to do what something. the rules of the game are. Mm. But I did have a thought about Kathleen. Oh? Uh, if... She well okay Echo we're probably gonna put you as catcher if you don't mind. Oh, that's the guy behind the bed. The yeah. Kicker. Okay. Alex is gonna pitch. You're gonna be the catcher. From there you can just still do all the stuff with like shooting your portals out because you know you shoot them. You can do it from there, right? Can I be annoying to the kicker? Yeah, that too. True. Awesome. You are annoying. That that's actually your perfect role. <laughs> okay, let's. Let's not get carried away here. No, that was a good idea. Mm -hmm. You are annoying. Mm -hmm. Echo immediately regrets saying that. <laughs> I walked into that one. Yeah, you kind of no, did portal right into that one. Because mm -hmm. Kathleen could, if she kicks it, that girl teleports fast. She could very well just blink to all the bases and then go home. So mm. if she does that, that's, you know, we probably can't fight that. But if Kathleen stands still and stays on one of the bases, I think we can trick her into getting herself out. How? Uh, if someone with the ball is nearby and then you just asked her, hey, Kathleen, could you come here and hold this for me? I need to tie my shoes. I think there's like a 50% chance she would do that. Like, step <laughs> off the base and just take the ball. It's so true. That's... evil. No. It really isn't. You just- we just engaged in chemical warfare, or at least attempted chemical warfare. Yep. We're past that. Yeah, also, no, you're fair. I wouldn't consider social manipulation evil. If anything, it's- it's kind of, like, underhanded, but even then, it, uh, it's more funny. Oh yeah, I'll take underhanded, that's fine. You know, Lily, it's funny, I actually saw their student rankings on their leaderboard at lunch. Okay. They're doing a lot better than us. So, really? yeah, if we win this, that'll be good. Their teacher must be a softie. 
<laughs> Echo looks over to Great Oak. Yeah, you look over to Great Oak, and he's he's just smiling, looking out over the field, looking back to the to the dugout. And also, hey. once again, it's just another example of how this school's grading system is so messed up. Yeah. Well, on the plus side, let's kick some Bosch to it. Yeah? Echo says, and he kind of like brings his fist together. I thought that one was fuck. No, it means stupid, idiot. Kind of. Oh, like yeah, that. right. Criff or whatever is fuck, right? Criff is shit. It's not basically fuck. Climbs over the fence. Hey, Lawrence, how's the curses going? Well, I mean, I could hex the ball, I could hex specific people. If I have like, an hair or whatever, I can hex a specific person. Uh, and again, you know, I, I've, I've found where the spells are. I guess it just matters now what you would want done to them. What if you hexed home base so that people near home base would be affected? Because that would be basically, you know, everyone who is kicking. Hey, wait a minute. I'm in the, I'm in the danger. Lily, I'm in the danger zone again. That means. And what? And and you asked me why I took the lid off the bottle. <laughs> and I told you my answer, didn't I? Lawrence looks over to it's home base same. and just says, "Well, I mean, I'd need to go near it or have it near me. It it wouldn't be uh, it'd be pretty conspicuous. But I mean, I could do that." You'd have to be near it during when it's cursed? No, I would need to be near it to curse it. Alright, let's just go over there. Okay. Like all of us. Mm -hmm. I think it's Pretend also we're... less suspicious if we're just a huge group standing around home base. Oh. Just pretending to look at it? Is that your plan? <laughs> well, we're just talking. I, no one I even could, has to look we at could it. also actually trap it like mundane wise as to have double trap. Okay, well we're not trying to injure them. Oh yeah, I know. Yep, this is a home base, all right. All right, as we move out, oh. uh, reminders, we're going to have Nelson come out onto the field, make copies to be on each base. Oh, mm -hmm. um, as they're, like, walking up, well, like, I like just to, you know, show stuff, uh, Terry would point out to Danny where he placed the metal bit, so when she goes to run again, she will have direction options. Okay, she, she nods to you and flashes you a little thumbs up. And then, Jay, you can move where you're going. Alex, yep. you can move where I'm you're gonna going. I'm going to put myself over here. Uh, Danny will just sort of look around the field for, you know, what, what gives her the most range. Uh, she's like, all right, well, which side of the field do you want me on? If you want to keep our options open. She asks to you, Lily. I, I was I was muted. Ah. Uh, probably. Maybe. Probably between second and third. Closer to second, I would think. Just like a nice midpoint, right? She nods, and then she'll go and zip over in a flash. She'll kind of you know, make her way into the outfield. And I just, I just have a few people from our team, even if they aren't going to be out on the field, just have a stand around home base in like a huddle, like a team discussion mm -hmm. yeah. to basically just kill time so Lawrence can curse home base. <laughs> and like, you can make, can you make it so it's specifically people who are like, because I mean, you know, Echo, you can just stand a little bit far back. We can make it like super close, right? Uh, Can we? I mean, we can. Again, it kind of depends on what we want to have done to it if we want something to happen when somebody touches the base or if we want like to dissuade people from looking at it or coming close to it that's something else how we about, can do how about just make it so they're hmm would would it, would making the with the home base making people close to it unlucky work you think because then that could just account for a bunch of small little errors they just would might be missing more they might yeah. trip over their own feet when they go to kick I can make people unlucky who, who touch the base. Yeah, I mean, it'll wear off a little bit after, but I, I could do that. That's fine. So if we can get at even one easy out from it, I think that's effort well spent. 
Because again, if we can get two, I think we could close it out with a cheap game trick. And he <laughs> he nods, and uh, you know he'll he'll go to work as everybody's kind of like huddled around him. Uh, you know, Jackhammer is obviously like you know standing here, but she's not like saying anything to you guys. She's she's just sort of like looking out over the field. Uh, real quick, I uh, need to refresh because Roll20 wasn't updating for some reason. Oh, no. Make sure that. cameraman is good, too. Yeah, that's that's what I'm doing. That's what I mean. All right. Yeah, Alex moves out to the pitcher's mound. Everybody's figuring out their spots, uh, I believe. Yeah, Trifony is here, so Trifony will fly out and uh, kind of fly out this way. She'll make her way in this direction. And Evan, as we're finding everyone's places, uh, He'll kind of start to move out, but he, he he will come over to you, Lily, and just say, All right, you want me near the start, near the finish? Probably near the finish. Probably around third base. Because if you can stretch out with your hair... Actually, wait, that's where Joe is. So probably near the start, because I think the two stretchier people should be, like, there in case we need to throw to them, you know? Yeah, makes sense. All right. He'll... Give you like a go to give you a little high five if you take it, and then yeah, she'll sure high five, she'll sure high five, and he'll <laughs> run off to his station. Trifony's just like flying around in the air, uh, you know, good, good airspace for her. Danny is just kind of doing some stretches, Jay is on the field, uh, mm -hmm. and with Alex on the pitcher's mound, and uh, Echo gonna be behind home base. I believe we need a few more people, maybe one more person out here. Is it? I thought that was it. Like one, two, three. Is that enough people? Hold on. Let me double check. Yeah, that's my, seven. Let me check, double check my kickball rules. Uh, one player on each base, four in the field, pitcher and catcher. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, no, it's eight. You're right. I've been counting seven this whole time, haven't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because one got, person on each base. Yeah, we've got Nelson and then on four each in the field. Six, seven. I'm so bad at counting. And That's... I feel like I fucked myself up by having Nelson. First base, second base, third base. Multi-Nelson. Yeah, we need Pitcher, catcher, person. that's five. And then four people you said in field. So that's nine, actually. Mm -hmm. I'm so bad at numbers. <laughs> yeah, we've got, we've got two additional people because of Nelson. Yeah. Uh, then if we're adding two more people, then probably just have Gabe on the field already, right? Probably just Gabe and Robert. Yeah, Robert will hop by, give a little thumbs up, and kind of nod over to Gabe to hop the fence and come out onto the field. All right, well, where do you want us, boss? I think Gabe go join Triff and Evan from first to second. And then Robert, you go up between uh, third and fourth. Because since we since we're using Nelson, we basically just have a bunch of people for outfield positions. All right, makes sense to me. And he'll go and hop along, make his way over closer to you, Jay, uh, and just mm -hmm. kind of give you a little nod as he smiles and croaks at you. <laughs> Um, Jay's gonna kind of smile too, and, uh, depending on, like, if he's kind of closer in between the bases, Jay's gonna go just a little bit farther back, mm -hmm. um, just kind of ready to catch anything that's, uh, a threat to be a home run, basically. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm, uh, done with home base here. Whoever touches cool. it will be unlucky for a little while. Cool. Alright, everyone stay away from it. <laughs> he, he just he kind of just like snickers as he looks at you echo and then walks away 
<sighs> Echo sighs and just takes a little step back away from the base. Uh, you'll be fine. Harry gives I mean, like a thumbs up to Lawrence. How much can you even get <laughs> from in the tree? Lawrence gives like a little, kind of just a little wave of the hand as he sits down by the trash can. All right, Lily would do just one last round to like remind people of the general idea of like if 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 you don't think you can immediately get someone out probably give it to danny and then we just have to trust danny to like reach the base yep. before them or something mm -hmm. and then would also uh tell specifically like alex triff and gabe like if they go with their first plan of having someone to score an easy home run right away then alex and triff should be ready to immediately yank that shit and like catch it out of the air mm -hmm. <laughs> And then would tell Gabe the whole, like, and then if they get lo bases loaded, you know, Lily will try to, like, catch his eye, give some sort of hand sign to basically mm -hmm. let him know, hey, you know, get close and do, probably even switch fucking catching with, like, uh, Echo, if we can call a timeout or something. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. do the, just cage them in, like, idea. All right. And then yeah. she goes back. Yippee. Rally everyone, and Evan also just kind of reassures he's like all right I'll, I'll keep people on on point on the field too uh and then yeah you move your way back over to the dugout and uh you know you come over and olivia and maya are sitting over in the corner in the shade uh maya seems very content in the heat today uh, and olivia is just kind of like squirming a little bit in her seat given her <laughs> suit is not very comfortable it's going pretty well huh Oh, uh, yeah, I'm happy with what we've been able to do so far, but I don't know, the other team's a little scary. <sighs> Maya just kind of unravels partially into snakes, as you can tell she's just like zen and like starting to nod off. Uh, I think I think our class has them beat on scary students. <laughs> Olivia chuckles a little bit. <laughs> And Terry, you move around behind the back of the dugout. Yep, and he just pops up. Hey, Terry. So, how's everything going? It's going well. I miscounted, so we got to add two extra people. Having oh. Nelson basically be four people, but only one person really kind of threw a wrench in my brain. Yeah. Honestly, we should just throw Priscilla in there and have, like, an extra how many people. Yeah, I'm too worried if we go too hard on that idea, then it'll be, you know, clamped down on, and then it might be clamped down on hard enough that Nelson can't even do it, you know? That's fair. Just not be funny if we had, like, ten extra people running around. It would be funny. But we're, we're pushing the envelope as is. I don't want to push it and then break the envelope. That is fair. All right. With that, we'll zoom back out to the field once again, get our eye in the sky, as we prepare for another phase of the game, as we're switching over to the other team. <laughs> so first up, uh, Alex, as you're on the pitcher's mound and you're preparing, you know, what, what's Alex thinking? What's Alex doing during this time? Alex is thinking of the, the different strategies that she can use to use gravity to kind of throw off the ball and make some tricky kicks. Mm -hmm. And as you're watching the base, the first person comes up. And it's going to be Alexis as she steps over here and prepares to kick and she just sort of looks back at you, Echo. Oh, I don't want to be mean to her. I like her. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like she's targeting you. Uh, Edgar kind of looks at her and goes, yo. She clicks the dial on her headset a few times uh, in order to turn it up a bit and just says, yo. And then she'll look back over in Alex's direction. <laughs> ha um, have a good, have a good, have a good kick. <laughs> and she's just now completely blocking you out as Alex, it's time for you to pitch the ball. Uh, so in order okay. to, in order to uh, do this, it's just going to be a danger roll or again freak if you want to use your powers. Okay, I'm going to use freak. 
Um, and for this one, I'm going to try to um, reduce the gravity on the ball right before I kick it so that hopefully it'll launch super hard and super fast. Are you trying to kick it to her instead of rolling it? Roll it, roll it. Oh, <laughs> uh, we roll it? Yeah, you're rolling it because you're you're not the kicker, you're the pitcher. That I'm that I'm rolling it okay. with <laughs> low gravity. Okay, okay. Yeah, so you just want to have it keep its momentum and just sort of like <laughs> soar through the air almost as it bounces. Mm-hmm. All right, then roll that. Okay. Take a team point, in my opinion. I'm down so for that. Has to be you. We, we still have four team. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, Echo. Do you want to? Do you want to help Alex out? Uh, yeah, he just coughs. For, well, no, she muted him <laughs> out. Her, her, I assume her like things muted him. Uh, can can you use Spark to just create a lot of feedback in her headset? <laughs> Yeah, you can do that. Spend a team point, push this up to a seven. Uh, and yeah, Spark jumps up into her headset and you can hear it like short out as like sp- little sparks of lightning kind of jump out of her headset briefly as it gives some feedback. Uh, and this will be a partial hit. Uh, so she does manage to kick the ball still, uh, but she is off center as it's going to roll uh kind of in this direction and uh she is just going to look back at you with a grimace and she's going to start making her way and running forward uh and nelson of course is ready uh he is defending the base as the ball rolls in a northern direction uh alex since you're closest to this ball uh what do you want to do um, well, can I start by using my powers to increase her gravity so she's running really slowly? Yes, you can. Roll to at least your powers. Alright, this will be either unstable or temporary, or you can mark a condition. It'll be unstable or temporary. You're gonna we walk. don't need it for too long. What would what, you say? I said it'll be unstable or temporary, and that's fine, because we don't need it for too long. Okay. Uh... As you shift your focus towards Alexis, you go to make her heavier, and it's going to be unstable as you force her down too hard uh, and (laughs) slam her into the ground briefly. (laughs) And you pull your hand back and you're like, oh shit. Uh, And she quickly picks herself up and generates a cloud underneath her as she bursts forward. Um, the ball is going to continue rolling by you as Robert is going to snatch it off the ground with his tongue, go ick, and then toss it over to you, Jay, so you can make a move. Do you want to try to throw it at Alexis as she is flying towards Nelson, or what do you want to do? Oh, dang, I'm surprised they tossed it to me since I'm, like, kind of back here. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I think that I, I want to try and hit Alexis with the ball. Okay. I think is what I'm doing. Again, it's you can danger, either... correct? Yeah, it's going to be danger to throw the ball. Okay. Yeah! Alright. It's going to be a partial hit. Yep. Uh, as, how do you throw the ball? Um, I imagine that I have it in my hand. I throw it like how you do, what's it called, a shot put? Like where you kind of like put your hand back and then just... Yeah. Like, lunge it straight forward so that it literally has a straight forward shot. Okay, your arm kind of is, like, catapulting it forward. Yeah, and um, on a 7 to 9, I get to pick one. Can I take something from them, and that being their oh, ability the, to get the to first base? throwing the ball is different. We directly engage a threat for the runs, and that's when you get to pick stuff. Uh, okay, okay, got it. But yeah, you're gonna arch your arm back, catapult the ball forward as it flies through the air... Uh, Nelson is kind of, like, blocking her as she jumps off of the cloud, and clouds are, like, streaming around her through the air as she goes to land. The ball collides with her as she's, like, touching down, and there's, like, a a dust cloud around her as the ball lands. You're waiting with bated breath. You're, like, zooming in. Echo, you zoom in as well. Uh, And she has touched down on the base, 
and her body is surrounded in clouds in a way that the ball technically hit her, but mm -hmm. it hit the clouds, and the clouds blocked the ball from actually, like, doing, like, touching her physically, if that makes sense. Mm. Okay. And then she stands back up, the clouds are gonna float the ball back over to you, Alex, and she just looks over to you, Jay, and just kind of, like, points at you for a second, and then points back over to the second base, as if she's like, just calling that she's gonna make it. <laughs> okay. Well, I didn't like that, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't like that very much. Okay. Uh, next up... Is you yes, Jane. I was about to say, is it Eugene? And I'm like, yes, now I can annoy the fuck out of him. Eugene is going to oh walk up and, you know, prepare and brace himself as Alex is ahead of him, and he's just not looking at you, Echo. <laughs> uh, what is Eugene wearing right now? He's wearing the, the school standard track uniform. Uh, he has shoelaces, right? He's like tennis shoes, yeah. <laughs> uh, can have we ever established Echo can Spark can interact with the world like he can pick up little things or they can pick up little things, right? Maybe, kind of. You can pick up maybe light things. Yeah, shoelaces kind of light. Can he untie his shoelaces and tie them together? That's <laughs> <laughs> uh. Roll to. What would this be? Freak? I guess unle yeah, time? unleash your powers. You're being a freak. You're being a freak. Because <laughs> he knows oh, Eugene's gonna ignore him, so he's gonna go for something else. <gasps> All right. Uh, it's either unstable or temporary, or you can mark a condition. Can I? A full hit's ten, isn't it, or is it eleven? It's a ten. A can I say, can I have Alex, like, because we still have team points, can I say Alex does something to make this a full hit? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Alex, what do you want to do to help? I'm going to make a, a big show of, of preparing for the pitch. Okay, so you're like, so you're like that. revving up. Mm -hmm. All right. Then yeah, uh, Eugene's going to brace himself and it's time for you to pitch the ball. Did I get his shoelaces tied? Yes, yeah, Spark managed to go down and tie his shoelaces together. <laughs> okay, good. Very good. Alright, and then Alex, you can roll uh, the ball to him, which is going to be danger unless you want to use your powers. Okay, so for, for this one, I want to start it rolling off normal, but then as it gets closer to him... I want to create a center of gravity, like, over here and kind of pull it so it rolls away from him. Okay. Pull that freak. Yeah! Alright. Uh, mixed results on a partial hit. Uh, you do roll the ball, and he goes to prepare to kick, and then <laughs> you pull the gravity off to the side. He goes to kick. The ball goes around him and towards Echo, but then he also can't get his foot forward enough to make a proper kick. And then he just looks down, his shoelaces are tied. Echo, you catch the ball. And he just like, uh, he just gives you a flat look. <laughs> Echo, Echo kind of gives him a flat look back and goes, what? What did I, I did not even touch you. I did not even touch you. <laughs> Just, mm -mm. just roll the damn ball, and he like reties his shoelaces properly as you like pass it back over to Alex. <laughs> Echo gives it back, to, throws it back to Alex overhand. All right, <laughs> Alex, it's your turn. Okay. This time I'm just gonna go for a normal, a normal roll. All right. We'll see so what happens. Doing a danger roll. Oh. All right. Yes. <laughs> that's a full hit it. uh yeah this time this isn't even using your powers you just are like very strong and you roll the ball so fast he's like expecting you to do something tricky he goes to make a kick like off to the side or something he's like wait it's just down the middle way faster than he can react and he whiffs the kick 
and Echo, you managed to catch it, and you're like, ooh, that had a little bit of spice on it, but it wasn't, you know, it wasn't her powers pushing it. And Echo, uh, you, you just see Eugene kind of clench and unclench his fist and just say, okay, and he just prepares himself for another kick. Isn't that three? No, that was only two. Oh, okay. And Echo overhand tosses it to Alex. And uh, uh, Lily, Lily's going to call out as Eugene spasming around, just like, hey, if you need some tips on how this works, you can ask Echo. He seems to get a grasp better than you. <laughs> he... uh, I want to just try to, like, provoke him to make him fuck up his next one. Just get in his head. <laughs> okay, yeah, roll to provoke someone. <laughs> yep. uh, yeah. He immediately tenses up. And uh, what are you trying to provoke him to do? Imme- like, do you want him to specifically pick one from the list and get like that perk from it or like do something in particular just like are you trying to time it for him to like argue with you during the role yeah i, I want to get into his head so that he is like distracted just worked up and does like like the next roll or the next kick is like just bad it is a bad <laughs> kick okay then yeah he immediately like tenses up and looks over in your direction and just says, Hey, shut the hell up! And Alexis calls from the nearby base, just, Don't fuck up! Don't let them get in your head! Yeah, uh, don't let me get in your head, bud. <laughs> he grits his teeth, clenches his fists. Uh, and Alex, uh, you can roll the ball again, and you're going to get a plus one uh, on Lily helping you here. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm going to use my, my gravity powers, and I'm going to have it just roll full speed towards him as fast as possible. Okay. Oh you can roll plus freak and remember to not put a plus one, but just a one in the modifier. Okay. Uh, you roll it forward at a high speed uh, and <laughs> Eugene is, he's pissed. Uh, he, he is looking over in your direction, Lily, and he's, like, calling out to you, and Echo, you're like, oh, we've got this in the bag, and then out from Eugene hops another Eugene who, like, kicks the ball as hard as he can, and it goes flying straight up into the air, uh, and he starts, you know, he, he kicks it, generates another Eugene that starts running forward, this one disappears, uh, and he just looks behind him and just says, ah, look, you made me miss my kick! And then he disappears. <laughs> uh, and as Eugene is, like, running pissed off, uh, Alexis is flying on one of her clouds forward, uh, and I'm gonna say mm-hmm. either, uh, I'll say J. Uh, the ball okay. is flying because it was kicked with massive force, but it is flying yeah. up in the air towards you, and you have a chance to catch it. Uh, so, yeah. roll to catch the ball. Uh, again, that'll be freak if you want to use your powers, or just danger normally, and you have plus one on this. Okay, got it. And this is just to catch it, not to, like, throw it back to... Yeah, this is just to catch it. Okay. All right. That is a partial success. So you go to like stretch out your arms to try to grab it and it does manage to crash land on the ground and bounce real quick before you grab it. Mm-hmm. But now you have it and you can throw it in a direction. Uh, Eugene is like single-mindedly throwing himself towards this base. And like, as Nelson is here, Nelson like creates a few doppelgangers really quick <laughs> in order to like create a wall. Eugene is creating another version of himself to try to boost over Nelson and he's like solely focused on the base. But Alexis yeah. meanwhile seems like she's kind of got her eye on you and is flying forward uh with clouds kind of surrounding her. What do you want to do? I actually would like to use my overcharge ability. Okay. Um So I'm going to channel the full capacity of my incredible powers to overcome an obstacle, extend my senses, reshape the environment, basically. I'm going to spend two burn to take a 10 plus as my arm. I want it to, I want to like do a diving jump this way. And my arm stretches out at like a lightning speed. And I am touching the base already with the ball before (laughs) Alexis can get there. (laughs) Okay. Yeah, uh, you manage to jump over to the side, extend your hand super fast, you take a 10 plus, uh, and yeah, Mm -hmm. you manage to slam the ball down on the base, Alexis lands, uh, and just, like, puffs out her cheeks, 
and, and like looks over at you with a squint. Uh, meanwhile, down below, uh, Nelson is trying to stop Eugene. Uh, Eugene is going mm -hmm. to boost himself over Nelson. Nelson's gonna like try to grab him midair, but he will land on the face. <laughs> can I, okay. Can I do something to intervene with that? Uh, what? Do you, yeah, yeah. What do you want to do? Uh, he's he's in the air. Yeah. <laughs> he does have to be to go over <laughs> Nelson. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I want to use my grapple hook to just try and pull him back into Nelson. Okay. Uh, I was going to send him to so a different evil. direction, but I had Lasher flashbacks. <laughs> okay. Then uh, roll to directly engage a threat. Because technically actually, I'm not leaving my Actually, spot. roll to defend. You're defending the base and Nelson in a way. That makes okay. sense. And technically I'm not leaving my spot, so I'm not breaking the rules. That's true, you aren't. Never, never lucky Wait. with the grapple hook. Someone help him. Well, I could potentially help. I have this other ball. Once I put the ball on the base, can't I start throwing it towards Nelson over here? I, I was gonna say if you're if the ball is there on the base, that wait wait what the fuck? Oh, there's the ruler. They changed World Twenty's layout. That yeah. would be a straight shot for Danny if Danny just ran forward. Essentially, <laughs> that's so true. Actually, yeah, I think because you did say to do that. Uh, so I hold in these him types in the of air instances. while you guys get the ball there. Well, I toss it to Danny. Stall and him Danny just for it. a moment. That's all Danny needs. Yeah. Okay. So you you like bat the ball down on the base, and your arm extends back. Nelson like bops the ball into the air for Danny to whiz by, <laughs> grab it midair, lightning bolt down the way, uh, and. As Eugene is going over Nelson, he sees this lightning bolt, hears this boom, and he's going to, like, look off to the side. Echo, you're going to grab the one that is in the air with your grappling hook. And uh, on a 7 to 9, you get to choose one. Uh, it's going to cost you in some way. You're either going to expose yourself to danger or escalate the situation. Ah, hmm. uh, I don't know what that would entail. <laughs> Kickball. Um, I, I I could have some ideas, but I want you to to pick, of course. And uh, tell you what, also uh, since I'm you've doing... done this successfully, real quick, first, uh, do you want to add a team to the pool, take influence over Nelson, or clear a condition? Because that's an easier answer. Ooh, got a chance for some team. That's cool. Yeah. What are you thinking, Will? Uh, I was going to say uh, he can... Oh, sorry, what were the options again? You can add a team to the pool, take influence over Nelson, or clear a condition because you have successfully defended him. So this is something you definitely get. I see. Uh, I am going to add a team to the pool. Okay, yes. so we're back up to two team. Uh, yeah. But here's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to run this by you because I think it's funny. Okay. Uh, in getting the hook shot around him installing him echo is gonna take a step forward and touch the bad luck base <laughs> <laughs> okay that's so funny that is funny uh okay so here's what happens as you expose yourself to danger you you step forward you touch the bad luck base uh eugene has been stalled in the air by the grappling hook and danny lightning bolts into him tags him with the ball, but continues in her lightning form and is going to fly along your grappling hook towards you. And <laughs> as she appears on the other side, she accidentally axe kicks you in the head. <laughs> and you just go fumbling across the ground. Damn, she did uh, a spin. Roll to take a powerful blow. Kapow? Yes, you do get Eugene out. Okay, oh, hey! Man. Yeah, that's a miss. That's a hard-ass head. Uh, yeah, you get kicked, you go fumbling, but, you know, you survive, you don't get knocked out. Danny lands, looks back at Eugene, who is just, like, punching the base, and just looks to Jackhammer, who puts her hands out to the sides and says, uh, and just kind of motions over to the other two students and says, two outs. Uh, 
Eugene, as he looks over to Echo, probably. Uh, Echo does the same gesture Wayne did when he stepped up to bat the easy out one. <laughs> and then nice. uh, Eugene looks over at you, motions at your head at like the bump that Danny just created, and then flips <laughs> you off. <laughs> Echo gives a thumbs up. Danny just like looks over at you and just says, Hey, uh, sorry about that, but at least you're not on the other team, right? Yeah, no, I'm good. I'm good. And he goes to, like take it, like offer a hand to like help him up. Yeah, she she offers you a hand and pulls you up, and you feel like a little bit dizzy, but you you think you'll probably shake it off. It, it was it was thankfully not as hard of a hit as it could have been. Don't touch the uh, base. Don't touch the. Oh, okay. Lily, Lily's gonna like whistle, go to call for a timeout. Okay, Jackhammer will bring the timeout into effect, and uh, you guys are able to take a brief moment jogs out on the field motions for for teammates to come i'm okay yeah. coach keep me in keep me in i'm okay <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna no, do no, no. that looks like a pretty serious head wound i think i think gabe should probably take catcher and you should rest in the dugout right sure echo kind of seems confused <laughs> <laughs> damn they hit him so hard the plan fell out of his head <laughs> yeah, he is saying this loud enough that it's not like you know obvious trying to make it so they can hear it but just trying to 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 dissuade so that if gabe goes into the catcher position they hopefully don't think it's weird mm -hmm. makes sense okay yeah no and he kind of holds his head and just kind of makes it like like he's a soccer player who took a hit <laughs> he's being a little over dramatic terry how about you go out take gabe's spot oh sure you basically just have to stand on the field <laughs> Yeah. Terry's activating stand in the field. Danny just around there, yeah. Looks to you guys, flashes a little salute, and go to flash into the field unless she's needed. All right, this is looking good, and I think we know what comes next. Gabe, you can clutch this out, just and just throw it up after the ball gets close enough. Yeah, you you look over to Gabe, and uh, re sorry, re repeat what you just said. Uh, we can clutch this out. You know what to do, basically. And she just said, you know, once the ball, like she'll she'll motion to the dirt. Like once it gets past this point, mm -hmm. you know, throw up like a barrier around here so that the, whatever kick happens, you know, bounces right back to us, basically. Mm -hmm. He'll give you a little nod and then look to you, Alex, and lock eyes for a second before also nodding with you. She nods back and then goes to get set up. On the pitcher's mound. Evan just like looks after Echo, who is gone to sit in the dugout, is like, all right, go team. Woo! Hey, at least it wasn't <laughs> you this time, bud. Yeah, hey, you know what? I'll take what I can get. <laughs> uh, as Lily walks up to Echo, he's like, why'd you pull me out? Did you actually forget the plan? N refresh my memory. I just took a hit. You getting hit is actually perfect. Because now we get a natural way of switching you out and putting Gabe in for the, you know, easy cheat. Just quick out. Fair. Um, Echo looks at, like, I'm sure there's a watt, a clock or something. How much time has passed? Because they gotta do five innings or an hour. How long has passed? Uh, all of this action has been moving pretty quickly, so you think that based on the amount of time left, you guys might be able to reach, like, three innings in this period, just because of, like, the number of, of, uh, of breaks that you guys are taking. <laughs> you know, I can see why you like sports, Lily. They're kind of fun. Yeah, they're good, and I'm good at them. So it's fun to show off. Why do you think I pitched you to be the leader? No, no that, was a, that was a smart decision. <laughs> mm -hmm. He offers a fist bump to Lily. She lets it hang for longer than long enough that he's like oh she's not gonna do it but she'll do it she'll she'll cave at the end she he gives a little small smile and he's content with that as he looks over to the field <laughs> and we'll we'll move back out, out to the field uh eye in the sky once again and uh terry evan kind of moves over closer to you and just says uh hey you want to take a position closer to first base and i'll just cover the field here Might be muted. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, I was muted. I'm crunching bacon. Ah. It's crunchy. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, would just nod. All right, then he'll let you pass by him and he'll take position here. 
Number 37, Terry Damotain is eating a full English breakfast in the field. <laughs> Actually, it's just a bunch. It's just bacon by itself. <laughs> just eating a bunch of bacon in the field. <laughs> yep. All right. And with that, we're going to continue along. Next up is Haley. As she walks on to the kicker's mound and uh, she looks behind her at Gabe and then looks forward at you, Alex. And Alex, I want you to roll to pierce the mask. Okay. Uh, she is, like, glaring at you. You don't get the sense that it's from any specific reason. That just seems to be the energy she carries. But as she looks you directly in the eyes, you feel like a shiver run up your spine. And you're like, okay, I have I have no idea why, but you feel like you need to be wary of her. Okay. And it's time for the kick. What do you want to do? All right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do a standard one again this time because now we've got Gabe to do his thing. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna go too crazy, at least not at the start. All right, roll danger. Okay. Uh, with danger, you are going to roll the ball fast. She is going to stand there, let the ball roll by her as Gabe catches it, and then Gabe tosses it back in your direction. And she didn't even make a move for the ball. Interesting. Can I roll again to um, pierce the mask or assess the situation? Uh, you can do one of those, yeah. Both will give you different information. Pierce the mask is insight mm -hmm. internal and assess the situation is like the, the area or something physical about her. I'm gonna do here's the mask again, see if I can get it. Alright. Yeah, after doing that roll, you have a bit more insight on her, you think, and you get one question. Okay. Um what is her plan? You get the vibe that she has already sized you and Gabe up and she is waiting for the perfect opportunity, otherwise she has no reason to whiff her kicks. But the perfect opportunity to do what? <laughs> you assume the perfect opportunity to to make a move at all. Hmm. Well, we'll see. I'm gonna go ahead and do another another standard uh, roll. All right. Uh, this time it is a partial success as you roll forward she goes to uh, she moves to kick the ball and gabe creates the invisible field where the ball bounces back towards her and time almost seems to slow down for a second for anybody that's watching as she lands flips up in the air kicks the ball straight over the barrier and it just goes flying into the sky <laughs> And then immediately she lands and starts running. And some people in the outfield start moving before realizing, like, she somehow managed to get a home run around Gabe's ba barrier. So she kicked it twice? Yes, she did. So she's out. Because uh, she got hit by the ball. That is true. Nobody Literally threw it this up. <laughs> Nobody threw it. Oh, her. come on. Yeah, she's she's running the bases. Uh, you make the complaint, you're going to bring it to Jackhammer. Uh, and on Jackhammer's ruling, because the ball was interrupted before it entered the rest of the field, the ball was still in play from the first kick. Haley is safe. Okay, sorry. I thought we were playing by, you know, rules and not by Calvin Ball. <laughs> yeah, wait, I am confused. So wait, they kicked the ball and then they kicked it again? They kicked, so out. They, they kicked the that ball, is... it hit Gabe's barrier, so it didn't leave the kicker's mound. Uh, and then yeah. she was able to kick it again to get it over the barrier. 
Jack and All right. is that it it's it's still in play. Uh, because also she kind of has to think on this, but is like, well, you know, otherwise if they don't do that, uh, then we might as well call the game here as well. But it's still on the kickers I mean, yeah. now. It still counts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's because we beat we, them. We have better powers. <laughs> she, <laughs> sorry, I, sorry, I thought coming up with a creative plan to use our powers was the goal, not just to you know do whatever and hit things as hard as we could. <laughs> Wait, yeah. so how is she wait, how did she do a home run then? Is the is the ball the ball's like gone? It was a yeah, it went, after it, it the went second fly, kick? Yeah, it went flying out of the fence and she was able to run the bases and make her way back. Wow. Guys, 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 we gotta give him a point. It can't be a clean win. No, we gotta give I, a no point. I think if we planned properly and came up with ideas that the ideas should work if they work. I agree. But that's the call. Uh, and you know it feels unfair, but she's given the point. No, guys, we fucked up. We did the one thing that we should like. We didn't do the one thing that all sports teams need to do: bribe the officials. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> well, we could have never. Hey, uh, actually, that actually oh. is a good point. Hey, can I use my oh. ability to persuade on Jackhammer? Uh, oh. persuade with best interests. Yes. Uh, yeah, you can try to persuade with best interests. Super. Oh. Uh, we didn't set up like a betting app and then give, let the refs in. <laughs> <laughs> Terry is too, uh, still too small minded. He can't see the, the, the biz. He'll be plus superior to persuade with best interests. On a 10 plus, they buy it and act accordingly. Oh, Echo's going to call oh, it out that. that. Yeah. Real yeah, Echo's gonna call it out that that ruins the like that was a dirt like that wasn't a fair like he's gonna be like that isn't a fair play. <laughs> so much for competitive integrity. Yeah. <laughs> the teachers all come together uh, as Echo brings up like, hey, you know that's that's not a fair play. The teachers discuss and Jackhammer puts up a hand and says, all right, Haley is out, but no more barriers around the kicker's mound. And then Nightwalker. Yeah, we're only gonna do that once anyway. Yeah, Nightwalker just he, Nightwalker still looks over to you, Lily, and he gives like a little like a reassuring nod. Lily nods <laughs> back. And then Haley just sort of like grits her teeth a bit, but goes back. And the next person's up. God, I'm glad I picked up persuade. <laughs> and it's oh, Jace's turn. Worked out oh, perfectly. Huh? Oh, you're right. That is that's, a third that's out. Possible. That's a that third out. Three outs, yeah. So with that third out, uh, we end the inning after three kicks. Jason's <laughs> like, I was so excited to kick. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Good timing. Because no. we weren't going to do the barrier again. And that motherfucker would have hit it as a home run, tell you what. <laughs> All right. Yeah, the, the game is going to continue for a little while, and uh, the the next inning is going to come and go, and your team is able to score a couple of points, uh, bringing you guys up to 10, and as they come back around, the other team's able to score a few points. They make their way up to five, only half of what you guys have, and we're going to come into the final inning as uh, all of you guys are now able to move off the field as you're going to kick first. Okay. I'll get... I'll get this again. I'll also zoom out so I can actually move people back over to the dugout. I'll go over there myself. Just Thank you very much. Right. I miss anybody. I miss Gabe. <laughs> he lives there now. All right. And we'll move. Your we'll move into the dugout. And uh, yeah, we're in a little break between the innings here. Okay, everyone, strategy meeting. Any thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> Trippity just kind of walks forward and says, I think we have been doing swimmingly. We have a solid lead on the other team. 
Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Mm -hmm. Did I go try to beer gas him again? <laughs> I guess it says with a small chuckle. I was no. thinking about it, but probably not. Never a good idea to try the same thing twice in quick succession. I don't know. I feel like they wouldn't expect it. Mm. Bow and arrow one probably already is expecting it. Yeah, Evan will just move over and say, oh, I don't know if they have anything specific planned for the final inning of class, but we don't really have much time, so we probably don't have much time to plan anyways, just so we can actually do the inning. Same thing as before. If I had to so guess, can... they're going to try and obscure the bases. Probably with the cloud stuff. Do we have a way around that? I can use hmm. wind from the frost realm to push it out of the way. Hmm. Well, I think we have Danny lead because an easy about. one point is pretty good. The only way that they could stop Danny is to impede her touching the bases in the first place. I think that's what they're going to go for, which that's means true. we need a way to make sure that it works out no matter what. Hmm. Hmm. I think the, the portal idea might be our best idea, just to get some wind blowing to get the clouds out of the way. Yeah, probably. So do you want me just to stay here for now? I mean, yeah, we're, we're kicking, so everyone's going to be staying in the dugout. All right. Your job's well. going to be to support Danny in case they present some unexpected obstacles. Sure. I think that's probably our best bet. Uh, I, I gave Danny a one out at the beginning of the run in case they try and do something early, considering they, some, some of them might be sharp enough to catch on to the fact that she can only move in straight angles. All right. But it'll be on you, Echo. Good luck. Pops uh, over the fence again. Echo looks over the way to the dugout uh, and he pulls down his goggles and uses the like zoom function on them. Can you see what they're like, can you read lips to see what they're planning? Well, Lewis, that's the situation. <laughs> Inspector <laughs> Gadget and Mission Impossible ass. insane all right yeah you have a few questions uh does it look like it's clear what they're gonna do like what is what's the what's the setup gonna be like uh it looks like they're putting pretty similar people on the bases that they had before uh, but it seems like now they're going to have glamoury pitch the ball uh, I mm. uh does anyone is anyone not there is anyone not there uh, do you mean at the dugout in general, or like, yes. as in like, is anyone missing discussing from the line? Right? Yeah. Uh, no, I mean, everybody is there from their class. Uh, but off to the side, it seems like while they're talking about defending, uh, Kathleen is just like doing her own thing, not paying attention, so they're just not engaging <laughs> with her. Uh, Kinsey oh. is just sitting off in a corner, she is also not engaging. Uh, and yeah, I mean, uh, other than that, it seems like Haley is just sort of nodding and, and staying back, but, you know, she's still, like, discussing things with everyone. Mm -hmm. how, how pissed off is uh, Eugene? <laughs> uh, Eugene is absolutely livid. He is he is so mad. Like, even though they managed to score some points in the second inning, like, he is sweaty, he is pissed, his hair is, like, all messed up now. Like, you have never seen him like this. <laughs> Yes, I go. You see, I, Lily, you see, I could do like a fist leg pump. What are you so excited about? Eugene's pissed. Nice. Nice. That guy sucks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, he kind of, he kind of, and I get one more, don't I? You do, yes. Uh, what are the teachers like? Do they seem like they're content with this game, or do they seem like there's going to be words discussed after? <laughs> in terms of play? No, they all they all seem content. It, I'll give you an additional like, you know, when you guys were talking about kind of the first inning, the rules that happened, very common uh, in school when you're playing rules like, hey, this is unfair that that this happened. Uh, but you know, Haley's maneuver in order to adapt to a bad situation geared against her, they seemed to approve of. Uh, the strategy of having Gabe just block in general they approved of. It doesn't seem like the teachers are, like, 
upset or anything. They're in fact very happy with how adaptable everyone has been today. But in the spirit of the game, they 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 try to keep things going as smoothly as possible. It's like, okay, mm -hmm. you guys found a lockout strategy. We can't do that anymore. But good thinking, you know. We're, we're just gonna mm -hmm. we're gonna keep going with the game. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Echo raises his goggles and gives a nod and a smile to that. Happy he they didn't piss off anybody. No, yeah, all all, all of the teachers are are pleased just like watching you guys have fun with the game. Cool. Now, I roll to see if I pick up any tension between Great Oak and Nightwalk. <laughs> yeah, sure. Roll to pierce the mask. Are they beefing? <laughs> I they gotta be beefing. I'm just convinced, and I'll do it off no evidence. <laughs> That has to be what this is about. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, does anybody have anything else for our little break time before we start kicking? And if not, who wants to kick first? Um, I actually have a question. Okay. Um, can I actually charge up my burns and flares again? Did you already use up all your points? Oh, it's for all of them? I guess I have one point left. My bad. I actually thought that I had no points left, but I have one. Yeah, if you've got any points left, you still have them from before. Uh, okay. Alex as well, if you still have points, you still have them. If you don't, you can re-roll re to charge up. Okay, got it. I will just keep that in mind during this. All right. And I'll also say, like, if you, like, run out of points and then you're on a base, uh, I'll, I'll let mm -hmm. you charge up between kicks as well, if that, if it Okay, to cool. That. that is what I wanted to know, if I could do it during the game. All right. Cool. Who's gonna be first? Um, well, Danny's just like easy, easy win right there. Right. Guess How about see. Robert? Because if we're, if we're trying to see if their plan is to like, smoke it out or keep it smoked out or whatever mm -hmm. so that Danny can't do it. I feel like we should probably or maybe I guess Echo if the plan is then to you know have Echo clean it up. Maybe we should get Echo out on the field before Danny goes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Echo, do you have thoughts, any opinions? Uh, Echo just kind of like nods. He's like, I can do whatever. Just as long as we win. He seems very charged up. Very true. <laughs> Go for it, Echo. All right. Oh. Then Echo's going out to kick first. Jump back <laughs> he suddenly game. gets a little worried because he's like, ah, shit. Uh, it, this depends on me getting through. And I will bring everybody back on the field as we're able to see what positions everyone has taken up. So you move out onto the field and you see that positions are a little bit different from before, but they have a seemingly a largely similar strategy, uh, at least from appearances. And as you move up to the base here, Glamoury, uh, holding the ball, is preparing to roll it at you, and the ball is coated in like an outer shell that is shimmering pink as she goes to prepare to roll it at you. And... You can either use your powers or you can use danger to kick the ball. Can I roll superior? Uh, for them underestimating you or assessing the situation? Uh, assessing the situation, seeing what's funky about the ball. Sure. Actually, roll to pierce the mask. Nani? We're so good at that. Okay. Uh... You can ask one about her, her relation to the ball from the Pierce the Mask list. Her <laughs> relation with the ball. <laughs> I don't know why that really got me. That really got me what too. the ball means to her? Yeah, what is the ball? Uh, what is, what is she, well, I guess that's more a superior question, but like what is, because Echo's seen it before when he got touched down, mm. like when he got knocked out. What's the like, what can he glean from the ball? Uh, if you want to ask what are you really planning, that is on the Pierce the Mask menu. 
Oh, yeah, that is a thing, isn't it? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Uh, she has coated the ball in this glowing energy, and it seems that they've just changed up their strategy to have the ball always be in play with her powers, so they have more maneuverability with the ball. So it seems like now it'll be a lot easier for them to keep track of the ball, and, you know, like, it, it, as an example, now that you're kicking... If you were to make a portal immediately, she can immediately pull it back, even though she has not touched it yet. Hmm. Uh, because now she's going to be the one who starts with the ball, so they're they're always going to be able to have that in play. Interesting. Okay, so he can't do the portal shenanigans. Okay. Cool. Alright, All right, that, that's helpful. I think it's time to kick. Can I see what this information? He gets a plus one. I'll say yes. Deliberating. I'll say I'll say yes. <laughs> I, I, I do love the Ethan quiet calculations. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta calculate sometimes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah, you go to. I get three. <laughs> uh, yeah, you you go to kick, and uh, she goes to roll the ball. Uh, pretty quickly near you, and it's just a normal whiff as you whiff the ball. Ramhead catches it, and then he'll like toss it up and down in his hand as it just teleports back over to Glamoury. That is so cool how she can do that. Echo kind of says. And <laughs> he just goes, yeah, and she's hot. <laughs> and then she's gonna go to roll the ball. All right, right. <laughs> okay, alright then. <laughs> hey, he's a <laughs> Uh, all right. Do I still get the plus one with this one? Uh, you do, yes. You're, you're gonna have the plus one on all of your actions until you land on a base. Okay. <laughs> yep, once again, she rolls it by you, and this time you, like, almost manage to kick it, and it, like, kind of weaves around you just a little bit so that you barely miss and Ramhead is able to catch it. Tosses it back over to Glamoury. Uh, I'm going to try to provoke her with this next one. Okay. Roll to provoke, and what do you want to say? What do you want to do? Hey, why don't you why don't you throw a fair one, eh? Okay. <laughs> eh? Hey. Oh. Nah. No! <laughs> she, just, it, it, she just is looking straight at you and rolls it, like, while you're saying that. <laughs> oh, if we tried to chemical warfare then we can't we can't be yeah we can't really speak up come on fuck no yeah she rolls it while you're you're trying to provoke her you just are like oh shit you go to kick it whiffs ramhead catches it and jackhammer says one out and glamoury just wiggles her fingers at you a little bit and like sneers at you with a little smile Nah, Echo kind of gives like a little wave and a smile back. Fair, fair, fair. <laughs> Alright. Got one out. Echo makes his way back over to the dugout. Who's next? Uh, Jay kind of stands up like, I could go. Sure, if you, if you feel like you can hit it. I, I feel confident. Then go for it. Yeah, Jay, you make your way over. Mm -hmm. and once again, it's time to kick as she pulls the ball back, goes to roll it towards yep. you. Got it. Cool. All right. That's a full hit. You kick it hard into the air as it goes flying off in the distance. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, you manage to start making the run towards the first base. And you kick the ball hard enough and fast enough that it is able to bounce off of the ground before anybody can catch it, before she could even teleport mm -hmm. the ball around. Uh, but she teleports the ball back to her, and it seems like she is, like, looking over in Eugene's direction. And this is all, like, split-second timing. Uh, but it seems like she's going to want to get the ball over there before you can reach the base. So... Yeah. Roll to run the bases. You got it. Um. 
I actually have an idea that I'd like to do because she she's like looking to teleport the ball to her, basically, right? Uh, she's um, already, she's and... already got the ball. She's looking to get it. She's kind of looking in Eugene's direction. Yeah. So in in that moment after she gets the ball, though, and she's kind of turned away, mm -hmm. I'm gonna say like say I'm halfway there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm going to spend one of my burns, um, and I'm going to make a construct, and I'm going to make a construct of myself right here to make it look as though I have already ran past first base, and I am now running to, uh, or I guess second base, and I am now running to third. Okay, interesting. Uh, for the construct, you just get to create the construct, right? Yes, it, it is created, and it disappears after it has served its purpose, in my opinion. Okay. Um, then yeah, you... and so it, in my in my idea, it would be that if I get to make it to this base right here, then the construct will disappear as soon as I make it. Yeah. Okay. You you are able to create a long range, like almost perfect holographic duplicate of yourself. And again, this is all very split second. So roll to provoke mm -hmm. to see if she is fooled by this and targets the clone or if she's just going to play it safe and still throw towards Eugene like her plan was. Because again, Do I all... get a situational bonus or penalty since I spent a burn or a flare on it? Uh, that's a good question. Let me double check this real fast. Because the powers are interesting. Thank you. I'll say... Not the ingenuity. It, yeah, Because I animate it independently of myself and then it dissolves at the end of the scene. Let's see. Oh, you're. Did you have two points and you're spending both points? No. It only cost one. Spend one burn to create any object with my powers up to the size of a person, and then oh. I animate it independently of myself. Oh, that costs an additional burn. So you're spending two burn to use this move. Yes. Sorry, I'm getting confused. Okay. Uh. I have no burn left now. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> uh. <laughs> In that case, I'm going to say you're going to roll a basic provoke roll just because mm -hmm. this is something that you couldn't do without either using your burn or like mind of their own. So you're getting a new ability from it, a new way to provoke her that can get her target off of you. Uh, but the provoke mm -hmm. somebody is what might give you a bonus. Okay. Damn. Uh, let's see. Yeah, sadly, it looks like that is going to be a miss as you create a doppelganger across the way and she has, like, a quick time thought of, like, what the fuck, they're already there? And then they see that there's still a version of you running towards first base, so she's just, just mm -hmm. going to focus. She's going to throw the ball, it teleports, and changes places with a dagger spinning in the air as Eugene catches the ball right next to himself, plants a foot on the base, and then just looks at you with a sly grin. As oh, you're... do I not get to run to... Do I not get to roll to run? Uh, oh no, you're so right, you do. Uh, so roll to run. Okay, we'll... thank th you. Th we're in the middle of this happening. We're going to see if you can make it before he catches it and puts okay. his foot on the base. <laughs> Yo. All right. Oh, yeah. Then, yeah, you get to pick two from the directly engaged threat list. <laughs> yeah, you did have a premonition. I'm going That's to... Style. <laughs> I'm going to resist or avoid their blows. Um, and I'm going to impress, surprise, or frighten the opposition. Because I think there's a lot of people in the other class that don't know that I can do that. Okay. Then, yeah, uh, you're definitely going to impress them because... In this split second, you're like halfway there and it seems like Eugene's caught the ball and is about to get you out and you just burst forward with insane speed to reach the base before Eugene touched it. But you did have to like either create like rocket boosters or wheels and you did have to transform partially to make this like close that distance. I'm going to say they do like one of those dives again, like they do they dove forward, you know, and as they dive forward is whenever the bottom of their boots basically do that little rocket thrust mm -hmm. forward and they uh, kind of go crashing into the base. Yeah, you crash into the base, Eugene <laughs> like lands his foot kind of on you and he's like, oh, shit, you're fast. And the dust and clears. And you're stepping on me. He just <laughs> removes his foot from you, scoffing and Jackhammer calls it safe. And it's time for the next runner. Whew. As the ball gets teleported back over to Glamoury. I and give yet, a thumbs up to Lily. 
Echo, you, you saw just as slow motion as Jay did for how you're able to analyze stuff. You're like, shit, that was close. <laughs> yeah, ooh, ooh. <laughs> he kind of like tucks oh the collar of his shirt. How heavy is Jay? Pretty heavy. Um, yeah, pretty heavy, honestly. They're, I would say that with the type of metal and the type of like uh, engine and power core on the inside and stuff, they're at least a good like 250 to 350 pounds. Wow. Okay. They all agree. And they're pretty they short do. too. Like in comparison to like their their size. I, I'd imagine they're one of the shorter ones in the group. Um Hey Danny. I never really... Danny looks over to you with a nod and like, you know, zips over to you. Does your do your powers you have super speed, obviously. Uh is there any sort of equivalent boosted strength, do you think? Uh I mean, I guess from the momentum that I'm being carried by, but other than that, not really. I was just wondering if you if you would be able to pick up Jay and just, you know, carry them to just score a quick two uh, home run, basically. Sadly, no. Okay. <laughs> well, if Jay gets off the base at some point, either by scoring or what have you, and someone lighter gets on there, that's something to consider. She gives a nod. What's up, Terry? I think I kind of know what they're going to do. What? Danny, you don't see when you're moving, yeah? She kind of raises or... a brow and she's like, interesting question. Why do you ask? I feel like if they're going to try anything to obstruct your path, it's going to be at second base. But with the cloud person. Mm. I guess that's true. And she's got weather powers, so I have no idea how that relates to my own. I'm just wondering if they put something solid enough in between on your, you know, chosen path, what would happen? Well, if they put something solid in my path, I would crash into it. Hmm. Echo, your necklace is where your little guy stays, right? My earring, you mean? And he gently taps Where's it. Your earring? Yes. And his name is That's Spark? Spark, right. Spark is in the earring? Yes. If someone else took the earring, would Spark go with them? Ethan was Spark. Someone else... Spark go could, yeah. Side. Yeah, yeah, he just, he powers my gear, so. So if someone else could get to second base, then we could just shut down Weather Lady and not even have to think about it. Correct. Oh. Alright, let's get someone to second base. Uh... Echo kind of seems a little hesitant at first uh, as he like takes the earring off. He unclips it from his ear for the first time in a hot minute. Um, and he asks Spark, like, hey, you you okay with that? Spark like tilts its head a little bit uh, inside of the bobble, but it gives a little nod. It seems like Spark is down for whatever you want to do. Okay, so when we get to first base, you're going to go mess with that one over there. And he points to it. Like, just... <laughs> Spark does a little salute as you're holding Don't the hurt her, though. Just be a nuisance. Uh, you're you're going to be rolling the alien tech roll, so you'll get to decide what happens. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's just making sure he doesn't want anyone to, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll but... Call it Operation Switch Spark. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, I guess. Lawrence, uh, like, who am I giving? Lawrence scoffs off in the distance and is like, nah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I think... I think we give it to Gabe. And I think, Gabe, you just score a home run and we'll do it while you're just passing by them. It's a bit early. We could get more, but we also we already have one out. We could get out before we have bases loaded for Gabe. And, mm -hmm. I, and I think if we only have one person on the bases, they're more likely to, I don't know, not even go all out in an attempt to stop Gabe. Because they could think, you know, if they have some trick to try to stop Gabe or try to stop anyone from scoring an important goal, they might try to save it for something more impactful than just one person on base aside from him. Mm -hmm. So you want me to give a spark to Gabe? Yeah. You see worry <laughs> run through his face. <laughs> oh. Gabe, like, looks you over, Echo, and then looks back to Lily and just says, if that's a plan, I'll do it. I think if we can do that, then one lighter person gets onto at least first base, and then Danny can score. If we can get four points... I think we have, I think that's an insurmountable lead at that point. Mm -hmm. Echo, 
tentatively, hesitantly hands Gabe Bark. Uh, roll to pierce the mask. Hmm. Nice. Uh, Echo, as you hand him the earring, the bauble, uh, you don't feel the same pressure from around his body as usual, and you actually notice that his hand is very gently shaken. Mm -hmm. He's going to, hands shaking just a little bit, try to gently attach it to his ear. You can tell he is trying to be extremely careful because it is such a fragile object. Here, here, let me help. And Echo goes to, like, just take it gently from him and go to attach it to his ear with a small smile. Uh, thanks. No, thank you. Just take care of him, okay? He well, we gives you a look in the And goes to just give, you know, uh, Gabe or Echo, the two of them either, uh, like a little fist bump. It's like, all right, this is going to work. Yeah, Gabe returns the fist bump kind of nonchalantly and, you know, uh, Echo, I assume you return it to Lily. Yes, that's his thing. He does it. <laughs> do, do, you, do you give one to Gabe? Yes, he does give one to Gabe. Yeah, he'll give you both a, a little fist bump nonchalantly and just say, All right, I've got this. You got this. He'll make his way out. I'm going to charge my burns and flares. Just wanted to give the heads up. All right. Goddamn. Hell yeah. My god. Yeah, you're you're on the base. <laughs> Eugene goes to say something and you start like powering up. Uh <laughs> like the, the air pressure around you pushes air back, like you're glowing with energy, and Eugene just kinda stops talking. <laughs> this class is full of freaks. <laughs> <laughs> he just kinda Yay. wipes his brow a little bit, and you've got burn. <laughs> Glamory is going to rear the ball back. She's going to roll it in Gabe's direction, and Gabe is going to attempt to make the kick as the ball once again is it's it's rolling towards Gabe. And you all notice that she has thrown a dagger in the air towards Gabe over the ball. <laughs> and Gabe like reflexively tenses his body. His kick misses as the ball and dagger switch places. And the ball lands behind Gabe, caught by Ramhead. The dagger sticks straight into the ground. And Gabe just puts his foot down and, like, looks back to Glamoury and then looks over his shoulder at you, Lily, and Echo uh, as the ball's passed over to Glamoury. As you can tell that, as very rarely happens, if ever, he was actually caught off guard by that. Mm -hmm. But he looks forward again, grits his teeth, plants his feet. She goes to roll the ball again, and this time there are three balls going in an arc towards him, uh, but without even moving, you can see his foot vibrate slightly, as if moving at such an insane speed you can't see it. All three balls are hit, they go flying in the air, uh, and she just sort of cusses under her breath, and they rule it as a home run. Uh, Jay, you're able to run the bases, and Gabe slides yep. along behind you. <laughs> It's so I good to it. see Gabe's confusing ass bullshit also perplex everyone else. <laughs> Wee. Wee. Yeah. Uh, as as they're going, Lily's gonna lean forward deck and be like, "Can you issue commands to Spark from afar to Spark just know to do it?" By the way, Spark should know what to do. I gave them the like preemptive heads up. All right. Is there anything you can do to communicate to Spark? No. Ah, oh, damn. Thinking I about also, it now, no, you probably should have also tried to do something to that guy. He's also got tech and could very well. He, like, does sound shit, you know? Mm -hmm. I just, I can't do anything else. My goggles don't yeah. work now, or my gauntlet. And as mm -hmm. uh, Gabe passes by second base, roll your alien tech. Sorry, Alan. Uh, what is it again? Pre oh, wait, no, I don't have to worry. I just hit the funny little button. Can I? No. Eight. Nice. All right. Partial hit. What does a partial hit do for alien tech? So alien tech basically does the thing and then fizzles. Okay. So, um, is it clear to Echo because he's been around her a bit that her headphones help like concentrate her power, right? Yeah, that's that's the idea that you get. Um, where's the ball? 
Uh, well, the ball now is just... Well, the A ball is now back with Glamoury after Gabe kicked a ball and two duplicates, like, into the stratosphere. Would it be possible to have her create, like, a rain cloud or whatever and to just obscure the middle of the field? Is that what you want the, the one thing that you're doing to the tech to, to be? Basically cover Gabe. Uh, yeah, it's a home run. Gabe has scored. Yeah, Gabe oh. has scored a home yeah, run. Yeah, true. We're, we're trying to, you know, fuck her tech up so that she can't do anything for, like, the yeah. rest of the, you know, inning, hopefully. Or at fizzle, least when so... Danny's kicking, because we're thinking Ooh. the crux of their plan is she is going to be important to stop Danny, which is our 100% sure kill player. Can I have Spark lay in wait until something, if she tries something against Danny, to, like, fizzle that? Uh... You can. Uh, let me look at Alien Tech again real quick. I need to open this up on your sheet. Yeah, you can do it once and then fizzle. Yeah, so basically he just because Sparks now in her headset, he just wants her to wait him to wait until they Alex tries to make a move against Danny, and then cause that to fizzle like not work. Okay. And yeah, uh, Spark will jump into the her headset. And is you you basically just said okay jump into her headset wait until you see that she's like targeting Danny and then shut down her headset. Mm -hmm. Okay, then yeah, Gabe will continue around the bases, make his way back here with Jay, uh, and Jay as you like mm -hmm. slide into the final base, uh, Gabe like slides in next to you. Beautiful, beautiful. That was that was great. Jay's feeling pretty good. I mean, they've gotten to go around now twice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Gabe will just nod to you as he goes to head back to the dugout. <laughs> and then, uh, Echo, he would just hand your earring back to you. He nods and gives a smile. Flips it back on his ear. All right. And he'll go over to the side. It's time to figure out our next kicker. <laughs> I gotta get my little guy back. Spark can zip around. He can zip around. <laughs> Robert's pretty light, right? I mean, he's not like a huge guy. He's like a he's kind of a smaller frog guy. He's he's a he's a leaf little guy. Yeah, he's he's leaf live live. Okay, probably Robert and then Danny. Do you, you think he could probably pick up Robert? She looks over to Robert and uh, kind of adjusts her sunglasses and says, "I." may have explained poorly earlier. When I go fast, I've transformed into a lightning bolt, so I don't think I can pick uh, anybody up. Okay. Then then you just go ahead, because now we Aiden have a place water to bottle. hopefully... <laughs> no, I think she'd kill Aiden oh, if yeah. she tried. <laughs> Aiden, are you salty? He, he just sloshes and shakes his head. Unfortunate. What do you think about that? And then she gives a salute and says, all right, be back in a flash. And she'll make her way out to the field. Get on to home base. And once again, we prepare for a kick as Glamoury pulls back the ball, goes to shoot it forward. And it seems like she just rolls a regular glowing ball ahead as Danny kicks it, and it's a pretty regular kick as it's going to roll across the field. And once again, all of this happens in a split second. First, there is a flash and a boom as Danny lands on the first base. And I want Lillian Echo, can you two roll? Well, actually, all of you can roll. Roll to assess the situation. I feel like I won't have my alien tech because Spark's not with me, so I'm just rolling flat. It's fair. Terry blinked. <laughs> <laughs> and then Jay? Oh, me as well? Yep. Yeah. It's to assess the situation? Yeah. Got it. Okay. Oh, hey! Oh. So... We're going to go, uh, I'm, I'm going to 
have those in the back pocket to see who notices what's happening. But Lily, everything's okay. moving so fast for you, you're just not able to keep up. Terry, same thing. Uh, Echo, your eyes are kind of trained from your survival in the wastes and from having Spark help you, so you're able to keep up. Uh, Alex, you're just you're just cracked. You're just cracked out of your mind, and you're just <laughs> keeping up with everything happening. Like people are moving at mm -hmm. light speed, and you're like, "Oh, you guys are having trouble keeping up with them? That's weird." <laughs> uh, and Jay, of course, you're able to analyze the field. But as Danny lands on the first base and goes to flash forward, Alex, you notice that Eugene kind of smirks when she goes to burst forward, and of course, she is coming towards this base and. Echo, you can see that uh, Alexis's headgear starts to wig out and busts in in the moment that Danny starts her run and smoke starts pouring up from it. Um, but Ale uh, Alex, you also see Alexis give a dry sort of chuckle, though she definitely doesn't seem happy. As immediately as that happens and her headset is at least temporarily disabled, clouds immediately pour out around her and surround oh, that base uh and it completely obscures this area from sight uh echo as you're looking on and jay you are able to glean the same information what seemed to happen mm -hmm. is that spark did exactly what you asked it he activated or i guess deactivated the headset as she was targeting danny and preparing something and it worked it was deactivated, and then her powers poured out around her and just created this massive cloud. Alex, what you're able to see, even in the midst of this split moment that Danny bursts in, is that as she jumps in, it seems like Danny is being ricocheted between clouds inside of this wind tunnel, and it almost looks like a contained storm. And very quickly, there is a pink flash, and when the clouds dis disappear. Of course, you can see everyone again. And Alexis is huffing and puffing. Danny is sadly on her back and a ball is on Danny's chest having just rolled off. Uh, but you also notice that clouds are still pouring up from Alexis's skin, uh, almost in an uncontrollable manner as they swirl around her. Uh, and she's going to kind of look in your vague direction of the dugout, but kind of seems to look for Echo and narrows her eyes at him. Uh, Echo, as the headset turns back on and Spark reactivates, Spark kind of like is still in the headset, kind of like hops out and looks at you briefly. Uh, and, you know, she kind of looks and just says, makes sense, I guess. And... Jackhammer calls it that Danny is out, and Danny flashes back over to you guys, clenching her fists, and she just doesn't say anything as she goes to sit down. Hmm. Well, uh, now we know. Now, Echo, I want you to roll another assess the situation. Okay. Uh, Jay as well. Both of you can. Okay. This is more of uh, something you guys specifically might have insight on. Okay. Yikes. Yeah, Jay, you weren't really able to keep up with the speed. Uh, even Alex caught more of what was physically happening during that. Uh, but Echo, even though you couldn't keep up with what was physically happening around Alexis, you get an idea now, more specifically, what her headset does. It seems that her headset does not... It doesn't empower her. It doesn't really guide her powers it seems to be a sort of limiter that helps her control them and what you just saw was her for a brief moment losing control of her powers oh so just like it's like gabe's suit mm -hmm. exactly ah uh but with that i don't know if you are want to slash are able to call spark back over or if spark's still just in her headset until the end of the game kind of just dormant <laughs> uh can he, like, wave Spark back? But if not, you could say he just sticks with her, because that would be an interesting conversation to have after the game with her. Uh, yeah, you could wave Spark back. Okay. Yeah, Spark um, goes to, to fly across the field. Uh, Echo kind of gives a little smile to him and puts him back in his ear as he looks to Lily. So, yeah, now we know. Um, 
What's the plan? Well, we still scored two points. It's still 12 to 5, even though we couldn't get the one extra from Danny. Like, it's still looking pretty good. Now I think we just played, I don't know, good old kickball. Do you want yeah, to it is. It's 12 to 5, no. so I, I think we've got it. Who hasn't went up? Um, a couple like people, people, like, haven't gone, yeah. Like, Maya, Olivia, Priscilla, um, Lawrence, Aiden. Mm -hmm. Like, these are all people that haven't kicked yet. Yeah, like, I've gotten in the game. Yet. Priscilla, yeah. you want to kick? Not really. You should go up. She just looks over her phone at you. Why? I, know, I look at Maya, and I'm kind of doing the same thing that Echo's doing. I'm like, Maya, you could, you could go out on the field. <laughs> Good for your grades. You got to keep your brand up. She just like she just raises a brow at you and just like shakes her head a little bit. Do you Participation want to... marks, they're a thing. Do you want to try to provoke her to plague, or are you just trying to convince yes, her? Yes, yes. Okay. No, <laughs> Roll to provoke. Wow. Okay. Uh, she gets to choose. Uh. Hmm. You mention this, like, hey, good for your brand, and she's just like, oh, please, it would be terrible for my brand to be out of the field. Uh, <laughs> and you could take, uh, well, you, get, you can gain a critical opportunity to learn more about her as you just hear her be like, oh, yeah, no, if I if I went out and got dirty on the field, no, nah, that's not for me, sorry. Uh, what would I glean from that? Just that they don't want her doing sports? <laughs> uh, it seems like you are able to gather that her brand, and you kind of are able to glean this from what you know about her, but this last little puzzle piece kind of slots in that you're like, okay, so her whole thing is like, she keeps herself like prim, proper, and perfect constantly. And that seems to translate to this, that she's like, nah, I, I don't want to be caught on that field. Cause you know, I could get scuffed, I could get dirty. Like that, that wouldn't be good for me. I go scoffs. All right, well, I tried. I'm looking at Maya here, and I'm like, I'm like, I know you enjoy being out on a sunny day. It's a really nice day. Might be a good day to kick a ball across the field. Maya's like <laughs> pulling herself together from having partially unraveled and is like rubbing her eyes. Real quick, uh, Deco, did Lily want to say or do something? No, I was just going to mumble snide things about Priscilla. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh... Yeah, all right. Well, Jay, as you're, you're talking to Maya, Maya's like, I mean, I could go out on the field, but I'm not going to be a very good kicker or runner. Why not? Be because I'm not. And Olivia kind of raises her hand and says, can, can I kick? I mean... I look at Lily and I look back to Olivia. I'm like, I don't see, I don't see why not. If if Maya doesn't want to, I'm not gonna force Maya. But if you want to kick, Olivia looks to you, Lily. Lily is Lily is at first not looking towards them. She's just looking out at the field. She's gonna rub her eye, rub one eye, inhale, and in her mind she's like, no, she shouldn't. But like, I can't. We're two outs. This will be a third. But I can't say that, because that would be fucked up. <laughs> yeah, you can kick if you want. She gets, like, she bounces in her seat a little bit, and she gets up and goes to carefully walk around to, like, the gate to actually get out and go onto the field. She kind of stumbles a little bit and then makes her way out, and uh, Evan looks to Lily and is like, You sure about this? How could I have said no? Yeah, and I mean, look at the, did you see the cute hop she did? <laughs> Everyone's just nodding like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now and everyone uh, join me, and she puts her hands together, tilt, bows her head, and let's pray that this works out. <laughs> <laughs> you got this, Maya. That's Maya. Olivia. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Olivia. Robert, Robert just says, not cool, Echo. No, no, no. I fucking, that was Will being dumb. I meant Olivia. That was fuck. Um, yeah. She, that was Olivia. <laughs> She she goes out onto the kicker's mound. Uh, Echo, you see Glamoury make the same motion that Wayne made before. Oh, uh, bitch. You. Uh, oh. And she just goes to roll the ball over in Olivia's direction. Uh, Echo, roll to assess the situation. Oh. Uh, well, I'll, I'll give you one answer, but I want to save it. So you have two questions you can ask about the field, about Olivia, state of the game, etc. Does Olivia look happy? Olivia is, she's beaming. She's, it seems like her energy has been like, she's been staying on the bench because she didn't really feel sure about it. But you guys are in such a far lead. She's like, oh, I want to play. So she's happy that she gets to play. Uh, does it look like she's going to use her powers? Uh, no, it doesn't seem like she's going to, considering she's kind of keeping her hands to herself and she's just bracing the kick. Okay, and what was your third thing you're going to tell me? Uh, the third thing is that as Glamoury rolls the ball, you notice that it's not shimmering. Like, she didn't even try to use her powers against Olivia. Oh, Echo relays that to Lilith. Motherfucker. What? I mean, that's just cocky as hell. We say in the jojo time that takes <laughs> as the ball is rolling yeah the the ball's rolling along the way it's a very normal pitch it's not even it, it's like a gimme pitch it's like it's so underhanded uh and olivia swings her leg back and she kicks the ball hard and you guys watch as this is a natural clean home run as she kicks the ball out of the arena and everyone on the field is in oh. awe. They are gobsmacked as Olivia goes, yay! And she gives a little hop and then she goes to like run the bases. Oh. Yes, Olivia, go! Well, she like steps away unparts, from her. Unparts her hands and looks down to them like, did that work? <laughs> did you <laughs> that yeah, really cool? Echo it's looks so real. Like, Who did you pray to? Anyone, really? I don't. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god. She's running. Echo just turns and cheers. He's cheering. He wants her to get back. Like, he's just cheering. He's like, ah! Yeah, she, on her yeah. home run, she is, she's making her way back to home base. Uh, and Lilia, a cold, sharp pain runs through the back of your head for a moment as. You almost feel like you can see a Deja hovering in her shadow, but you blink and it quickly disappears as she lands on home base and happily waves to you all. Excuse me? Ah! Lily, Lily, like, was cheering, you know, once Echo started, like, yo, that's my best friend, let's fucking go. <laughs> uh, and is now like, hmm, maybe this isn't a good thing. And, uh, Olivia's going to skip over and you know, she's looking at you and she's like, guys, look, I did it! And Trifony's gonna just give Olivia a hug and, like, fly up with her in a little spin. And be like, oh, you did excellent, <laughs> darling! And, uh, yeah, everybody's giving everybody's giving their praises to Olivia after managing that kick. I did not know you had that in you. She, like, rubs the back of her head a bit and says, oh, I've, um, I've been trying to work out a bit so I can do better in class. A bit? That's a lot. Echo looks up. How far did she kick that? It just, it went into, it, it like went over the fence in like a, you know, natural area of the field where they're like, damn, that's a home run. So it wasn't like superhuman, wow. but it was, it was a nasty kick. Echo just gives her a high five. You see Glamoury like, like hand in her hair, just like trying to calm herself down. Like she's clearly very pissed <laughs> that she let that happen. Really? <laughs> Lily, as worried as she is about how weird it was to see the Deja, still does call over. What's wrong? The magic stopped working? Didn't see any on that one. <laughs> yeah, you, you call over to her and she just like looks and flips you off before like shaking her hair out. You guys have a timeout if you're winded. <laughs> and uh, you you say that and you know, she's like, you know what? Sure. And she looks over, calls a timeout, and she actually does move off the mound. <laughs>
and in her place. Wayne. Xyla oh. flies onto the field, like aura glowing around him as he lands. It's time for you guys to pick another kicker. Alex will go. She's ready to volunteer. Yeah, oh, yeah, you haven't kicked yet. <laughs> By all means, you could absolutely hit a fucking home run. All right, let's see if this goes any better than last time. Uh, wait, Alex, Alex, wait. Edgar runs after. Uh, he offers a fist bump. She gives it back. Kick ass. He gives a thumbs up. I'll do my best. You got this. All right. You make your way onto the kicker's mound. We'll get... We'll get this. All right, Alex. Xyler, aka Starwalker, is burning with an awesome power, and you can feel the pressure from here as his aura flares up around him. And he doesn't say anything, he just prepares to roll the ball at you. How do you want to respond? Okay. Um, let me see. I want to have a cool, badass moment. I want to use um, my overcharge ability to channel the full capacity of my incredible powers um, and spend two burn to take a 10 plus when I unleash my powers. Okay, so you want to you wanna shoot this into space. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Uh, then, yeah, he is, he is going to rear back. The ball starts, like, it basically bursts into golden flame as you can feel the pressure from here. He throws the ball towards you. It's rolling along at such high speeds that nobody else in the class seems able to keep up with it, but you can. Your aura pulses, pushes outward, and with insane strength and control over the gravity around you, you crack your leg into the ball, kick it as hard as you can, and controlling the gravity of the ball itself, you manage to shoot it straight up into the sky, and you all watch as it, like, bursts through a cloud in the sky, creating a massive hole, and creates a sonic boom in the sky above the school. Oh, uh, yes! Yeah. Jesus Christ. Uh, Echo asked Spark if that wow. broke orbit. Uh, <laughs> Spark is calculating for a second. Affirmative. <laughs> <laughs> and then Xyler is just looking straight up, Alex, as you're, like, flying around the bases, and then you guys watch as he just rockets straight up into the sky, and Jackhammer watches Xyler fly and just calls, home run, he's gonna go grab the ball, but it's already out of play. <laughs> And uh, yeah, Alex, you're able to fly around the entire field, all the bases. You say anything to anybody as you pass, or do you just pass by? I don't say anything, but I go at kind of a leisurely pace, and I make a little bit of, of eye contact with everybody as I go by. Alright. Hey, you guys make your way around, or you make your way around, and you watch as Xyler, like, lands back at the pitcher's mound, holding the ball who's that's been, like, frozen from its time in the upper stratosphere as it like <laughs> melts in his hand to be back to regular temperature and he just gives oh a nod God. to you she nods back <laughs> all right that's an additional point dust to dust i'll like echo is gobsmacked he just offers alex uh he's like you know i i'm happy i wow and he just kind of gives a high five she high fives and says, "Thanks, I I appreciate it." Yeah. Is okay. Is there anyone else <laughs> who thinks they can just crank out a home run? I mean, speak now if you can. Technically, I could, but I already pitched. You did, and how'd that go? <laughs> Nelson raises his hand and says, "I can't guarantee it, but I have a pretty mean kick." Those I said go for it. Go ahead. 
<laughs> okay, wait, first, what did what did Alex say? I said go for it. Okay, then what did Lily say? Lily considered it and then went, those calves are juiced. Go ahead. <laughs> he gives a nod and, uh, like Olivia, with the same giddy energy, he, like, goes out on us. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> Yeah, and he lands on the on home plate, and Zyler prepares to throw the ball. And Zyler rears back the ball, throws it forward, and it streaks through the air, is caught by Ramhead, and he, like, flies back, skids along the ground, and Nelson just stands there, looks behind him, looks back at Zyler as the ball's passed back to him, and just says, I didn't even see it. Uh, and through multiple pitches, one, two, three times, Nelson even trying to create clones to kick where he thinks it's going to go, the ball just whizzes by him with such speed that he is sadly out. With the third Can out... just have him pitch the whole time? <laughs> Can I roll superior to see what the hell he's doing? Yeah, go for it. Jesus, I am on fire today. <laughs> You're on fire. <laughs> yeah, you can you can see like Gloria make her way to the pitcher's mound and talk with Zyler, who's just sort of responding uh, briefly as you're assessing the situation here. You get what is he doing? The... What was he doing with the balls? Like, how is it going so fast? Like, what was he? It seems like he was imbuing them with some kind of energy that just. It was just insane. It's like he made them into like a shooting star almost. That he just coated them in energy that let them burst forward. Wow. Uh how fast were they clocking in at? Uh they were clocking in They were they were very fast. They were like escape velocity fast almost. And oh. and off of that, you also get the vibe that he was holding back. <laughs> Uh, I go look it up with a hand on his mouth. Oh, geez, he was holding back. And with your sharpened eyes, you've got one extra question. Uh... <laughs> How mad does Eugene look? <laughs> uh, Eugene's still like he he's like coming off of it, but he just seems like totally done now. He's just he's just <laughs> shaking his head. Alright, cool, thank you. Alright, with that, everybody is moving off of the field. And it's time for you guys to play defense. Alright. They're so, gonna have their strongest kickers go this time, for sure. Do So, go on. Do you want me on the catcher's mound again? Yeah, I think you're fine there. You can mm -hmm. shoot your portals out to do a lot of, you know, interference. Okay. I think probably just same plan as last innings, mm -hmm. if, if everyone's feeling up for that. Yep, sure. I feel good about that. Jay's going to start heading over there, honestly. All right. We just have to make sure. Actually... Nelson, would you mind sitting out? <laughs> he just slouches and says, I understand. That was subpar performance. No, that's not why. But because I think Priscilla. She looks up at how, you. How about you go on the, the plates? She just kind of... With your several Priscillas. She raises a brow and just says, any reason why Bookworm can't do it? Well, because Bookworm can't flashbang people when they try to run towards them, can he? true but i still don't really feel like going out there uh can i can i as jay start like basically getting hype in front of priscilla and being like come on come on priscilla you think that what do you think you think that i'm gonna do better than you so you don't want to get upstanded do you think <laughs> that like and, and it's kind of doing like friendly gestures now that they're kind of friends and everything jay's mm -hmm. gonna be like come on play some kickball with me I'll let you decide if this is a comfort or support or provoke someone. Uh, I have a zero in both, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to do comfort or support. Okay. 
Yeah! Oh my god! Uh, you're, you're talking to her, and her expression kind of softens a bit, and it's like, this is one of the only times you guys have seen her not, like, stony-faced, just, like, you know, completely disregarding everyone. Right. And she, like, looks around at everyone under her shades, puts her phone away, and just says, Just don't take any pictures of me out there. And she'll go to hop over the fence. Why? Yes! And she'll just go to walk by you, Jay, and make her way out to each base. <laughs> Jay is basically, like, following Priscilla now, like a fucking happy dog, I'm gonna be completely honest with <laughs> Damn. you. <right> here. <laughs> Damn. Uh, Lily, what were you gonna ask? Uh, when Priscilla was, said, like, that's true, but I still don't want to, Lily went from, like, you know, she was, she's enjoying this, she's enjoying getting to, you know, try to be, like, basically team coach type shit. Mm -hmm. uh, her eyes immediately was like okay i'm immediately fed up with this and she had opened her mouth was ready to say something that probably uh would have just been bad for team morale uh and then jay spoke up now she's like all right good that i got interrupted but <laughs> god i hate her evan just kind of chuckles and says yeah i'm surprised she's going out on the field at all yeah i'm surprised she didn't have to send a request to her daddy to see if the little brand property is allowed to do this she's like evan's like oh okay okay yeah let's let's maybe let's maybe not say things like that <laughs> reel it back reel it back <laughs> and uh you guys watch as priscilla is on second base and she creates duplicates that are clearly made of light on first and third base you guys get to fill up the rest of the field I feel like uh, it might be good to have Gabe pitch this time. True. Gabe, you could just clean sweep them with your little cannon arm. Gabe nods and says, all right. And he'll go to slide out to the pitcher's mound. Gabe. Comes back. Can you change your trajectory of something after you've thrown it? Or is that not possible? He thinks on that. It's possible. They might have someone try and, you know, take a headshot. I'm not sure if that would be a good idea considering your throwing strength, but just be aware. He does look down at his hand <laughs> and then puts his hand away and just nods and says, I'll keep that in mind. And he'll go out to the pitcher's mound. And uh, Echo, you you watch as Gabe goes out to the pitcher's mound. I can't. <laughs> like, just the mental image is like, okay, guys, someone will take a headshot from Gabe to get him out and they get decapitated. They're like, <laughs> I completely misunderstand how his power works. <laughs> Dear God, no. Okay, between... Okay, if Gabe's going... Yeah, I think Alex, you still go. And Evan, you still go. And Triff, you probably stay. Triff just... She, like, looks at you and puffs up her cheeks and says, Why can I not be on the field? And Evan just jogs away as you guys talk about this. I mean, I get. I guess you could in place of Evan. It's just, I feel like... I think the idea is that either captain or co-captain is supposed to be on the team. And between you and Alex, Alex is just more likely to win. She just... She kind of realizes halfway through saying that that it's probably not going to be taken well. <laughs> she just looks <laughs> at you. She goes, hmm. Very she well. Has, it's like, because she has gravity powers. She just like, walks away and goes to fly into the nearby tree. Okay, what was I supposed to say there? <laughs> Olivia just slumps her shoulders and say, says, uh, I, um, I, I get what you meant. She has gravity powers. That's going to be way more useful than just being able to fly. And being able to fly is useful. I would put her in over Evan. It's just I think I'm supposed to put Evan in because he's like co-captain. I think that's the idea. Nelson just offers a bit of a sigh and says, it can be difficult choosing the right people for the job. And some people may get their feathers ruffled, but I trust your judgment. And if she is upset, then he just kind of shrugs. Well, thank you. He nods. Danny is like, well, am I heading out there again? I assume so. Yeah, I mean, you're pretty useful, yeah. 
she snaps at you and then hops over the fence and then just zips out into the field. All right, is that everyone? Or was Robert out there too? I forget. Uh, yeah, I was originally out there. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I guess, okay, well, now that I'm counting it again, I guess I, but like, it's already too late. She's already mad. He just kind of looks back towards Trifony, uh, having flown into the tree and looks back at you and just kind of gives a little shrug and is like, eh, you still want me out there. I'll, I'll go, I'll go out there. I understand if you want to binge me for somebody else, though. I feel like she's just going to take it as, like, a pity thing now. Probably. So just just go ahead. All right. And he croaks and hops away. Olivia will move huh. around inside. Terry just takes a seat. Well, let's see how this goes. If we lose this now, I'm not coming back to school. <laughs> the embarrassment would Damn. be too much. <laughs> Lily, you can't You're do that. Your in. grades will slip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bud. That's true, I guess. He just gives a little nod like, yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, project, uh, I didn't chew enough gum, so my grades already aren't great. But whatever, let's just watch the game. In the last inning of the game, gotta hope that these guys don't go too crazy. But let's see how they do. First person up is Jace. And uh, after the first inning, you know, we, we had a whole second inning that we jumped forward on. You guys remember that Jace's kick was nasty. She She's very good at going to get home runs. Uh kind of what her bread and butter is. She, she was able to get a whole sweep of people to come back. Uh, and Gabe is going to prepare, roll the ball forward at her. Uh, and Echo, you can tell that the ball is kind of vibrating in the air as if Gabe is kind of trying to figure out what to do with the ball. Uh, mm -hmm. And you actually notice it's flying way too fast, uh, like dangerously fast. And Jace goes to kick it. And you watch as her leg makes contact with the ball, and it looks like it snaps backwards. Ugh. And oh, then, no! in the same moment, her leg bounces forward and rockets the oh. ball into a home run. And Echo, you look at her leg as it almost seemed like it was made of rubber when she did that. She flashes a grin at you and does a peace sign, and she goes to run the bases as... You know, the, the ball's brought back to Gabe, and he's just, like, muttering to himself, thinking of how to do that better. That goes just pale. He's like, oh. <laughs> yeah, like, that was disgusting. Like, that was disgusting. Jay didn't like that at all, I want to just say. That that was so gross. Like, that was, that was bad. Uh, but she makes it back. And the person who makes it on the field next is Vizula. Mm-hmm. They're sending out their strong people. Mm-hmm. Vizula steps onto the base, and Gabe prepares to throw, uh, and Vizula's going to look back at you, Echo. Roll to take a powerful blow. Oh, what? And he hits you with a baseball bat. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Uh, he looks at you, and you kind of look up at him, maybe as if to even say something. His eyes glow briefly, and he just says, Still? And you go, like, catatonic, and you're just not doing anything. Uh, then he looks forward. Gabe prepares the throw. Another flash happens from his eyes as he mutters something. Gabe goes catatonic, rolls the ball as, like, a gimme, and Vizula kicks it and goes for a home run once again. <laughs> <laughs> and then as Vizula comes back to the base Gabe and Echo you both shake your heads and blink and wake up and Vizula steps on the base um, and just offers you a little smile as he walks by Echo like shakes his head and kind of like holds it goes whoa <laughs> and he disappears what's you... this current scoreboard at 
It um, is 7 to 14. Yeah. Okay. Next person out is going to be Glamoury. Ah, oh, nuts. She <laughs> goes to step on the base, look at you, and just kind of, like, looks you up and down. And he she's winces and, like, kind of, like, holds his hand up, like, don't hurt me. <laughs> uh, Jay, as you go to step forward, Jackhammer blows the whistle, points at you, motions for you to move back. Yeah, I, I, I just put my thing too far. I already fixed it. Um. <laughs> but, yeah. Hmm. Gabe is preparing to roll the ball yet again. Echo, do you have a thought? Uh, yeah, I was going to say Echo kind of lowers his hand, realizing she's not going to do anything to him, uh, and he is going to do something to her and just try to talk her, uh, basically provoke her to miss. Okay. Roll the provoke, and uh, let me know, what what are you saying to her? Are you just trying to distract her? Like, what's what's the deal? Yeah. He's just doing the old, hey, bada bada, swing, bada bada. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's just being annoying a little shit. Roll the provoke. Kapow! <laughs> Damn. Nice. Yeah, uh, she's preparing to kick, and it seems like she's got, like, a glowing dagger in hand, and then you're like, swing, bada, 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 swing! And then she goes to, like, kick a little too soon. The ball flies past her towards you, uh, and Gabe's ball flies at you hard. Roll to take a powerful blow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one from the bottom list. <laughs> Crunch. Uh, gotta pull that up real quick. Here it is. Uh, choose one. <laughs> I could say you give ground, your opposition gains an opportunity. Just saying it hurt his mouth, he can't speak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the ball slams you in the face. Uh. You're, you're like, you catch it, Jackhammer takes it, tosses it to Gabe. She looks at you and says, shut the fuck up, dweeb. Uh, and she, she, like, flits, like, glitter in your face. Uh, and then she's going to turn around. Gabe goes to roll the ball. And she is going to throw a dagger through the air, kick the ball. As the ball is going to go flying, shimmering in the air, she's going to start running and she is going to snap as the ball and dagger trade places, and the ja the dagger's trajectory changes the ball into what is now a home run. Once again, she runs around the bases, comes back at you, and, like, spits at your feet. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Weeb, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> dweeb, 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 dweeb. I feel dweeb, like I've heard dweeb. that, but... Not coming to me. Next up. Oh, fuck. Okay. Wayne gets up to bat. He gets up to kick. And he looks back at you and just says, Well, maybe this won't be so hard after all. And no, yeah, okay, buddy. Gabe is going to roll the ball. And at first, Wayne, like Haley did before, didn't even move to kick. The ball just goes by him. Echo, you catch it. Kind of just hold it up to Jackhammer, who tosses it back out to Gabe. Gabe goes to roll it again. And in a twitch reflex, he goes to kick the ball pretty hard. Uh, it's natural strength as it goes across the field. And he is going to run ahead land on first base as the ball is passed around. You know, Robert catches it with his tongue, tosses can, it over to Jay. Yes. Can I do something to interfere with him running? What do you want to do? Uh, I want to drop uh, if I look in the ice realm I assume there's ice patches. Yes, there are. But I want to create a hazard for him basically in the middle, like in the, in the runway. Alright, yeah. Uh, roll to unleash your powers. Nice. Yeah. Uh, you send a portal flat along the ground uh, ahead of you that creates ice uh, slick along the ground that 
Wayne slips on initially, but he like spins his momentum to just have it give him speed, but it did throw him off for a moment. So Jay, Robert passes the ball to you and you have a moment. What do you want to do? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to go ahead and um... I'm going to honestly use my charge. I have my overcharge ability right now, and I'm going to essentially take this ball in my hand and super thrust it forward uh, to Priscilla um, and take a 10 plus to get it there before he hits the base. All right. Then, yeah, you rocket the ball through the air, supercharged with power. Uh, and yeah, yeah. You, yeah. My arm does turn into a cannon. That's exactly what I imagined because it like it like shots. It goes back and then comes forward doing a quick stop for it to just, like, rocket the ball forward. Yeah, like a piston inside of your cannon arm to launch it forward yes. at high speeds. Uh, and Priscilla's duplicate, like, the, the ball might be off course flying above her, but she creates duplicates in, like, a fractal pattern above her that end with kind of coming back mm -hmm. together, catching it, landing on the base, and Wayne stops, looks back at you, Echo, just offers a little nod. He's like, Okay. And he goes to walk <laughs> off the field. Echo actually gives him a thumbs up back. He he gives you a thumbs down, but he, he keeps walking. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Oh, man. One out. Oh, I should have asked him what dweeb meant. <laughs> All right. Next up. Gloria. Oh, I don't want to mess with her. I like her. She like she skips over to stand on the base, and she looks at you, Echo, and just gives a little wave and says, "Hey, I hope I get a home run." Yeah, yeah. Hey, what does dweeb mean? Uh, I mean it's kind of like a mean word. I mean, why did somebody call you a dweeb? I yeah, no, I just heard it and I didn't know what it meant. So. Oh, who said that to you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, as he's talking to Glory about this, he's like gesturing for Gabe to throw the ball. <laughs> Gabe. Uh, it was. Oh, what was what's their name? Uh, yeah, uh, Gabe is gonna rear back the ball, throw it in your direction, uh, and Glory is like, "Oh, I've 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 had it with them. They're, they've been such bad sports today." And she goes to spin around and accidentally kicks the ball, and it just goes flying for a home run. <laughs> Hey, good shot. What? Ah. Well, I still got a home run, I guess. And she goes to yeah, one of the bases. Did. Good job. It's another person up. Another point. Scores your team to their team 14 to 9 with one out as Gloria prances back around and she's just like, I wish I didn't do it by accident. And she's just kind of like. Many, yeah, how many kicks has that been so far? <laughs> Uh, four. No, five kicks. Five kicks, yes. Okay. Yeah. So it's down to the wire now. Next person I'm really, up. I'm really channeling that one kid from the sand lot. lot. What? I, what? Pixel uh, teleports over to you onto the base. Just goes, hi, Echo. Hey. Hey. Echo does like a double take. How you doing? Uh, I heard somebody called you a dweeb. Yeah, yeah. What does that mean? Uh, it uh, apparently it's me. Oh, I'm sorry. So you, you know what you're supposed to do, right? Yeah, I just gotta kick the ball really hard. No, no, no! You gotta catch it. What? Yeah, you gotta catch it. Oh, okay. The uh, game goes can I to persuade. <laughs> All right, yeah. <laughs> Roll to persuade. <laughs> Actually, this is persuade some. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah. This this counts. This counts. <laughs> Full hit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, she's like, oh, man, that's totally different than what everyone else said. Okay. Uh, Gabe goes to roll the ball at high speed, uh, and she just, like, teleports forward when it bounces and catches it, and then just goes flying back into you. <laughs> <laughs> that girl, like, catches her. 
<laughs> Why does it keep turning around on Echo where Echo takes like the full <laughs> brunt of the fall? He's took seven like three times now. Ch changing the pitcher to be Gabe, but not considering to change the catcher is really funny to me. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I caught it! And Jackhammer just shakes her head and explains the rules to Kathleen again. He's like, oh, I'm sorry. And she'll- Oh, I was, I was wrong, sorry teleports out, hands it to Gabe, teleports back, and she's like, no, it's okay, I understand. And then she's gonna turn around. Gabe's going to roll the ball, uh, and she is going to whiff her kick and miss as you catch it and can pass it over to Gabe. She's got one more kick left. Catching it is like an out. Yeah, I was gonna say, that's like an out, right? Or not out, strike. Yeah, it's a strike. That's a strike, yeah. So, Kat, trick. there's a trick to this next one. Yeah? You gotta kick it really lightly. Oh, okay. It's called a kick, a light kick. A light kick? Yes. Wow, I do stuff with light. That makes so much sense. Echo, you're so and helpful. You, I know, right? And then you're gonna run to the left. She, she like looks forward and just goes, oh, oh, okay. Uh, roll to provoke. <laughs> <laughs> she nods and just says, okay, can do. Uh, Gabe is going to rear the ball back, roll it towards her. She's like watching it as it rolls, teleports slightly to reposition. She goes to kick it, and in the moment where she makes contact with it, uh, she bursts into light in front of you, Echo. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, and then when the light fades, uh, you watch and you're like looking around like, what happened? And you like look up and there's like a glowing ball up like way high in the sky. And she starts skipping like, look, I did it! And Jackhammer blows the whistle, points in the other direction. Oh, sorry. She just goes skipping and you just watch as the ball disappears in the distance. Echo like just looks at Lily like, I tried. <laughs> you just, he's... She nods. And she'll teleport around and then come back and say, oh, I'm sorry I did it wrong, Echo. I must not know my lefts and rights. No, no, you're fine. You're fine. He kind of gives her like a little fist bump. She gives you a little fist bump and then in a flash, she is gone. Okay, so her interpretation was that... Okay, so now she thinks right is left. Because she she got mixed up and then was told to go the other way, so her brain was like, "Oh, that must be left." <laughs> you you damaged her more than you expected to. That's gonna that's gonna fuck her up later. <laughs> yeah, somebody's gonna have to correct that. But next up is Zyler. Oh, God. He oh, no. Walks out with a just a, a flat expression, and he looks to you and just gives you a little nod. I got his little nod back. So, how many, what's the score right now? The score right it's now is 10 to 10 14. 10 to 14. And how many kicks do they got left? This is the seventh. They'll have three left. Yep. Oh, this is... Oh. So, Ethan's trying to go for a direct tie. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying Ethan. to go for a direct tie. What? We are not yeah, seeing any rolls. They just all yeah, get we home are runs in now. Mode, yeah, you, we, yeah. We, we are kind of in cutscene mode right now, <laughs> which I don't think is a good thing. I I, I don't enjoy it. I'm gonna be honest. But uh, uh, Echo, what do you think? Does he have any like his suit? It isn't like mechanical at all, right? Uh, it seems vaguely mechanical, but it doesn't seem to like create his powers. But it, it does have whirly bits. Yeah, kind of. What? what okay. Why are you asking? Uh, I was going to have Spark do some shenanigans, but I got to wait until he hits the ball. But I got to... All right, all right. I don't think I can mess with him. Then but... he is going to prepare. Gabe is going to rear the ball back. Uh, Alex, did you want to do something? Yes, can I can I use gravity to hold him down so he's so heavy when he tries to kick? <laughs> Very interesting you're wanting to do this. Uh, yes, you can. Uh, roll to unleash your powers. All right, it's either unstable or temporary, or you can mark a condition. Hmm. 
I'm stable or temporary. Okay. Uh, you send out your powers to try to hold him down because you are even thinking in your mind, like, okay, this guy's trouble. I need to do something to stop him. And you feel as you push down on him that he seems pretty fine. So you push down more and more and you realize he's able to withstand much heavier gravity than most people. Uh, <laughs> eventually you do push down on him with enough gravity to do something to him, but his eyes flick over in your direction and you make brief eye contact before Gabe pulls back the ball, rolls it forward at high speed, and thanks to being held down, Starwalker is going to send forward a blazing bright kick slam it into the ball and there's like a split second where it seems like nothing is moving as he is resisting the vibrational force Gabe has put into it before kicking the ball forward uh, and then he will start flying as a streak of light through the air and it is coming over into your direction Alex what do you want to do hmm. can I increase the gravity even more yeah, you can. Roll to unleash your powers. Oh, you know what? Actually, I want to I wanna do a fun thing that I haven't done in a while. Okay. Can I use gravity to make a wormhole to make him pop um, up, like over in the stands or in the middle of the field or something? Uh, are you using your burn to, like, move somebody? Is that what you're doing? Oh, I don't have any um, more left. I was just gonna try and use my powers. Okay, okay, yeah. Then roll to unleash your powers, and we'll see how this happens as you try to bend and create a wormhole. Okay, unstable or temporary, or you can mark a condition. Do we or, have do or we... a team point? Or a team point. Bring it to ten. We've got uh, two team points currently. I want to use team point. All right. Then who is helping Alex with this? As Alex is like focusing on Starwalker here. Uh, Jay is on the field. Echo's on the field, obviously. What are we thinking? Does it have to be specifically one of us in the group or could it be Evan who is right next to Alex? That's a good question. I'll say that, mm -hmm. Alex, that Evan can help you. Uh, Evan... I I know they're close, so I feel like... <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so, okay, uh, Alex, you're you're thinking that this is going to be... This is going to be unstable uh, because you're so far away. Because you're used to creating wormholes for yourself, but this is very far <laughs> away from you. So you look to Evan, he nods to you, creates tendrils, and whips you around him in a circle before catapulting you over towards Xyler, like, up in the air. Uh... And, you know, you were able to stop yourself from flying into an area you're not allowed to be in. Uh, but you fly up in the air, you close the gap, and create a wormhole as he is flying forward. And this is all in the brief moment that the ball is, like, flying in the air as he disappears in the wormhole. And where do you want to take him? Whatever, whatever would be most inconvenient for him and, like, take him out of the game. His face. <laughs> uh... <laughs> You gotta have to be more specific than that. That, that can mean a lot of things. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Insane side camping. Put him eight feet underground so he gets like fucking killed by just the, the suddenly appearing in solid matter. <laughs> just explodes. I'll put I'll put him over in this tree next to Triffany. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you, you bend space as you're flying up in the air, getting a better angle. Uh, and a as you do this, you, like, bend, create the wormhole. Xyler wants to, like, m fly and move around it, which he seems able to pull against your gravity. Evan whips forward with his tendrils to tie Xyler down and pull him back into your black hole. And you warp him over into the tree. Uh, which in the distance suddenly bursts into flames. Uh, <laughs> Triffany flies out, uh, just starts dusting herself off. Uh, Jackhammer thinks on this for a minute and just blows the whistle and says, Foul ball! Uh, and 
Xyla's kick is now counted as a foul, and he's only got, uh, I believe... Was that his first opportunity to kick, or was that his second? I actually forget where we're at. First. All right. Then he's going to fly back over and land. Look over in your direction, Alex, as you're, like, kind of getting set back up near Evan. Uh, and Evan just pants a bit and says, Oh, fuck, that guy's fast. Is that, like... Is that literal light speed, or is he just really, really fucking fast? Well, that's a good question. Uh, whew, I'm surprised I was able to keep up with you. Okay. Uh, are you going to try to do that to him again, or do we have a different strategy? Uh, I think we need a different strategy, but I don't know what yet. Mm -hmm. I'm going to refresh the page real fast. Control 20 loves to freeze up on occasion. Echo leans over and just dusts some, like, uh, leaves off him. He just looks at you and nods silently before looking back at Gabe. Gabe is going to bring the ball back, roll it forward, uh, and once again, like last time, there is a collision as they collide with their brute force strength but eventually he is able to kick the ball into the air and start his flight once again. And it is flying high in the sky, and it looks like it's on track to be a home run, unless somebody does something that can stop this. Can I Echo would... make... Oh, yeah, go ahead. No, no, you go ahead. Maybe we could do something together, because the portal idea ain't bad if you're trying to portal That's what I was thinking. back I was down to us. Echo, like, is going to look in the realms. Is there anything he can use in the realms to, like, I don't know, like a wall of ice or something? Like, maybe there's a mountain he can put in front of the ball to, like, make it bounce back? Uh, not in the ice realm or in Megaea, but in Cassie in the fire realm, uh, there are mountains all over the place. Uh, mm -hmm. he's going to try to do that to, like, bounce the ball back so it doesn't go as far, kind of hitting it towards one of the teammates. Okay, yeah, roll to unleash your powers. All right. You can mark a condition or it's unstable or temporary. Uh, unstable or temporary. Okay. Then, yeah, you're able to shoot a portal out into the sky that is just basically a solid rock wall that the ball ricochets off of. Uh, and it almost completely shatters through the mountain and just goes into that dimension, but it does manage to bounce off as it's kind of lost some steam mid-flight. Mm -hmm. uh, but it is going to go in a random direction. And... Let me see who it goes towards. Right back towards Echo, right in his face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as as tempting as that is, uh, it is going to fly down towards you, Jay. Uh, okay. I, I want you to roll to take a powerful blow. Okay. All right. You can mark one from the lower list, but you are, unless you pick something that would go against this, you are going to be able to catch it, but this is, you're basically mm -hmm. catching a meteor in your hands. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to lash out verbally at Echo and be like, is that really the dimension you had to choose? Is that uh, really I'm playing hot potato with this uh, ball. Okay. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to get it to Priscilla here, which is dating. I guess Danny is next to me. Danny is next to me. I could potentially... Could I roll... Should I still roll Danger to try and, like, get it to Danny fast enough so we can get it to Priscilla right away? Uh, yes. Roll Danger to okay. get it to Danny. And then, you know, Danny can try to take All it right. from there. Got it. And handing it off, I'm just like, It's hot! Be careful! <laughs> okay. Ah... That is a miss. We have Dinky. one team point left, so sadly we cannot make it a success. Uh, you do manage to skid over to Danny, and she, you know, zips over to you kind of halfway uh, in order to, you know, she meets you halfway, grabs the ball from you, flashes a little sign. She goes by this base and then zips forward like a lightning bolt. Starwalker flies forward, and in a streak of light with a deafening boom, there is a dust cloud. Uh, but Starwalker has his foot on the base, and Danny, sadly, was not able to get him out. But you stopped him on first base, which he kind of blinks at, looking at Danny, who's just panting in place. Jackhammer calls, safe. 
and Danny will pass the ball back to Gabe before zipping back behind the field. It's time for another kicker to come out. Next kicker is... Alexis. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She's going to step on the base, kind of adjust her gadget on her head a little bit, turning it up a few notches, uh, and she looks back at you as, as Gabe is preparing to roll the ball, and she just says, my gadgets don't create my powers, you know. Yeah, I figured that out. I'm not going to mess with them anymore. You have my word. Yeah, I could have hurt somebody. Yeah, sorry about that. And she goes to look forward. Gabe is going to go to roll the ball, and she is going to go for a normal kick. Sadly, she misses because it's too slow for Gabe, uh, for Gabe's pitch. It goes forward. Echo, you catch it. That's one foul. Pass it back to Gabe. He pitches another fast ball. That's another foul as she misses the kick. Gets the ball back. Rolls it along the ground. And as it comes towards her, she is uh, going... Can I... Oh, yes. Try to... Can I try to just catch, like, speak to her? Like, try to distract her. You can. Uh, he's just gonna be like, but, like, if I were... If they, like, if... if how do they work? Like, I'm really curious about, like, how the, the interesting in uh, inner workings of it. Because, like, it's clear that they, like... He's just running his mouth to try to get her to... About her headset. Okay, yeah. You want to roll to provoke someone? Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, you start talking to her, and you get the vibe that she is immediately unsettled, like as if you're about to mess with her gadget again. You throw her off her game, she swings a kick, you catch the ball, Jackhammer calls it with a whistle blow, and says, Game over. Class 1B wins. Uh, and you all, all of your the students in your class start cheering as your class has successfully ended the inning. You don't have that much time left in class, and it is just an insurmountable lead at this point. Uh, Echo kind of looks at her and just kind of gives a small smile. I do want to know how it works. That does seem kind of cool. <laughs> she groans <laughs> a little bit. Uh... Let me put this on. Uh, we'll zoom in Echo to you and Alexis really fast. As Alexis has her back turned to you when you say that. And she spins around, grabs you by the collar and starts shaking you and says, I almost fucking had it! Why did you do that? <laughs> ah, Shut the fuck I'm... up! Ah. I'm sorry. You're so goddamn annoying. I see what Eugene fucking means now. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> then she just drops you and exhales and just says, don't mess. Don't mess with my gear again, please. Yeah, you got my word. I promise. And he like crosses his heart and just kind of like falls on the ground in like a little bit of a dust. He didn't expect that from her. <laughs> she groans and then does a little sigh and reaches a hand out to you and says, sorry, but good game. You're good. And he takes it and stands up with her and just kind of smiles um, and she goes dusts to, himself off. She goes to help dust you off and she actually snaps and creates a rain cloud to, you know, briefly like blow dust off of you and maybe give you a little bit of a cool, uh, cool bit of spot of rain. I'm sorry for being so damn annoying. <sighs> no, I get it. It was pretty effective. We had to put all of our best kickers out front just to even stand a chance against you guys. <laughs> well, you know, it'll be fine. There's always next time, right? Yeah, there's always next time. Seriously, good work out there. He gives her a little fist. He offers a fist bump. You did good, too. She gives you a little fist bump. And uh, we'll zoom out to Alex and Evan on the field as uh, you, you know, you're, you're kind of celebrating and Evan's nearby. Evan kind of runs up and, you know, gives you a hug and spins you around before setting you down. Like, hell yeah, we fucking did it. Let's go. Uh, and, you know, Priscilla's copies start disappearing from across the field and <laughs> Siler's just standing on the base. What does Alex think Alex. after the game? 
uh, she tells Evan, uh, thank you for your help with that maneuver. It's, it's been a little while since we really got to work together. Yeah, I know. Training has been, uh, I guess, a bit different since the semester started, but always happy to tag team with you. Especially yeah. against uh, stronger opponents. And he kind of looks over <laughs> in Xyler's direction, who walks over towards you. And uh, as he walks over to you, he just has a flat expression on his face and he looks you over and then extends a hand and says, that was a good match. She tentatively takes his hand and, and shakes it and says, um, yes, thank you. It was. He, you know, he shakes your hand and kind of like Gabe, you guys have like a pretty, like a firm enough handshake that you're like, it's almost like a test of strength. But he's not doing it maliciously. <laughs> you can just tell, oh, he's got like, a fucking strong handshake. Uh, but he shakes your hand and just says, you're strong. The one pitching is also very strong. It's interesting. I didn't know there were others like myself at the school. No, well, you're definitely not the only one. He gives a nod and then goes to turn around and walk off the field. Uh... We'll zoom up to Jay, as you're talking to Priscilla here, who is the original, and Danny's just sort of nearby and yeah, on her phone now that the game's over. Yeah, Jay does just run up in a way that's like, we did it! Priscilla's on her phone as well. Danny kind of like zips away to go talk to some people, and Priscilla just goes, yeah, yeah, it was easy good thing I was out here. She kind of smiles and flips her hair a bit. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to uh, kind of guess what kind of uh, reaction I wanted to have to that, because I love that, because I'm pretty sure Priscilla, like, did not really catch anything. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> the whole time yeah, they were... not even flashbang anyone. That was the whole point I put her there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Jay's going to play into that statement and just actually be like, yeah, I don't know if we could have done that without you standing at these bases. <laughs> she <laughs> chuckles and smiles at you and says, yeah, those uh, those home runs were pretty crazy, so I didn't really have a chance to do much, but maybe for the best. It's okay. I feel similarly. I definitely think they stacked all their kickers right then in the end, but we had too much of a lead, uh, a lead anyway. Well, I'm getting off the field. There's dirt everywhere, and I want to make sure I do not scuff anything up, so I'm just going to go Oh, you sit. sure you don't want me to take your picture? I could take your picture out here. I would prefer that we don't, but you can when I'm off the field. We can do, like, a, a photo spot, like, oh, a day out on the field with Priscilla. Just, I'm not actually on the field, you know? Do they have any baseball bats around? I could, like, lean on one. Well, we could we could chop something. <laughs> Jay, Jay's gonna continue that like little back and forth as they both walk uh, to the bleachers. Robert's gonna you know, close the gap with you guys as well. And, oh you know, hell yeah! And just yeah, you know, he he's talking with you guys as well. It seems like he's also ready to like playfully kind of rib uh, Priscilla as you guys are talking and making <laughs> your way back. Uh, but you know, she she just kind of seems relaxed near you too. Mm -hmm. And uh, okay, we'll move over to. Lily and Terry. Uh, what are you guys thinking as you're in the dugout here? Terry's just like sitting back, you know, hands behind his head, legs crossed. No. Well, we did it. Good job, everyone. Yeah, you know, I was pretty on edge all the way up until we got one person out. And then I felt pretty good because at best they were going to get a tie. But, you know, this is the best outcome. Nelson gives a little smile and nod and says, Yes, it was a close game, but I wasn't worried for a second. He gives a little it thumbs up and close. flashes a smile at you. It wasn't really that close, but, you know, I get the idea. Well, we have to be good sports about it, surely. Of course, our class is number one. Of course we'll dominate. Do we have to be good sports about it, though? Well, surely. I mean... Why would we... I don't understand. <laughs> I'm just saying, once Eugene... If I catch Eugene, there's gonna be a little... You know, hey, bud. 
Good to see you. You missed a hell of a game. Oh, you were in that game? Oh, I didn't know. Oh, even there's, tell. there's no reason to do that. They've already lost the game. If anything, we should be bolstering their confidence for next time. No. <laughs> he just, <laughs> his shoulders just slump. Ter Terry, like, lets out, like, a, like a little muff, like, <laughs> a little snort. Look, Nelson, look at it like this. Good cop, bad cop. They have that in Ward, right? Uh, yes, they, they do. I'll be bad cop. You be good cop. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like the sound of that. He just gives a smile with you as he goes to, like, hop over the fence to talk to people, and Nightwalker kind of calls the students around uh, and talks to you all and briefly just says, hey, we've got a little bit of time left at the end of the day here. Uh, not enough for an inning, but basically you guys are just going to be on the field able to hang out and talk to each other until the final bell rings. Uh, so, you know, you guys are able to kind of talk to the other class and just spend the last little bit of time as you wish. Uh, but we are going to take, just here at the end of the session, a brief break as we will be right back. Star Heights Academy. We're back. So yes, uh, the game of kickball has concluded. Our class has won. Uh, if anybody, you know, has anybody on uh, in either class that they want to speak to, or if they want to speak to any of the teachers, they can do so out on the field. Uh, otherwise, you can just spend the rest of this period hanging out, chatting with people, just, you know, relaxing for the rest of the day. I will have um, Alex use this time to go ahead and approach Echo and ask about um, the engineering club helping out with the um, re repairs at the homeless shelter. All right. <laughs> yeah, you, you close the gap with, uh, with you and Echo. Uh, I'm also going to have a few more people that are over and part of this conversation. Echo kind of pauses and waves as Alex comes over. He's like, hey, what's up? Yeah, you're here. Hey, to, um, you're here uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> they, the other three had made their way over to you, and we're all just kind of chatting about about the game. And Eugene had just sort of been pissy. Every, you know, everyone else there seems fine. Even Haley isn't really like glaring daggers at you or anything. And Alex, you make your way over. What's that about? Hey, um. So I was talking with Jay earlier, and they mentioned that um, when they went to go do the volunteering at the homeless shelter, there were a few appliances there in the kitchen that weren't working properly. Um, so I was wondering if maybe you and some of the people on the engineering club might be down to come join us um, next time we go volunteer, maybe help with some of the repairs. Oh, sure. When are you thinking of going? I'm not sure yet. Um, it'll be my first time going out, um, but we will figure it out. Um, I know Jay's going to go. Everybody who was there last time, I think, would. Um, but if you guys would be down to help with the repairs, I'm sure that would be very, very appreciated. Yeah, uh, I'm definitely in. Um, I'll talk to other people, but definitely let Jay know I can show up and help out. All right. Thank you so much. Hey, good job. And he goes and offers like a fist bump again. Hey, you too. She fist bumps him back. <laughs> he uh, nods and kind of says, oh, hey, Eugene. He puts his hand up, does not talk to you, but he looks to you, Alex, and just says, I have to admit, it was a good game. I'm surprised you stood up to Xyler so confidently. Well, it was it was coming down to the wire. I needed to do something. He just smiles and says, oh, I remember what your power feels like. You are scary strong. Gotta give you your flowers. At least some people in your class have flowers to give. He looks over to you, Echo. Uh, does he still have his hand up? Yeah, I know. He's lowered it now. Oh, because I was going to say Echo high fives it when he had it up. <laughs> hey, you high five it. <laughs> hey, you high five his hand and he like shakes his hand off. Thanks for the high five. I know we did pretty good. Ah, <sighs> yes, yes. I suppose there's always next time. <laughs> and then he just goes yeah. to walk away. You did good, Eugene. He just he, he just doesn't answer you as he walks off, seething. <laughs> and Alexis yeah, just sighs and says, I'm gonna go check on him. He's probably pissed. You know, honestly, 
I think I'm fine with losing if I get to see him like this. Good work, yeah, Eugene. Yeah, it's kind of refreshing. <laughs> She'll run off with Eugene. And uh, Haley and Gloria are just sort of chatting amongst themselves since there was a pretty big group here. Um, he Echo kind of looks to uh, Haley and kind of taps her shoulder. Yeah. So about earlier... Sorry? It was a smart strategy to try to mess with us. So, you know. You kick really hard. He kind of like hits his chest very gently. Gloria's like, yeah, I didn't know you had that in you, Haley. Well, I mean, I guess I kind of knew you had that in you, but you never really, I don't know, put forward that much, I guess. Well, I don't know. Seemed like the team needed the help, so I just did. Uh, well, uh, thanks. And, uh, yeah, really, uh, good work, you guys. That was, that was pretty good. I mean, I know we're probably not going to get a lot of opportunities like this since it's hard to line up the class schedules, but I don't know, maybe we set up some smaller game nights and do more together. I, I like being able to hang out with you guys. Yeah, this was fun. But we can't take all the credit. We also had a good leader. And he kind of gestures over Haley's shoulder to Lily. Yeah, the you, you guys, they kind of look over their shoulders in Lily's direction. And Lily, what are you up to at the moment? Uh, Lily had hopped over the fence and was going to come over, but then sees that Eugene is gone and is like, that's the only guy I really wanted to piss off. I don't have a problem <laughs> with the rest of them. <laughs> Nelson's just talking with you like, oh, baby. Maybe this is fate showing you that we don't we don't need to be bad cops. We don't have to be mean to the other team. We should go over there and, and be good sports and tell them how good they did. He's he's just like he's being no, a square. No, if Glitter was there, I would have gone. I would have gone crazy too. <laughs> he he's just being a square. Uh, and you know we'll we'll pan back over quickly to the kicker's mound as you know Gloria gives a smile and says, "Yeah, you know, I'm not really sure what to make of her." I don't know Lily that well, but I mean, I guess outside of, like, the rumors about her, like, the ghosts and whatever, I mean, she seems like she's pretty good at this. Yeah, she's good at calling shots. <laughs> and, I'll uh, give her that. Haley just, you know, looks over her shoulder at, at Lily and gives a nod and just says, honestly, I kind of figured you guys would come in without a plan. We had a plan from the start and had to make some major adjustments, so. And she just kind of oh. looks at Lily for silently for a second. Oh, I knew your plan from the start anyways. I was listening in. She just looks over at you and gives a smile and says, Is that where Lily got it from? No, I'm kidding. I only heard the second half during the first switch. I... Well, yeah. yeah. She kind of looks away and seemed like she was going to say something and then just kind of like dropped it because she didn't care enough to continue and Gloria... No, 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 speak it. Speak your mind. And Echo kind of leans in. Haley just looks at Echo. He gives like a little smile. Well, we had to change our plan because of that. I guess otherwise it would have been pretty boring. Nah. What is, what is it you guys say? Variety is spice of life? And Gloria's like, yep, that's it. You're learning more <laughs> of these uh, Earth phrases, Echo. I'm proud of you. I, you know, it's, I pick it up. I pick them up. Although I don't know, what was it? What did I get called earlier? Kind of taps his head. A, a dweeb? Dweeb, that was it. <laughs> Haley's just like, I'm surprised you haven't heard that yet. I haven't, no. And but I got that in my back pocket now. Gloria gives Glory gives Haley a look and just says, "Well, uh, in any case, uh, <laughs> try not to throw words around too haphazardly. Don't hurt anyone's feelings. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go check in with Great Oak real fast. Um, but hey, uh, again, great work, guys. Uh, if you need me, you know I'm I'm around. Nice day today. She just goes to jog off. <laughs> <laughs> Well, regardless, good game, Haley. 
she just kind of watches as Gloria leaves and then looks to you, shrugs, and then just goes to walk away from you in a different direction. Yeah, that's that's fair. <laughs> I guess as um, he kind of looks over to Gabe and gives a little wave. Yeah, Gabe's like walking over, kind of gives Haley a look as she walks off, and is just kind of. Oh, you, don't touch the don't touch the belly. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I pinged it. Um, yeah, I got pinged it. He steps around it. Uh, um. Hey, Gabe, quick thing. Yeah. Thanks for being gentle with Spark. That means a lot. Kind of looks down to the side. I tried. You did good, thank you. Means it meant a lot. And, you know, he's kind of important to me, so, you know. Well, I didn't want to kill him. I, you, you wouldn't kill him per se, but, you know. Thank you, nonetheless. Right. And then he'll look over to you, Alex. Just offer another nod. Hmm. That's a nod back. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll let you talk if you want to talk. I'll just go over here. <laughs> <laughs> Echo, you go to head back over, and Alex, you look at Gabe, and Gabe is just sort of standing there with his hands in his pockets looking around the field. Doesn't seem like he's going to be very talkative. stand there in silence and Evan eventually runs over puts an arm around both of you and just starts chatting you guys up talking about the game and uh, we'll zoom back over to uh, first Lily and Terry uh, as you guys are just sort of by the dugout chatting a little bit after the game uh, and you know Nelson was just going on about being a good sport and then he he makes it a point that he wants to go congratulate the other team's leaders and goes to jog off to talk to the other team how what a square uh well consistent can respect that i can respect he that is much a sturdy least. square <laughs> indeed olivia is like just steps over to stay out here and is like uh Lily, do, do you like Nelson? What? Do, do you like... What do you mean? Like, do you... Uh... Never mind. Never mind. Look, I can I can admire craftsmanship, can't I? There's not a law against that. He, <laughs> he is built. He is built. I'll give you that. No, he's too much of a nerd, though. He's not my type. Oh, okay. And she just kind of chuckles at that. She's like, I kind of had a feeling. Also, he apparently has, you know, dangerous backstory problems. If the That's Archer a... dude's anyone to take. For, for most with people truth. my age, I think that's probably like a bonus. Hmm. Yeah, just, just looks at you, Terry, because... People didn't widely talk about what happened in that event. She's like, what What do you mean? Oh, uh, yeah, Ar Archer person. He does like a little, like, little bow, like pull back and like let arrow go hand motion. You know that guy? Helmet. Uh, Rumpy. Yeah. Apparently thinks Nelson's dangerous. Also, Nelson doesn't like him. Oh. So it feels like it's kind of biased. Also, technically everyone is dangerous, so it's kind of redundant information. Yeah, I, um... I don't think I could really blame Nelson for being dangerous. Mm -hmm. Well, up. Oh. Slouches back down the chair. <laughs> yes, slumps <sighs> in the chair. And uh, we'll pan down to Echo as you make your way back over to the dugout. Um. Yeah, Echo kind of walks over and gives kind of like waves to everybody. Uh, but he kind of leans on the fence. What is Lawrence doing? Uh, at this point, Lawrence is still just like flipping through his book. Uh, and, you know, he's just sitting by the trash. He's like had noted that the game is over. And now he's just staying over here talking to himself. Uh, Echo kind of like gently snaps, claps his, well, he claps his hands together to get Lawrence's attention. 
Uh, what? I just what? wanted to say good job today. Oh, uh, I mean, whatever. Um, I have, I have a question, though. How are you feeling? You looked pretty sick earlier in class. What? Oh. Uh, I mean, I'm fine. I don't know. Magic can be kind of fucky, so. Was that what was affecting you? Yeah, I was just... Last night I stayed up late and was trying to mix some shit together, and it just, it it went pretty bad, but I'm, I'm feeling better now. Okay, because yeah, it looked like you were having a bit of a panic attack. Well, I'm fine now, so. Can I roll to pierce the mask to see if he's being sincere? Yeah, sure. All right, get one question. Is he being sincere? Uh, in regards to what? If he's fine. Uh, I mean, from what you can gather and you're talking to him, he, it seems like he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm fine, but he does kind of, like, narrow his eyes at you at asking that. I just gives him a small smile. Alright, just was worried about you. Yeah, well, you know, don't need to. Alright, kind of gives a little nod, a little salute off his forehead. As he goes and gives uh, Aiden a high five. Yeah, Aiden's like, oh, good work, Echo! Um, thanks, Aiden. You did good keeping Lily cool. Yeah, I, uh, I think I get now what they mean by water boy. I kind of like it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I'm going to say you did well. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> he gives a small smile as he looks over to Triff and just, um, he's going to start talking with Triff uh, just about how well they did and stuff, just kind of idle chatter. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're, you're talking to Triff and... She kind of, like, opens up enough to talk to you, but it seems like she's kind of got her cheeks puffed out, and she's just, like, sitting arms crossed before she puts that away and just, you know, forces herself to talk to you. Uh, and she'll, uh, we'll move to Jay as, yeah, you're, you're walking and talking with Robert and Priscilla, and, you know, uh, Haley's just kind of standing out in the field as you guys make your way back over to the dugouts. I imagine we're just kind of teasing each other, honestly. Mm -hmm. um, not really like a serious conversation happening right now. It's just more so uh, the back and forth of Jay and Priscilla and probably Robert occasionally jumping in there as well to say mm -hmm. something funny. Uh, I don't really have any specifics in mind, just that we're kind of just joshing around as we start to head back to the dugout. Yeah, you guys are heading back this way. And uh, yeah, I mean, with that, if no one else has anything specific, then, Why is Trip upset though? Do you want to ask? Do you want to see what that's about? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can go for it. You want to pierce the mask? Do you want to just ask yeah. him? How do you want to do it? Uh, yeah, no, he's just gonna be like, "Hey, Trip, what's what's wrong?" Mm hmm. Nothing is wrong. Why do you ask? You... No, I just had your arms crossed when I walked up. Mm hmm. It is a chilly day today, Burr. I'm just keeping <laughs> myself warm. Gonna assess. Or rather, pierce the mask. Yeah, go for it. What's she upset about? Uh, you can tell that every so often she puts, like, a side eye in Lily's direction. And she, like, gets up after you've asked her about this and flutters over the gate and just sort of walks in this direction. And is just like, I am fine. Do not worry about me. Hey, 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 wait, wait, wait. Necker kind of runs over. Kind yeah, of like waves her to follow him for a second. She'll follow you down here. Is this about Lily? No, why would it be about Lily? Well, A, you're covered in fur, so I don't think you're cold, and B, you keep looking at her kind of funny. She just puffs out her cheeks a little bit. I'm fine. I'm not mad. You sound the opposite. Like, talk to me. Roll to comfort or support. Kabow! 
Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Griffin looks at you. <laughs> Good question, Diego. Griffin looks at you up and down and just sighs and deflates a bit and just says, I am, um, how do they say it here? I am pissing? <laughs> uh, I don't think that's correct. I am quite pissing indeed. <laughs> I think it's pissed off, Trip. Oh, yes, that sounds correct. I am quite mm -hmm. pissed off. Mm -hmm. I am... Why? She just kind of lowers her hands as she was, like, kind of, like, moving them around as if thinking. And she just says, You remember, um, the midterms, yes, where we fought against one another? Mm hmm You and Lily, you are both fine warriors. I was quite excited to test myself against you both. You did good. Yes. And... Back then, Lily beat me, which does not necessarily surprise me. It makes me feel complicated. I am happy for her, but I should be better. Hmm. And she would not say my name, and... It confused me and irritated me, but I believe I, um, there's another saying that I am losing, mm -hmm. but I was frustrated thinking about Lily, how this comes so naturally to her and she does not even want it. Meanwhile, I have lost graces with my parents. They are not happy of my position. And to top it off, I do not think that she respects me as a warrior. Egg kind of goes quiet at that and he kind of like taps his chin. Um, looking at where, trying to remember in his mind's eye where she was on the leaderboard given how long ago he looked at it. <laughs> uh, she is... Ooh, she's down there. Echo kind of lets out a sigh, and he just kind of looks her in the eyes. The thing is with Lily is you just got to talk to her and find common ground. Like, I... We didn't like each other, but only until recently we seem to have been, like, you know, on the same page and understanding each other. And really that just came around from common understanding and common goals, but it's not, during that, I don't think it was that she didn't see you. She saw you as an enemy in the situation. Um, not an enemy, sorry, wrong word. Uh, no, foe. that would be fair. I expect that much to give me the respect to fight me as an equal. But even today, I just get the feeling that she does not value me as a warrior. I am just the weak, pampered princess, not smart enough to come up with any plans on her own, not strong enough to fight on her own. That is what my parents say. I still need to be stronger. Otherwise... Otherwise... She sighs a bit. We of the royal family, we must be strong, yes. We are valuable. If mm -hmm. that does that make sense? Yes. I I I understand, uh, but I come literally from a dirt, uh, so I don't under like I can't relate to those expectations because I've never had them on me. I've had other expectations which I say are kinda similar but not quite. Yes. But I can't imagine what's on your shoulders and kind of gives her a small pat on the shoulder yes but our pelts are very expensive my advice to you is find a moment when you know it's just you and her or even go drop by her you know um 
go drop by her like room sometime during free hours and just talk to her one-on-one -on -one and tell her how you feel. That is, I appreciate the sentiment. It is easy to say. I've thought about approaching her before. I have on a few occasions, but it is, she just kind of sighs and you can tell she gets very sad for a second. I should be stronger than this. I face down monsters with ease and yet I look at her and I cannot even raise a finger. I think it's a good first step. She just puffs her cheek out, cheeks out again. I will think about it. He kind of gives her a, a level look with a small smile. I think it's a good way just for you to connect again as well. You know? At least then you'll know what she's actually thinking rather than possibly what your mind is telling you. She just keeps her arms crossed. Yes, I will think about it. She's still your friend. Yes, she is. Then just go talk to her. She just groans a little bit and flutters her wings as she flies up. You see her just fly over into this tree that has the burnt out section of it as she just goes to sit down and look over the field. <laughs> Anchor kind of looks up at her and he gives one last little word of advice before walking off. But he goes, it's one thing I've learned in the waste is that there never is like harm and making sure like making friends and strengthen. Well, there is strength in friends, he says. She still is your friend, Triff. He gives a little wave. He offers a little nod and just sits there as you walk away. All right. That's that. That's that. Anybody else have anything they want to pick up on? Then the rest of the I period. Do. Oh yeah, go on. I was muted. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> uh, when you know Lily would be staying here, staying here, just kind of chatting with people as Echo would approach, would, you know, make some jokes about him being, like, the secret weapon because of how annoying he is and how naturally it came to him. <laughs> and would just, you know, j uh, jab on him about that for a bit. But she, she'd keep looking over and keep an eye on, like, the teacher conglomerate mm -hmm. to just kind of keep an eye on uh, Nightwalker to, like, see whenever he leaves, basically. Okay. Whenever, whenever he gets a moment that he is by himself, essentially. Yeah, you're you're looking over in that direction every so often. You're talking with everybody, and like a little bit of time passes, um, and eventually you look over there, and like the, within the group, Nightwalker just isn't there anymore. And you're like, what? Why the hell? Uh, but then you know you you kind of look down the way uh, from the dugout, and it seems that he's just over here talking to. Uh, talking to Aiden, who is, like, you know, just excitedly sloshing around talking to Nightwalker as he nods, and, you know, it seems like they're talking and passing. Alright, I'll, I'll get back to you guys before, you know, we go back to class or whatever, but just give me a minute. Yar. She stops for a moment, like, she wants to get into, like, did you just say Yar? What does that mean? <laughs> but she's like, no, I'm, I'm, it's important. It's busy. I'm busy. <laughs> Echo gives her a thumbs up and a wink as she walks by. <laughs> as she, like, stops. Olivia you just watch, seems... like, a pirate movie? <laughs> Olivia seems confused. But yeah, you, you walk over, and uh, Aiden and Nightwalker finish up, and Aiden uh, just, you know, starts sloshing over towards Terry and Echo, and Nightwalker looks to you, Lily, and just says, ah, oh, hello, Miss Fox. Hello, Nightwalker. Uh, could we, like, talk for a minute? Of course. She looks over to Lawrence. He looks hey, like... Lawrence, could you go? What the fuck? <laughs> Whoa, in front of the teacher, dude? 
<laughs> Nightwalker looks to him and he just groans. And he's just like, whatever, alright. Fucking got his ass. <laughs> Nightwalker, Nightwalker gives you a little look, but yeah, he'll, he'll, he'll move over here with you. Uh, I'm not gonna. Oh, I just I didn't even realize how close I was to the Trifney tree. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna. You know, I, not get into it now. More so, just want to. Uh, do I have to like schedule office time to like talk about a big thing? I suppose it depends on the big thing. Or like, okay, talking in vagities because. For reasons, do could you? Because you want to help me. You more so than most teachers seem like you want to help me. No offense to the other teachers, I guess. Could you? And this isn't. I'm not. <laughs> this is a real thing I need. Could you fly me to like a European country? He he's giving you a level look. Um, I know it's almost spring break. This is not me trying to weasel into like some cool spring break. This is real, I swear. Miss Fox, I trust you. I merely wish to ask, what is the goal? I have family ties to a place, and I need to go there to learn more possibly from the family member so that I can you know, deal with this. You believe there is even a slight chance this may help you? I kind of have to believe there's a slight chance because it's really I'm really running out of things to find chances in. He nods and says very well. Bring me the information on where we will be going, and I will schedule it at once. Okay. Uh, that's it. Thank you. That's all. Yes. I don't have to. Okay. Cool. I kind of. I don't know. I felt like that would be harder to convince you, to be honest. Miss Fox, I wish to do what I can to aid you, as I've said before. The only caveat is that you must be okay with me chaperoning you, I suppose. He kind of says with a bit of, like, he, he, he says with a bit of a smirk for a moment before dropping it as, like, you know, it, it that's serious, like, he needs to chaperone you, but he's, like, it's kind of funny that that's, like, my, you know, response to this. Okay. You know, I would have been more okay. I mean, I'm gonna agree either way, because I am not in a position where I can say no. But the slight smile you had in your voice worries me more than it would have if you didn't have that. Apologies, Miss Fox. Because look, without... I'm like kind of a big deal possibly in this country, so I don't want to be embarrassed, you know? Hmm. Now I'm back. Interesting. He, he gives a nod and just says, then we will learn to erase our presence, if you should so incline. Oh, okay. That, that sounds cool as hell, okay. He gives a nod and says, and apologies on cracking for a moment. It has been a while since I have been able to help a student hands-on with something such as this. No, it's fine. It's... Like, you know, I uh, complained, but it is fine. It's funny. It's cool. Oh, additionally, are there others that will need to accompany us, or will it just be you on this trip? I feel like this could be potentially embarrassing to have other people present but i guess i'll float it in the group chat i might make olivia come with me just as like an emotional support friend very well whoever will be coming with us just turn this information in with the destination in mind okay i will he offers a nod and if there is anything else you may come to me at any time all right. Th thank you, Mr. Nightwalker. He nods. Also, so are you beefing with Grado? What gives you that idea? 
I don't know, he just it seemed personal, like he really wanted to beat Great Oak's class. He, this time he does smirk and it stays on his face, and he just says, I am somewhat competitive. Okay. Good I get today. it, he's got that kind of like sage-like, holier-than-thou, it's fun to beat, it's fun to beat those types. <laughs> you did an excellent job today leading the class. Thank you. I try. And you succeed. Continue to impress me. Uh, Lily gives a big smile, gives a nod. Will do. And he nods to you, and unless you have anything else, he will, you know, let you go back to the class, talk to people, wherever Lily's no, Lily is No, Lily gives the nod and then would start walking back, and as she does, just mutters to herself, I am so his favorite. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. Anybody else have anything? No. All right. Then, of course, with that, Lily, you join everybody again, and the rest of the period winds down. Everybody hangs out. Uh, you spend some time with students in the other class, at your own class, and the final bell finally rings for the day. And, Jay, you're able to go uh, after school to make a certain request. Uh, you've already sent Alex to mm -hmm. talk to Echo and speak to the engineering club about helping fix the shelter's appliances and whatnot. But yeah. there's something else that you've been planning recently. And mm -hmm. you know that in order to get it greenlit, that you would need to go to the student council. The question is, who Jay would bring with them, if anybody at all. Uh, to speak to the student council? Yes. I know they're also just having a meeting in general today, right? Because Nelson was telling me to go. Yes, they are. Okay. Um, I think that Jay would actually ask Priscilla. Okay. He has you ask Priscilla, uh, how, how do you ask Priscilla? I think as they're like getting ready to go, maybe it'd be like, hey, what are you doing? And Jay would bring up like, oh, I have to go and talk to student council about some things. Uh, Nelson invited me and I also have to ask about a couple other things. Nelson and then there'd be like, you. aren't you the class's vice president? Don't you have to go? Yeah, I mean, I have to go, absolutely. But I guess I, the right word would be Nelson reminded me. Oh. Sure. And yeah, I, I've been doing kind of a shit job of keeping up with it, honestly. And Joe would be mad. Priscilla just looks at you and arches a brow and just says, "What do you need me to come help with?" Uh, emotional support. Or. I basically have to ask some questions to the student council and I'm nervous to be there in general and I think that it would be more fun if you were there. Um. I had somewhere to be after school, but I'll cancel it, sure. Really? Yeah, I don't know. Why not? I don't spend enough time on campus, I guess. No, that's really nice of you. I didn't know you had plans, so if you did want to do the plans instead, that's okay. It's not a big deal. I mean, it's whatever. It was this dumb photo shoot. All right. If, if it's not a big deal, if you're positive. I mean, yeah, again, I, I mean, if you ask me enough times, then I'll probably just change my mind. So we should probably just drop it and say I'm All right, let's go. Yeah, let's definitely start heading that way. And yeah, you're, you're, you kind of discuss with her and figure out like, okay, there's a meeting that is going to be happening and, you know, Priscilla mm -hmm. will like be on standby and then we'll come in after that meeting concludes. And so we'll jump forward a couple of hours. And of course, uh, as is the usual, we are mm -hmm. in the student council room and they, you know, they, they go over what they tend to, uh, different jobs for different clubs. They're going over upcoming events. Uh, they're talking about like 
you know, certain things for the end of the year, since these are all of the lower, uh, like the younger students, you know, th these are the first years. Uh, so there's not a whole lot of relevant events that are happening, but they want to try to start something up on campus just to be fun. They kind of talk about okay. that a bit, bat around some ideas, uh, and eventually uh, the session just, you know, it, it's called to a close. Uh, yeah. Sweet Step says, all right, hey, everybody, see you again next time. Thank you for coming today. And uh, everybody starts filing their ways out. All right. As everybody makes their way out of the room, uh, you know, Nelson gets up from his chair and, and stretches a bit, and uh, Gloria and Zyler also get up, and Gloria looks over and just says, Hey, uh, do you, wanna, you guys want to head to the mall today, or, you know, just do something after school? I mean, we did a lot of running around today, we could probably use some relaxation time. Um... Oh, I, yeah, sure. I'm actually hanging out with a friend right now, so I'd have to ask them and see what they want to do, but maybe. Oh, okay. Uh, well, yeah, you know, we're just going to head out that way, so, I mean, if you guys want to join us, feel free. Okay. Uh, thanks, Gloria. Wiggles her fingers at you as she waves, and Xyla just silently walks behind her, not really <laughs> saying much as they go to head out of the room. And... Nelson just offers you a smile and says, So, what plans do you have? I'm hanging out with Priscilla. At least we're hanging out right now. Uh, she's actually outside the door. Oh. Because she couldn't come in. But I kind of... Yeah, there she is. Yeah, Priscilla steps in after everybody has, you know, left the room. Uh, and she just, like, peeks her head in and looks around and then sees you and Nelson and just kind of, you know, walks over to you guys. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, um, hello, Priscilla. Beautiful afternoon. Yeah, we saw each other like an hour ago. Yes. <laughs> um, do, do you both have business with the student council? Um, I did have to ask about, well, I had to ask about our community service stuff, first of all. Uh, make sure that it was okay that I, we were accompanying, accompanying you for the cleanup and also get the permission to fix everything. Uh, for the community center. Oh, uh, yes. I mean, I I don't think that that should be too bad. Uh, I could bring it up with them on your behalf if you wish. Oh, uh, yeah. That sounds really great. And uh, am I forgetting something, Ethan? Was you, there was, something else I, I was to about to ask if you were forgetting about? something? Uh, you. There was. I a, am forgetting. Something. There was a big event that you wanted to schedule and try to host regarding the shelter that you talked to Chris oh, yeah. about. I wanted to do a car wash. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. I also wanted to discuss having our own charity car wash event so that we could further support the shelter that I've been volunteering at. Oh, that's an excellent idea. I'm sure that would be very helpful. Uh, yes, I suppose I'll, um, I'll get out of your guys' way then. <laughs> Thanks. He gives you a nod and jogs out the door disappears and Priscilla just looks after him and looks to you and says so if you're asking them about something for your club to do why didn't you bring like she kind of thinks Robert or somebody since he's actually in your club because you and I haven't really gotten to hang out in a while and playing on the field today kind of reminded me that I have a fun time whenever we're together she smiles a little bit at that and then gives a little laugh and just says, yeah, this is so fun going to talk to the student council. But, uh... Hey, we were also invited to go to the mall <laughs> by uh, people here in the student council, but... I should probably pass. That is fair. But she gestures to the student council who are kind of talking amongst <laughs> themselves on the other side of the room. Jay suddenly does look a little bit nervous, and, but then just looks at Priscilla and is like, Yep, I'm walking forward to them. You walk around the massive table and uh, see Furin at the end here just look to you and say, Oh, hello. Is there something else you need? I do. Um... As all of you know, that my friendship club has been volunteering to help out the shelter in the city. 
um, well, because of recent circumstances that's been going on with it, I thought that we could have a car wash to raise money to make sure that the shelter stays open and active um, while things are kind of going on with the owner of the place. Uh, they, they look between each other and they, they listen to you as you pitch this. Um, and Maverick speaks up and says, after what happened at the shelter, do you really think it wise to return? Absolutely. I think that what happened at the shelter is a testament of why we have to return. Hmm. Hmm. Zuri's just going to say, well, I mean, I think it's a great idea, uh, but we're going to have a few questions to ask you for actually setting up this kind of event. Okay. And she looks uh, over to <laughs> she looks over to Maverick, uh, and he just sighs and says, "Right, of course." Well, where do you plan to get the necessary cleaning supplies from? Um, we actually determined that uh, we could provide a lot of the cleaning supplies. My my um, a close friend of mine basically works with cleaning and has a good deal of extra supplies that is already available to us via donation. Aiden is made of water and I'm able to transform myself and I believe that I'll be able to transform myself promptly into something that would be quick at washing cars. So everything's already available. He jots this down with a little nod. Very well. And where do you plan for this to take place? That is a part of why I wanted to ask you guys. I was thinking we could do it in the front parking lot. Um, near the school? That will not be possible. Oh. There are no land bridges connecting the island to Terminal City. Oh, I forgot about that. Why did I forget about that? I probably wouldn't pitch that then. Mm -hmm. Um, then we could likely do it in the parking lot for the shelter itself. Mm. I already did get permission from the owner. Considering the owner is indisposed, we will still have to talk to the remaining staff, but that should be relatively easy to swing if they want this fundraiser to happen. I can make those calls. Finally, I will just let you know that the Universal Friends Gathering is going to be in charge of manning and hosting the event. We will not be providing you any extra hands if you want this event to happen. However, I will be present and in charge of the earned money, being the treasurer of the student council, to ensure it gets into the right hands at Haven Park. Absolutely. We already have a lot of people uh, that are willing to be involved. Very well. Your club has a suitable number of people. The task does not seem insurmountable, especially if you invite a few extras like you did with the original assignment. I do not see any problems outside of the return to the scene, but your names have been scrubbed from the news, so this should not pose much of a problem. And, uh, you know, he, he says this, Zuri says, yeah, I agree, sounds good, and uh, Furin nods and they look over to Starlight. He says, uh, uh, yeah, sure, uh, sounds good, and Captain Glint gives a, a little a little bubbling in the tank and uh sounds like you have been passed to do the car washing fundraiser okay thank you guys i i appreciate it yes we will get back to you with information on when this will be happening when this lines up with their schedules and when would actually be a suitable time to bring in enough traffic i will handle that end of things meanwhile just keep an eye out and ensure that your entire club is ready to participate. Uh, absolutely. I'll, I'll make sure to let the club know. And um, yeah, again, just thank you guys. I It means a lot to me. They nod. Maverick just immediately getting to work, uh, making, making a call and pulling up a hologram screen to like do some paperwork and Zuri gives a wave and says, Hey, you're awesome for this. This is going to be a great opportunity. Thanks. I, I think so, too. They okay. I, I know you guys are busy. Yeah. Kind of, like, steps away. Looking at Priscilla, like, doing a little skip back. Mm -hmm. 
It was approved. How do you want to celebrate? Once again, roll 20 is suddenly freezing. So let me refresh. Ooh. I love roll 20. Okay. I can always tell when it freezes when somebody tries to walk and I don't see it in the cameraman. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, you walk over, you say that, and, you know, she's kind of tapping away on her phone and she looks at you and says, oh, uh, congrats. So, yeah, you're doing like a car wash or whatever? Yeah, we're going to do a car wash for the shelter that we've been volunteering at. The owner was just, well, arrested, but... Oh, I did. It was that. totally not his fault. I I really want to sh stress that Chris is not a bad guy. Hmm. This is the Haven Park homeless shelter? Yeah. She's like tapping away on her phone. Hmm. Okay. I could help you out with that. Really? I mean, I'm not going to be washing any cars, God no, but. You know, if I make an appearance and people want to come by, get pictures with the Mirage and get their cars washed, that might help bring some more people in. That's a great idea. Oh my gosh. I know. And then we'll have so many more people show up. Exactly. You're welcome. Thank you. As for celebrating, I am honestly kind of tired after the game today. So do you want to just walk around campus and talk? Uh, sure. Okay. I mean, we don't have to. If you wanted, I guess you were you were asked to go to the mall. I, I didn't think about that. Um, no, I, I can go to the mall anytime. Your schedule's a lot busier than mine most of the time, so. Yeah, uh, sorry. That's fine. It's all right. I'll take the days as I get them. <laughs> um, I mean, really, but if if you want to go, you you can. You you don't have to stay behind. It's really not a big deal. Jay's just gonna go to open the door and kind of hold it for Priscilla. She'll give a little snot, uh, a little smile, and nod, and she'll step through. Uh, and just say, yeah, I uh, I don't get many days off, but can't exactly just be seen in public because then it's not a day off anymore. So I think a walk sounds nice. Our last one was nice, even if a bit uh, sudden. <laughs> yeah. Well, wherever you want to go, I'll just follow around. Um, actually, last time we went for a walk, I took you to my favorite place on the island. Do you want to take me to yours? Oh, I, I um... I don't know if I really have a favorite place on the island. I don't spend a lot of time here. Hmm. Jay kind of, kind of tries to think of another spot, kind of, but then is just like, eh, we could just walk around. She gives a nod, and you guys head on your merry way. And you and Priscilla walk around campus, uh, and you, know, you, you had spoken to Maya about kind of later this evening talking with her about what you learned. Uh, do you want to take extra time with Priscilla and be like, hey, you know, gather more information, we'll talk in a few days. Do you want to meet with Maya late tonight? Or what's your plan in that regard? Um, I do want to talk to Maya probably later tonight. Um, I'm going to spend some time with Priscilla basically while they are not busy. They did cancel going to a full photo shoot to hang out with me. Mm -hmm. So I do just want to like actually take that time to hang out. Um, I don't necessarily need the time with Priscilla to be role played out because I imagine yeah. they're just kind of hanging. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I would like to talk to Maya um, much later All right. in the night. Then yeah, uh, you go on your walk. You hang out with Priscilla for a good couple of hours, spend some time together before she eventually goes uh, off on her own. And you eventually make your way back to the dorms. Uh, later in the evening in order to meet up with Maya and speak to her on what she may have learned.
you meet up with Maya in a section of the dorms. You guys kind of discussed when you would meet up and where in the dorm building. Uh, and would you want to bring anyone else in, or is this just going to be you know, a quick one-on-one -on -one chat with Maya? I think a quick one-on-one -on -one chat. All right, all right. Uh, hey, Jay. Uh, hey. Um, how, how have you been? I know it was a lot to ask, so I want to check in first. Um, it's been fine. You know, uh, been a little straining, but I think it's all right. Uh, sorry, just a bit cloudy-headed, pulling myself back together tends to do that. No, it's okay. Um, yeah, so I've been keeping an eye on everyone, uh, like you guys asked, or well, I guess the other half of the class. Uh, I don't know if you have anyone specific that you have questions about, but I figure these regular checkups would be a good idea. Well, I'm glad we're checking in. Um, did you notice anything? Uh, anything specific? Not really. There are some people that spend a lot of time away from the dorms. There are other people that spend a lot of time in their dorms. Uh, hmm. Some of it's a little weird, I guess. I mean... I've noticed that Danny tends to stay out late almost every night, and Priscilla doesn't really come around often. And... Mm. Lawrence. He... I kind of wish I wasn't watching him. Uh... But <laughs> he'll just, like... <laughs> he'll just sit in the dark, muttering to himself, and... Like, he always sounds just out of his mind, flipping through his book or, I don't know, doing whatever. I don't know if he has insomnia or what, but uh, he tends to be up later than basically anybody else. Mm. And I mean, Aiden just goes to his room, he just seems to turn off when he goes to his room, which is interesting. Um... Wait, wait, wait. How do you mean by that? Uh, he just goes over to his tub and dips into it, and then it's just a tub full of water, and he just doesn't do anything. I I, I guess I don't know what I expected, but he just <laughs> kind of goes to sleep, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I guess that does make sense. That's... That's still so different than what I expected from Aiden. There's nothing nothing specifically weird, though, with anybody? I mean, aside from the stuff I mentioned, not really. So Priscilla's always gone, Lawrence is muttering to himself in the dark, and Aiden just goes back to being water. And Danny is out late every night. Wait, Danny? Yeah. And I'm, hmm, wonder where Danny's going every night. That I'm not sure about. I mean, it makes sense. Priscilla has a lot of business and stuff like that. I mean, Lawrence is magic, or so Terry says, which means that he's probably just doing some sort of spells or something that may, are making him stay up late. And Aiden is water, and he did request a bathtub instead of a bed. But that doesn't make sense for Danny in my head. I, I don't know where they could be going. Yeah, and I wouldn't be able to keep up with her, even if I was watching where she was going, so that's mm -hmm. kind of the end of that trail. Well, this is still good. I'll report it back to the group and see what other people have to say. Watching Danny is probably one of the hardest people to watch, because like you said, they're so fast. 
Yeah, well, it wouldn't be hard if she actually spent any time in her room, but again, yeah. she's out late, she comes back, showers, sleeps, and that's basically yeah. it. Hmm. Maybe I have to try and grow closer to Danny and figure out what's going on. Then again, it's not like they'd tell me the truth if they were actually the traitor. Yeah, that's kind of the hard part, isn't it? Well, thank you. Take a break at certain moments if it is kind of overexerting you, you know? I don't want you to push yourself too far. I mean, can I afford to? Uh, not all the time, but maybe we can narrow it down. I don't feel like it's going to be Aiden, so maybe you don't have to watch Aiden. Things like that. I'll talk to the group and see who else we feel like we can narrow down out of the watch list. Well, if you guys want to know anything about any student in particular, I can tell you what I've noticed. Otherwise, I'll just let you know what jumps out at me, but... I mean, I can stop hmm. watching people if you guys want to narrow it down, but... Don't do so on my behalf. You know, I... What have you noticed from Nelson? Nelson? Uh... He's always either studying or leaving his room in workout clothes or his hero suit. Seems to get really excited every time he gets answers right from his flashcards, but he gets them right, like, every time, so I don't really know why, but he just seems really excitable, I guess. <laughs> Jay actually does, like, chuckle at this, and is kind of like, sorry, I know it's kind of messed up, we're spying on people, and I'm asking you to do that, and I, I know all the context here, but it's still kind of funny yeah, to is. hear about how people are reacting whenever no one, they think no one's looking. It is kind of messed up, but, you know, I mean, we're doing it for a good reason. Um, hmm. And Olivia? Uh, well, you guys told me not to watch Olivia. Oh, yeah, I forgot, I forgot entirely. Oh, I forgot, that was Lily's call. Yeah. So, no idea what Olivia's been up to or Triff, or any of you guys. Hmm. Are you... Hmm. Are you sure we shouldn't also be watching Terry? I know he's in the group, but... Hmm. Now, real quick, out of character... It was Terry and someone else who discovered the the riddle type question, no, it right? Was, it was Echo and Alex. What was it? It was Echo and Alex that discovered that. Okay. And I don't remember what was the exact phrasing of the thing. It was like one of you is a traitor or was it From what you remember from what they said to you? Yeah. The message was someone isn't who they say they are. Someone isn't who they say they are. Hmm. Jay's gonna take a moment to think on that, and then just say, I... I would hate to be... wrong about it not being Terry. I would hate for it to be wrong about it not being any of us. If it turned out to be anyone in the group that I'm in, I think that it would honestly break me. I've grown to trust so many of them. But if it is one of them, then what? Then I would feel like a fool. For not... I mean, we have this... Like how you said, you could just keep an eye on them, you know? And if they ask it, we could say it's for their own safety. We don't have to keep an eye on them, but it's worth considering. 
and doing so would require going behind all of their backs. I mean, I'll... I'll defer to you. I... I get uneasy vibes from Terry. Maybe that's not enough to warrant spying on him, but... I mean, I have the same for Lawrence, and I'm spying on him, so... I don't know. Mm. It's just... I don't know as much about Terry as I could, but I know that he's been through a lot. And I don't want to use his own trauma against him as a reason why we should be spying on him. Oh gosh, he'd never forgive me. He's already super paranoid, too. Yeah. Yeah. I'm... We don't have to make a decision right now. I'll think on it. It's not a bad idea, honestly. If anything, it just clears everybody's names. Right. And I know it's, um... Probably hard to hear. I mean, I guess I am saying this, and you're part of the group, but... Well... You said you don't think it's me, and I, I guess I also don't think it's you, so you're the only person I really feel comfortable telling all this to. Mm hmm But Well, I appreciate it. If you guys change your minds on who you want me to watch, just let me know. Otherwise, I'll keep at it. Okay. I'll run by the group what you said, and we can reconvene about it maybe let's let's say maybe day after tomorrow at the latest i'll try and get in touch with you tomorrow but i know that things have been crazy with class and everything sure just don't tell them everything i said i won't no i i definitely won't she gives a little smile and sighs and just says last thing i need is for people to start trusting me and then lose that that's not what's gonna happen. Don't worry. I, I blame them. If anything, if if I brought up the idea of us watching um, anybody uh, else or not watching anybody else as well, um, I'll I'll make sure that it's kind of something where they think that I was kind of thinking of it instead of you in the certain aspects where you don't want me to tell them. You just let me know. You you tell me what things are okay to tell them. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. Well, we can we can tackle it later. Of course. All right. Well, going back on watch. I'll let you know if I see anything weird. Thanks, Maya. She nods. Then her body will fully unravel into snakes and disperse into the nearby vents. And Jay feels really bad. <laughs> And Jay, you're left thinking about this, thinking about a lot of things. Uh, as the day winds to a close. Star Heights Academy. We return later in the week after the kickball game against Class 1A with your continued lessons with Nightwalker. Over the next few days, your class trains under Nightwalker in the Dome. In your continued lessons on teamwork, you've been tasked with dividing into pairs and coming up with combo moves. For a demonstration, Miss Cruz, Echo, please come to the front of the class. Uh. Yes, Mr. Nightwalker. <laughs> he nods at you approvingly when you when you come forward. Nightwalker opens a holographic panel and hits a few buttons, generating some junker cars nearby. You both have experience combining your powers. Work together and get rid of these. What do you two do? Yes, Mr. Nightwalker. <laughs> so sorry, what was it? It was, there's a bunch of cars, we gotta get rid of them? Yeah, it's just a pile of junker cars nearby. Uh, how many? 
Uh, just like a pile of three or four of them. Uh, Echo looks to Alex and goes, same thing as last time? Sounds good to me. Uh, Echo shoots a portal over to, like, the left of the cars. Alex uses her gravity powers to pull the cars towards the portal. Yeah, you do so. And, uh, what, what Echo dimension... Echo yells, Black Hole! <laughs> yeah, you give it a name. You call it Black Hole. What, what dimension are you sending them to? Uh, but yeah, yeah. Okay. And yeah, you open a portal to the wasteland. Alex suctions them into the portal. Uh, and like a black hole, they are just... They disappear, they are no more, and you close it. Uh, and Nightwalker nods approvingly at you both. Excellent work. By combining your powers, or practicing hands-on tag team maneuvers, you all will come up with new ways to utilize your abilities in tandem for results you could not reach alone. These may be for combat, or other purposes. Speak amongst yourselves, and decide on your partners. And then Nightwalker will look to you both, uh, Alex and Echo, and rather than announcing to the class, he just talks to you personally and says, uh, Given your history together, I would like for you both to exit your comfort zones and work with separate partners. Understood. Yes, Mr. Nightwalker. <laughs> and with that, you all are free to discuss with other students and figure out who your partners are, who you want to figure out some team moves with. Do you know, do we know, like, what we're doing with the partner or we are just kind of have to choose them yeah, prior you, to knowing where we're going you can just figure out uh who you want to work with oh man i uh, just realized i was on the brb screen for the beginning of that but that's fine <laughs> uh i'll fix that in post i'll fix it in post <laughs> uh <laughs> but yeah uh uh your your task here is just to figure out okay who do you think you have synergy with, or who do you want to build up synergy with? Pick a partner, and then just figure out how to work together. You can figure out new ways to combine your powers, or again, physical maneuvers. It could be for combat, stealth. Uh, it could be for a number of things, but you kind of have that freedom to decide on how to build up your teamwork. Mm. Okay. There are so many options. There are a lot of options there. Um, but Jay is going to actually scan the crowd for a second um, and then walk back over to Aiden. Okay, yeah. Walk back to Aiden and he looks at you sloshing around just says, Oh, hey, Jay. I think that we should work together. We're already going to be combining our powers for the car wash. I figure this might be good practice. Oh, that's a good idea. Sure. And Aiden will slosh on over towards you in order to join you and uh additionally working in the dome as you guys have many times you can kind of choose an area that fits what you're trying to do so you can pick one of the natural disasters or you can just go to a regular city street um i think we're gonna go to the city street all right i'll move you guys down here for now as you head off in that direction um, oh, actually, is, is that... What about the fire? Is the fire something? <laughs> yeah, you can go to the fire. Okay, yeah, I want to go there. Okay, then let me... I wanna, uh... I'm especially trying to make myself into a fire truck. Okay. Um, with Aiden being my water sword. <laughs> All right. And uh, I'll, I'll go back through and get some more thorough uh discussions on the team moves once we are uh, have all of our partners picked. But uh, next on the list, Echo, who do you think you want to work with? Uh, get back to me, I'm still thinking. Okay, that's totally fine. Uh, Alex, you have your eye on anybody? I'm thinking about Nelson. I think we could figure out something fun to do when we combine our abilities. All right, yeah. Nelson is, you know, just kind of, he, he seems to be like, you know, arms cr crossed confidently, surveying the class and like waiting for somebody to come to him. And Alex will squeeze her way through and approach. And he'll look over to you and say, Ah, hello there, Alex. Would hello, like, Nelson. Would you like to work in tandem? I think so. I think we could uh, do some pretty cool stuff together. Verily. <laughs> and uh, Verily? <laughs> he says that without uh, skipping a beat. 
<laughs> where would you like to go area wise? Hmm. I'm kind of feeling like this this bridge we might be able to do something with. All right. Yeah, he'll come with you to the bridge. And moving down the list. Uh, again, if anybody has any thoughts on who they want to work with, you can jump out. Otherwise, uh, Terry, you're next on the list. Do you have anybody in I, mind? Oh, I did have an idea with Terry, if Terry doesn't have an idea. Oh. Yeah. Terry would sit back and kind of just wait for people to pick because if this is like we're just dealing with like the disaster zones all he really has to offer is just trying really really hard as a person mm -hmm. so he is not actively looking to partner with someone if they don't have an idea that's fair yeah you said it is we're in the disaster zone or whatever but you said if it's also applicable in like a combat thing it's like it could be relevant right yeah Okay. Then yeah, Lily would go find Terry. Hey Terry, you already teamed up with like Lawrence or something, or are you free? Oh no, I'm free. Okay. You wanna do a thing? Sure. Did two thumbs up. She looks around. Is any of these got like bots we can like beat up? Yeah, you can generate bots in any location. Or again, you can just find like a regular city street if you want to. Okay, yeah, we, we go let's go find a city street. Okay, then I will move you to up here for now. Yippee! And, uh, Echo, you have any thoughts come to mind? Uh, this might surprise you. Uh, Echo is going to go walk up to over to Triffany and give, like, her a wave. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. You walk over, and, uh, Triffany just seems to be, like, thinking to herself and spacing out. When you walk over, she pipes up and goes, Oh, hello, Echo. Pleasure to see you. Hey, Triff, uh, I got a possible idea we could work on if you want to try it. Good for combat. I oh, think. excellent. I would be more than happy. Awesome. Um, let's go find a city street. <laughs> Verily. And she flies after you. <laughs> and I'll move you guys. What's happening? Are they all AI? What's going on? <laughs> they have the Wait, same Summer generated... Slaughter. It fucking started early. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and let me uh, let me pair up the last students based on who's left. We've got these two will pair up and go to this area. Um, these two are gonna pair up, and they'll go down to this area. Let's see, let's see. Ooh, these four are left. This is an interesting group of four. Hmm. Who's gonna lose the Lord Slaughter? He's not losing, he's a fan favorite. Uh, yeah. Wrongly so. Uh, Maya goes over to Olivia, decides to pair with her. They'll move over oh, to the city street. And then Gabe and Lawrence, since nobody went to pair up with either of them, are just going to end up uh, paired up together. And they'll go over to this other ice area. Uh, so first, We'll move down to the landslide zone, and we'll check in with Alex and Nelson. Uh, Alex, off the top of your head, do you have any plans of attack for some combo moves with Nelson? I'm kind of thinking maybe like if we're dealing with maybe like a piece of a large piece of rubble that's fallen onto a car or something like that, um, that I can decrease the gravity um and then um nelson can get his clones to all get in there and help people out and stuff like that okay yeah you create like a massive area or, or attempt to create a massive area of lightened gravity with all this debris and nelson scatters with his clones in order to help move debris out of the way open car doors you know get the drones out of each of the cars uh and remembering how you guys worked as a team in this area before, this is like a, a really nice second attempt at this rescue. Uh, so mm -hmm. really quick, with a plus one modifier, roll to unleash mm -hmm. your powers. And we'll see how okay. these initial rounds go for you. Oh yeah. Yeah, it, no trouble at all. You are able to create like a zero gravity zone 
uh, and it makes managing the landslide super easy for Nelson and his team. Uh, and compared to last time where it was very difficult, you almost think like, oh, if we had a job like this, Nelson and I could just do it, you know, alone together and we'd be able to clear it out. Mm -hmm. We're uh, a good team. And I'm not going to make you guys uh, name anything, but if you, you know, if you think of names for things that you think are fun, you can go ahead and share them. Uh, I feel like Nelson, Nelson would be the one to come up with a name and it would be a very fun, silly name. Yeah. Uh, let's think off the top of my head. Uh, what would Nelson call this? Uh, I think he would just off the cuff, uh, decide to name this Operation Sky High. And... <laughs> <laughs> He'd be very excited okay. to, to go about this with you. Yeah, that's I'm up with that. Uh, additionally, in this area, you see a few other teams working together, of course. Uh, a few of these other duos. Olivia and Maya seem to be having a little bit of trouble figuring something out. Uh, but being in the landslide zone, Olivia is doing a lot of work uh, being able to decay and destroy a lot of the rubble as Maya slips through the cracks of a lot of what's going on in this area with her snakes in order to look for people that need help. So it seems like they're going with a sort of uh, burrowing, tunneling concept in order to find anybody that's been buried in the rubble. Uh, meanwhile, in an area kind of nearby, you see Danny and Evan working together at, kind of away from the rubble of this area as they've created their own sort of combat zone on one of the nearby mountains. Uh, Evan has just created a massive web using his hair and tendrils, and Danny seems to be zipping around with much more control than usual, going along his hair like its power lines, surfing along the top of them. And now, we'll zoom out of this area, and we'll move into the fire zone initially before we move to the city streets. As Jay, you are working alongside Aiden yep. here, and uh, yeah, you, you had a little idea before. What, what are you guys thinking? Um, so the idea that I'm kind of thinking of uh, is Jay, you know, uh, is able to kind of morph themselves so that they can go in water mm -hmm. and go into, like, the ocean and stuff. And Jay is like, I, well, first of all, actually, I want to just kind of assess the situation. Are there people stuck in the building that need rescue, or is the building just on fire and needs to be put out? Uh, it depends on what scenario you want to set up to do this practice in. I guess that's fair. Um... Honestly, I like the idea of if there are people who need to get out right now. Okay. Um, Jay is going to basically transform in such a way so that they're, like, they stand up, bring their arms up, and make a slide. And Aiden's gonna, and call out to Aiden kind of going like, Come on, let's make a water slide! <laughs> oh, you got it, boss! Got it. <laughs> and uh, Aiden's gonna <laughs> jump up and... Uh, because of how his body works, it's yeah. not like if he goes to the top of the slide, he'll automatically slide down and just splash at the bottom. He has some control over it. So he is able yeah. to pretty safely make a consistently running water slide down to the down to safety. That's what I thought. That's how I thought Aiden's powers work, because that's also why I volunteered him for, like, the car wash and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, and, like, if I were a fire truck, he could be the water kind of vibe. Um, okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I was hoping. All right, then let's do an initial roll for Savior to see how well you guys are doing with this combo initially. All right. Oh, I hope this is a good roll. Do I get a plus one for that? You do, yes. Because he's helping me? Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's a full hit. Uh, you are able to very easily craft this massive slide and move it between windows quickly and efficiently to get everyone out of the building. Uh, as they are, you know, all the faceless drones sliding down along the water, which is all waterproof, of course, hopping onto the city street and thanking you before moving away. And, uh, you know, as you're able to unfold the slide and bring yourself back together, you see the building is still on fire. Do you want to additionally try to put the fire out in the building, or are you just going to assess and, you know, kind of focus on getting people out of the, the dangerous situation? I kind of 
be able to do a little bit of both. So I imagine that there's like this moment of like realizing that the, the fire is like roaring really big and it's like, here, let's try what I want to do for the car wash. <laughs> um, and, and the, okay, so you know, this might be like silly, but you know how in Super Mario Sunshine, uh, he has like that backpack that like yeah. sprays the water and can walk around. Yeah. I want to essentially make something similar to that. Okay. Um, yeah, and I, I'm okay with using a mind of their own um, if I need to mark a condition to get the brand new abilities to adapt to the situation, or whether or not you think that's something I could just kind of do in this moment. I, I think this is um, something that you can do, especially because, it, like, Aiden is here helping you as a water source, uh, which is kind of, yeah. yeah, that's the whole point of doing these combo moves. Okay, cool. Then, yes, I would like to um, do that. And would it be Freak or Savior? Yes, we're going to unleash our powers. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Aiden is serving as a water source, kind of jumps into the receptacle and sloshes around, and, you know, if necessary, he can even, like, extend one of his arms over to a nearby fire hydrant, acting like a hose, pumping more water into the pack. Um, yep. You're able to spray water around. You're not super... Uh, you're not perfect yet at being able to control and direct the water, but you're able to get a lot of the fire kind of batted down and controlled, and you know that pretty soon the fire trucks would start coming nearby in order to help you yeah. put out the rest of the fire. So with a little more pinpoint accuracy, you think that you might be able to perfect this move. Okay, great. And of course have uh, plenty of control over the force of the water that's coming out as well. Yeah. How is Aiden reacting to this? Uh, Aiden, the whole time, uh, especially if he has to hook up to a fire hydrant to get more water, he, like, giggles every so often as if it tickles. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's so funny. But he, he, he seems very pleased, uh, especially to be, like, playing firefighter with you. Yeah. And then just one last thing that's kind of on my mind regarding, uh, like... <laughs> this might be messed up, but I have it in my mind and I need to ask about it. Okay. Um, the way that Aiden works, things can be inside of Aiden and Aiden can expand to basically be over them uh, as water. Right. Can we just combine like a fusion? <laughs> You, you could. You I just, I combine? don't know why I, I love the idea for some reason of like, we're putting out these fires, the flames are dying down and stuff. And it's like, oh, wow, they might be doing kind of good in there. And we just step out of the front and I am completely like, submerged inside <laughs> Aiden, like wearing my little like underwater mask thing as well. Yeah, you've got uh, a Aiden like wraps around you in a way and creates like uh uh, basically like water power armor <laughs> around you. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking, is that I'm wearing Aiden like armor and armor, and Aiden's just like laughing because it's like... <laughs> yeah, that's my thought process right now. Yeah, you're you're like, oh man, we're trying so much cool shit, hey, let's just go into the fire and see if this works, and it does. Yeah, no, exactly, and we're like, wow, we're essentially fireproof. <laughs> yeah, you've got the, yeah, you've got the Aiden suit on. Uh, and it works swimmingly. Yes, that... thank you for that, Jacob. <laughs> Just like the fake suit whenever Finn would wear Jake as art. <laughs> That's exactly what my thought process was. Yeah, Night Nightwalker's looking over this, and you know he seems very pleased that you both have synergized quite well. Because you've worked together in the past and on a few occasions, mm -hmm. but you've not really tried to mesh your powers yet, so it's a very natural combination. Yeah. But after this... We will go ahead and move along to the city streets. Uh, I'll change the music a little bit just so we can hear something else going on. So we move over. Oh, I didn't think I, I didn't think it would need a whole map. We're awesome. Of course, we get a whole map. Yeah, we just get a little map. Uh, but we'll zoom in down to the bottom road. See that Lily and Terry here. And what kinds of what kind of situation are you wanting to build with Terry to make it uh, kind of as an example situation for this move you're thinking of? Uh, I guess just like if there's guys 
I don't know, behind some f sorts of cover in areas we can't reach that, like, you know, we need to take care of. Okay. Get this real fast. As... <laughs> I think I picked the one map where I didn't have the robots immediately ready, but they're in the next one, so I'll grab them from there. Here we go. Okay. Terry, do we know, are the robots coded to react to your smoke? Have we ever tried that? Honestly, I don't really remember. I think there was some effect. Okay. The last time I did this, uh, lost control and made a massive fear monster. Well, did the robots seem to not like that? Well, yeah. Okay. We'll just see as Ooh. you're like, you're kind of generating this situation. You're able to see in real time as you're like setting up the simulation. Cars are moving around and creating cover in various areas and the drones will move into position as well oh i was just like literally the the where i was like on the scroll uh was just enough to the left that i didn't see any of the cars i like just moved slightly and i saw them mm -hmm. i didn't realize you were setting it up that way I thought, <laughs> so i was like expecting it in front of us Okay, I thought of this after the, you know, okay, let's back up, I don't know, behind this fire hydrant for safety. Sure. I thought of this after, like crouching. after kickball when we put your smoke in the bottle. Because your main, you know, a, lot, a big issue always seems to be uh, worrying about getting other people caught up in your smoke. Uh, and I can make my ghosts, set, like, I can give them energy to be more, you know, solid. Uh, so what if we just have you breathe your smoke into a ghost? I will give them enough energy to contain it like a balloon, and they can just run at people. Huh. That does sound good. Okay, well, good. you will have to breathe into, like, a guy. So it is a little weird. You know, it's, it's kind of, but, like, it's good. The end result's going to be cool. Yep. Sacrifices we make. I will make a ghost stand in front of him. Yeah, you, you call forth a ghost and you're able to give it enough power so it glows with an ethereal shine to it and Terry, you're able to see flickers of a ghost in a haunting in front of you. Huh. I am never going to be totally used to that. Yeah, and Terry is just going to like blow smoke on the ghost and just hope it, it absorbs it like a sponge. No, right. you're gonna have to. You might have to lean your head in. Oh, like, will that is, is that will that have, can that cause health complications? Is this like probably not? No one's ever studied it, but I would bet no. Is putting my head in like a soul of the damned like a good idea? Oh, you know, He's not whatever. damned. Well, probably. yeah, Terry's just gonna like stick his head like in their like like torso. The ghost starts freaking out a little bit, but it's it, relaxed, bud. <laughs> Terry's just muffled. Yeah, like, this isn't exactly my idea. Like, I'm not having. <laughs> is it, is it, I gave, I gave is it cold? Range. I can take it back. <laughs> is it cold? Like, what's it the... is cold. You you feel like a chill run down your spine. That's unpleasant. God, this is really bad, but whatever. Yeah, yeah and then Terry would just, like, I don't know, blow smoke in the ghost. All right. And yet, if you want to... silhouette of a guy made of smoke. Mm -hmm. this... Spirit's able to sort Honestly, of contain it. It's really bulletproof too, right? This would be really traumatizing for a random person if they encountered one of these things. We've made like a fear ghost. Sure. Yeah, with that, do you want to just guide it towards the enemies and see how it does? Yeah, I just make them run into the middle of them and then I don't know, explode. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> then yeah, let's have you roll uh, Listen Up Spirits with a plus one from Terry. Yippee! And I, I needed it. 
<laughs> you did. What's a what's a seven to nine on listen up spirits? Uh effect is unstable temporary, ghost bring unwanted attention, mark a condition, mark a doom track. What would unwanted attention in this context even be? Uh I guess unwanted attention to the ghost itself. Like it's not necessarily going to surprise them or, or shock them. Oh, that's fine. Alright. He's a ghost, what are they gonna do? Yeah, then it it flies over. Uh, and in, in, it, it ends up flying through the air and kind of into the center of this area is this uh, big cloud of fog. Uh, and they all begin moving to uh, run away from the area in order to try to get away from it. And Terry, I want you to unleash your powers again with a plus one. Yeah, Terry's watching. It's like, wow, this is... This is strangely effective. Couldn't... Yeah, also, could you like make them, them like run through them? Uh, yeah, that would probably de destabilize it enough because I'm making it solid to keep the smoke. That would probably just make it poof. Oh, okay. All right. And I assume you want unstable or temporary rather than yeah. condition. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, the the ghost is going to fly over there, burst out with the smoke, and as they're all trying to run away from it. It creates a smoke screen that coats all of the cars here and manages to wash over all of them, but the smoke doesn't seem like it will last in the area. It doesn't stay up as a smoke screen, doesn't keep the effect longer, but it does manage to affect all of them, and you watch as the robots start simulating fear and, like, some of them kneeling down to the ground with their, like, heads in their hands. Some of them start, like, firing pot shots into the air in the smoke. Huh. This, you know, That's pretty good. Either it hits them and we have people who are writhing in fear or it flushes people out of cover. I feel like either way this would work. Mm -hmm. you watch as, Especially against ranged yeah, opponents. You watch as these two guys start rushing out of the smoke screen as it starts clearing. The other two are just like writhing around on the floor. Well, that was really all I wanted to test. I feel like we proved what we needed to do. I'm gonna yeah, use a good proof of concept enhanced strength just to kick the fire hydrant to make water shoot at the robots just for fun we're okay. done here now <laughs> we we can just get yeah. out of here use roll to roll to unleash your powers to affect the environment i'm so good at that kapow so yeah uh you you hit you you Pulse spiritual energy through yourself, manage to kick the fire hydrant clean off of the street and direct the water flow with your spirits onto one of the, you know, one or both of these guys. And eventually, you know, Terry, you and Lily charge in, just start finishing off the scenario. Uh, and it seems to have worked quite swimmingly. Meanwhile, up the street, around the corner, a little further distance away, We'll close in on Echo and Triffany. And Echo, what what kind of scenario are you wanting to build up with Triffany here? Uh, just like a gang of thugs, like an armed robbery, I guess. Like and they're right. getting in, like they're getting ready to leave. Yeah, let me get this for you then. We'll get a guy here, here. Just another standard squad of four. As they're all starting, they're they're like paused in motion as the simulation is being set up like mid bursting out holding like bags of money and like jewelry in their hands <laughs> that's pretty good um so echo would have briefed triffany before they like while he was setting this up he would have briefed her that um the idea is basically to get her dust over them as quickly as possible by using winds he creates from his portals to kind of spread it there faster than she could naturally. Okay. Makes sense. And yeah, uh, Triffany will nod in, a, uh, in agreement with you, and she'll also note, like, uh, kind of an area a bit further away, maybe around the corner from where the goons are coming out of the store, and be like, oh, we can hide behind your portal, then I will jump out and begin spreading my dust. Sounds like a plan. And she'll follow your lead over to the corner. Ah, uh, fair warning, although you're covered in fur, it might get a little cold. Do not worry about me, dear. 
She gives you a smile. Okay. You, you say so. Uh, he's going to go to get ready to do the portal to spread the dust. All right. Then roll to unleash your powers, plus one. Uh, an echo under his breath. He's not going to yell it, because uh, that would kind of defeat the element of surprise. Uh, but he just kind of whispers to himself, Dust storm. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you manage to tear open a portal to Pagonia, and it happens just as a strong wind is blowing through, a bit of snow carried along with it, as Triffany is going to jump into the wind tunnel and begin spreading her pollen and her, her dust into the wind. And it scatters in a wide area, falling even more like snow over the entire group as they all charge out of the jewelry store and then suddenly slow to a stop and then just start standing there dazed, almost like zombified as some of them just drop what they're doing. Some of them start swatting at the air uh, and Triffany lands and looks at you and just says, Oh my, that would have been more troubling to do up close. I did not expect it to be this effective. What did, can you like control what they see? Mm, I can control it if they look into my eyes, but when they just get my pollen, I am not sure what happens in their in their heads. Hmm. Uh, Echo shrugs. It still worked. He goes and gives her a high five. <laughs> she high fives Echo and just says, "Should I go and look into their eyes? Make them see nightmares?" Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> and then she'll go start flying around and making eye contact as her eyes like flash in their faces. And she'll just like basically get them afraid enough to go into like fetal position to get like, you know, uh, cuffed and ready to be taken by the police. While she's doing that, Echo's just scooping up all the loot <laughs> and securing it. I thought you were about to say, like, scooping it into your bag or something, like, hell yeah. No, 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 no. This, I'm not playing Kirby. <laughs> yeah, you, you you pick it up and, like, the the jewelry and the money bags will, like, disappear and little, like, point bonuses will pop up from your hand. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, with that, you're, you're able to pull together the dust storm and, uh, you know, Trifidy also, like, lands next to you and, you know, in small talk, and just nods along and is like, Oh, I heard you call it the Dust Storm. A very fun name. Do you got any ideas? No, I enjoy the Dust Storm. It reminds me of my home planet. Oh? Yes, the massive dust storms that will cover our planet for years at a time. It is a terrifying force of nature. An apt name. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm glad it worked out. <laughs> okay, ma'am. <laughs> Understood. Mm -mm. But yeah, uh, with that, you, you guys are able to pull together your team moves uh, quite effectively. And I'll move us back to the disaster simulation screen. As everybody's moving about uh, in their duos coming up with these moves. And there are a few people out in the other areas doing various combo moves, but uh, in general, you know, a couple of days pass, uh, maybe a week or so, as you guys are doing these lessons, coming up with combo moves and perfecting them and getting your synergy really down pat. Uh, and after a few days, eventually you finally have a little bit of time to rest in the dorms. As we zoom into the dorms here, you know, it's your free time between classes during this week as Nightwalkers cracking the whip and making sure you guys are uh, at, in top performance. But between classes, you're able to relax in your dorms. Now, out of the group, who has the device that keeps up with the monster's tracking chip? Harry, I want to say. Was I know it? it's not. I know it's not Jay. I know Jay doesn't have it. 
I don't remember exactly who has it, but I know it's not me. And this this could be something that you guys could have decided off screen who was going to be the person to keep up with it. But it, it's a singular. I'm okay device. with it being. It makes sense for Lily. I will say because yeah. you said Lily would if no one else specifically. Lily kind of uh, led that mission as well. Yeah, Terry wouldn't have like any predisposition to try and hold on to that or keep track of it. Mm-hmm. All right. Then yeah, uh, Lily, as you have this device and you're able to keep up with it, you know how often you would keep track of it? Would you just check it every so often? You know, wait to like hear a hear a beep from it or something? How how would Lily go about keeping an eye on this? Uh, could it be an app on her phone that is in the cycle of like five apps she cycles between when she's bored <laughs> from like Twitter to TikTok <laughs> to Instagram to the monster tracker? <laughs> Yeah, that, that makes enough sense. Uh, you can have it on your phone and just sort of cycle it about. Uh, and, you know, every so often you're able to keep up with, like, movement from the tracker or maybe a lack of movement. Uh, you're able to tell what area is the area you left the creature in. Um, and, you know, every so often you just see that it moves and then eventually returns to that area. Uh, and that's that's what you get at a glance. You can also always try to do a little more digging into what you think this might be, if Lily would do that. Sure, I'll try to piece it together. All I'll right. try to BBC Sherlock, see the numbers floating in front of me. Yeah, roll to assess the situation. Man. All right. Yeah, you're... You, you see the the tracker show movement every so often, and it feels a bit inconsistent at first, which you kind of run through your head some ideas of, you know, oh, is it just, is it going out for random hunts? Like, you know, what what could be causing it to leave that area? And you get the idea to kind of cross-reference it with news stories to see if it lines up with anything. and. It seems that while for a little while the mass disappearances had stopped just out of the blue, they've started back up again, and it seems like whenever there are uh, criminals or otherwise, you know, shooting themselves up with uh, hero's blood, and then they just disappear or they're found, uh, like, you know, maybe some of their remains in an alleyway, uh, like their clothes lying on the ground, seems to line up roughly with whenever you would see it leave the area and then return. Okay. So it is, it does seem like it's attracted to the hero's blood stuff. Is it specifically something about when people fucking use it? How strange. How strange. How peculiar. I assume you share this with, with the group whenever you get these findings. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and yeah, you know, you're, you're keeping an eye on this day in and day out. It, it happens a few times, so it's enough to where you're able to be like, you know, okay, I kind of, I, I see a trend going on here. Um, and between studying and relaxing and, and checking this, you, you know, idly kind of swipe around on your phone, and you see a missed call from your dad, which it's kind of strange. You're like, oh, I didn't even notice him calling me for some reason. Uh, but it seems like your dad's left a voicemail. Okay, I listen to it. You turn it on and you hear the following. Hey honey, uh, your mother isn't feeling well. Uh, we, we rushed over to the ER. She, she's stable now, but the doctor said she needs to stay overnight so they can check on her condition. I'll be staying with her tonight. Um, if you need to come back home for any reason, there are some leftovers in the fridge. You can order out whatever you want. Just uh, use the card I left you. Um, but I'll, I'll call you back if we hear anything else from the doctors. Love you, sweetie. And the message ends. Well, we will uh, text her dad. Okay. Just just saying, you know, keep me updated. If anything happens, 
If she gets any worse, tell me first. And tell me right away. Yeah, basically, as soon as you send that, like, may maybe a minute, maybe not even a minute, you, you know, get a text back and he just says, Will do, sweetie. I, I think that's all she would say. All right. Well, with that, uh, if there's anything, any other notes anyone wants to hit on or anybody uh, that you want to talk to in the dorms or on campus or otherwise, you may. But otherwise, with that, the week is going to wind to a close. Can, can I do a thing real quick? Sure. Uh, Echo has that server he found that big one mm -hmm. uh the one he st it was a server wasn't it yeah it was a few like removable drives you were able to pull out can he give those to kenzie to look into yeah sure here let me uh let me set you up with kenzie here real quick is your walking down the hall of the dorms you're eventually able to find her room as you know you've you've been here before you know where her room is uh and you i assume just knock on the door to get her attention yep and uh after a few minutes of just like sitting there you might have to knock again <laughs> he just asked so like he did like a gentle knock like a mm -hmm. uh and the second time he did the <laughs> And she, like, kind of creaks the door open a little bit and sees you, and she's, like, you know, it has, like, her back turned to you. Like, she's looking into her screen. She seems to be, like, messing with stuff, and then when she sees it to you, she just closes the door, uh, undoes the little latch at the top and opens it, and then she'll pull the screen away from her face and pull down her hood. Oh, Echo, uh, hey! Coming for a booty call? What are you hiding? Are you hiding something? Uh, well, no, I'm just working on stuff in my room. I need your help, because this is more your domain. Can I come in? Uh, yeah, sure. Come on in. Cool. Uh, and he goes and closes the door. Echo's never been in her dorm. What is in her dorm? <laughs> uh, <laughs> roll, okay, roll to assess the situation. <laughs> I just realized that. I'm like, Echo's never been in here. I'm curious if it's messy as sin. Let's see, let's see. All right. Yeah, uh, you you come in and yeah, it is it is messy as hell in here. Uh, there is just like clothes, uh, like underwear, just like strewn about. Like she just does not give a shit about where where anything is. Uh, there are like pieces of you know mechanical doodads and what's its that are just on her desk and on the floor that she's been messing with a few open like coloring books that are like half colored in and then have been tossed to the side like crayons on the floor some have been clearly stepped on uh and you see that there seems to be like maybe some leftover food on a plate just on her desk in the corner of the room that she seems to have forgotten about with like a book <laughs> almost like covering it uh and she just says yeah, so, uh, what can I help you with? Um, Echo kind of walks over to her desk as he, like, reaches in his bag. He kind of, like, steps around everything. Um, uh, and she kind of, he kind of, uh, can I put something here, please? I don't want to mess up if you have, like, an organization system. Oh, yeah, sure. And she'll just, like, swipe everything off the desk onto the floor. Uh... Okay. Um, he kind of was like, his little slack jaw to that, but he nods. Uh, and he reaches out and pulls out. It was one big drive, right? Uh, I believe so. Let me check my inventory real quick just to be sure. Mm, removable drives. There were a few of them, apparently. Okay. I so specified that. Yeah, I, th I think you got like two that are maybe closer to like hand sized, uh, maybe a bit bigger than hand sized. Mm hmm. He, uh, he puts the drives down on the, uh, desk. Ooh. What's this all about? Got stuff you need me to delete? 
No, 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 nah, no. Um, I found these when we were out looking into something. Can you, uh, this is your domain. He picks it up and kind of offers it to her. I need you to keep this really on the down low, okay? Oh, uh, okay, sure. Um, so what, you need me to just see, like, what's on these? Do you know what's on these? I do not know what's on these. I found them in a secret underground lab. <laughs> no way. Get out. True. Okay. Um. Cool. Uh. Okay, so yeah, you, you want me to keep this on the download? You, you just want me to hide them, or? I just need to know what's on them. Okay, I mean, I can do that. Uh, they look really old. So, yes. Might take me a bit, but hmm. No, I think I should be able to do it. Again, it might take me a little bit of time though, especially with other projects and stuff. I need I'm I'm trusting you here, all right? You wanted me to kind of let you in, like as I know you when we went up to the movie theater, you wondered cuz, you know, I didn't want to ruin our our time together, but I'm trusting you here. Please do not tell anyone else. She looks you in the eyes for a second and, you know, her her usual kind of cheesy grin, she, like, drops it and looks at you seriously for a second and just says, Okay, I mean, I mean, if it's that serious, I, 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 can, I can keep a secret. Thank you. And, you know, because we're both in the same club and, you know, and he kind of, like, he kind of looks to the side and gives her a small smile. Yeah. But... I mean, what, you're just expecting me to do this out of the goodness of my heart? Yes. I mean, you could at least beg a little. Excuse me? Come on, if you want me to do it, I want you to beg. Beg? What kind? I... Why? I just... Yeah, I just kind of want it. <laughs> Go on, get on your knees. You want me to... Yeah. <laughs> Do I have to? Yes. She's Echo rolls his eyes. Echo rolls his eyes as he kind of gets on his knees and he looks up to her and he puts his hands together as if praying. <laughs> uh, he links with his fingers together. Uh, and he looks her in the eyes. Kenzie, will you please figure out what's on these hard drives for me? He beg a little harder than that. Please, 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 please. Okay, and she extends her her hand to you, and like the back of her hand, she's like, "No, kiss my hand." You just said beg. Yeah, I know. I need you to beg harder. That I just did. That that's the whole. Please, 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 please. That's not nearly pathetic enough. I. Why do you want me to be pathetic? Go on, do it. <laughs> He takes her hand and she wanted him to kiss the back of it. Yeah, just like, just respectfully kiss the back of her hand. Yeah, like a, like a queen type deal. Yeah. Uh, he does that and he looks at her with like a look of like, really? <laughs> <laughs> she takes her hand back with a smile. And she says, okay, now bark like a dog. <laughs> okay, that's, no. <laughs> he chuckles and stands she, up. And she starts laughing at you. She's like, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll check it out. I'll check it out. God, you're so Thank pathetic you. sometimes, Echo. I, mean, I would have just done it if you had asked. Oh, yeah, you're, you're so funny. You know that you're just you're just so funny. <laughs> She's just kind of giggling to herself. He's chuckling too, but he kind of gives her a small pat on the shoulder. Thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah. Um. I mean, you know, it'll again, it'll take a little bit of time, but um, I mean, you know, if I if if it'll help, he gives a little smile. Tell you what. Uh, Echo kind of sorts through his books as he pulls out these files, the three files he took out of at random out of the cupboard. Ooh. I'll give you these to look through as well. She starts, like, she kind of puts them on her desk and opens one, starts flipping through them. He, like, he holds it from her for a second. He holds it from her for a sec. If you say pretty, pretty, please. You're asking me to help you. 
Yeah, I know. I'm just being a little shit up. <laughs> well, then hand him over. Say please. <laughs> she, like, looks at the drives and looks back at you and says, I'll make you bark like a dog. <laughs> uh, the, he just gives her the fucking files. She's like, yeah, that's right. Put your tail between your legs. <laughs> yeah, but she she like... Sets them on her desk, starts flipping through them. And she, like, squints at them and moves them under, like, a nearby light. She's like, did they print these out redacted? What the hell? Yeah, they did. I thought that kind of pissed me off, too. <laughs> yeah, kind of looks at them. Okay. I see, because, like, if you hold things like this up to light, usually you can see the stuff under the ink, but, like, this is just redacted. Like, why would they print them like this? Hmm. Maybe they kept everything on these drives and just didn't think it necessary? I don't know why they were printing them out. Reference? Well... No idea. Uh, they seem kind of scattershot random. Was this all there was? Yes, I just wanted to give you them. No, 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 there's more, but I just wanted to give you them in case, like, you know, there were any connections to the stuff on the drives. Okay, well, I mean, if they are on the drives, I guess if anything lines up with these, I'll, I'll make sure to take a look at them, too. Because, I mean, that's just going to bug me if I don't know what these say. Right? Um, I grabbed one from the beginning date, one from the middle, and one from the end. So you should have a decent possible timeline. Oh, that's why they seem random. Well, that's a good reference point. Okay. Yeah, I think that can work. Okay. You kind of gives right. her a small smile. She cracks her knuckles really loudly. I'll get to work on these then. Thank you. That means a lot. No problem. Um, also, you said to keep these on the down low. I mean, were, were, you, were you, like, the one sneaking around? Were you... Were you with anybody, or... Like, are there people I need to be I... more careful of, or do I just need to, like, not tell anybody? Just... <clears throat> the... The less you know, the better, but depending what you'll find, I'll probably tell you more. You know I love to know stuff, though. I know you do, but do a good job, and I'll tell you more, probably. Okay, 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 okay. I'll do it, I'll do it. I also don't want any teachers finding out I've already gotten in trouble with enough of the staff. Oh, yeah, fuck no. Thank you. You're the best. And he kind of gives her a small, like, <laughs> fist bump. He offers a fist bump. She... <laughs> she goes to, like, pinch your sleeve and give you, like, a delicate handshake. Uh, she, like, sneers down at your hand and just says, Yeah, 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 we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens on the other end of this. Fair enough. Um... Stay out of trouble? <laughs> if you can make me. I cannot. I truly cannot. <laughs> he says, as he gives her a small smile. She'll offer you a little wave, wiggling her fingers, and she'll just say, uh, Oh, so I'll, I'll lock the door when you're out, so, you know, don't don't worry about that. Thank you. Um, kind of gives a little nod. Uh, I can just get through doors he, he like locks the door for her and then he just opens the portal <laughs> oh thanks you're welcome then he kind of just walks out <laughs> as the portal yeah as the as the portal shuts you watch her go to like just drop down onto the floor and some of the stuff that she swiped off her desk like the metal pieces are on the floor and you just hear oh shit and then the portal closes <laughs> <laughs> yeah there's that all right i guess you just go back to your dorm to relax now yeah, uh, as I... Just one last little thing. Uh, is that butterfly still in the jar? In your room? Yeah. Yeah, you've still got it. Nothing's changed with it at all. No, it's just fluttering around in there. You just have it in an empty jar, and it's just fluttering around. Happy as can be. It didn't need, like, food or anything, like... No. Also, actually, uh, roll assess the situation. <laughs> Stuff's missing from my room. Slasher's back. <laughs> Yeah, this is the the uh, part where <laughs> Lasher fucking attacks you again. The butterfly is exactly three centimeters wider than last time you saw it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're looking at it. Sharpened eyes. I do have sharpened eyes, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, you do have sharpened eyes. Yeah, so you can ask one question about it. Why'd you make me roll for superior? <laughs> <laughs> do you want a little bit of information, or do you want a specific bit of information? Uh, a little bit of information. Okay. Dependent on what you were making me roll for. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, 
when you're like looking at the butterfly, you're, you're, you're checking in on it, and it's kind of been a while. I don't know, where like, where does Echo keep it in his room? It's on his desk. Okay. It's on his desk with his other stuff. It gives off a little bit of light, uh, so maybe sometimes it kind of feels like you're by candlelight, and you're like, oh yeah, the butterfly. Uh, and sometimes you kind of forget it's there. Uh, and the butterfly is just in there. You don't notice anything, like, different about it. But, you know, with your sharpened eyes, uh, you're able to tell, now that you're looking at it, kind of thinking back, that there seems to be a trend that whenever you're, like, doing something and you're letting Spark kind of free roam, uh, you note that every so often Spark's attention will kind of be on it, but it seems like Spark doesn't like going into the part of the room that the jar is in. Interesting. Okay. Noted. Good to know. Spark just doesn't like butterflies. Yeah, Spark fucking hates butterflies. It doesn't get them. <laughs> it doesn't understand them. Why do they fly? Why do they, how do they work? Um, but yeah, Echo would sit down and start working on probably some homework and before turning in for the night. Mm -hmm. Alright, you turn in. And is there anything anyone else wants to do before we wrap up? No. Sounds pretty good. Then, the week will wind to a close, and Nightwalker continues to train you all on teamwork and synergy, and you know, the lessons continue on as you all get better and better working with each other, with your other classmates. And lessons continue on and on. And now we can do our funny end of session moves. Yay! It is time. We're here. We've made it. And uh, as always, we will go down the list. And this will include, uh, you know, from today and also the... Uh, the, the kickball game, what you guys are thinking for end of session moves. But going down the list, Jay. How's Jay feeling at the end of this week of teamwork exercises? Oh, really good. Honestly, they have a lot of plans happening. They have a lot of stuff coming into fruition. Mm -hmm. um, I hope that Echo uh, does end up discussing things with uh, the engineering club. Um as well oh yeah we can with with alex having gone to ask echo and uh, we, we can assume echo has gone to the club and kind of started helping make these preparations oh yeah i'm just i'm just throwing shade <laughs> um <laughs> what do you what do you mean what do you mean you go to Rolled. kenzie to those are secrets <laughs> but not to ask about charity work that i've been working on no i'm kidding um, i thought you'd want that to be its own separate thing i'm sorry I'm not doing... I, I, I have no control. Um, I grew closer to the team. Makes sense. Um, yeah, it was it was good. It was very good. Um, and what is it? It's uh, give influence to that character and clear condition or mark potential. Mm -hmm. um, and if, you, if they already have influence, then they just get to shift your labels. Hmm. Funny. <laughs> you know what? It's I, this is some well-deserved influence. I'm gonna give influence to Aiden. Okay. Yeah. I feel like it makes sense. I I already have influence um, from Lily, Alex, and Terry mm -hmm. uh, at the moment. Um. And I, not necessarily. I don't want to shift my labels, but I I do feel like that that whole exercise with Aiden probably just made us closer, and we're already pretty good friends. Yeah. Makes sense. You guys are just getting even closer working together. Mm hmm. I want to see Aiden move up in the ranks just a little bit. Mm hmm. Kind of talk with him about that a bit. You know, it seems like he's trying. Yeah. All right, then we'll move down to Echo. Uh, I think he grew closer to the team, more importantly, Lily, because, like, he's kind of at that stage where he's like okay lily is a good leader mm -hmm. uh so he's gonna get a, give influence to lily and oh would you look at that lily has influence of him already hey Daco, how do you want to shift his labels uh
Do you want me to send you them? No, I'm thinking. <laughs> I'll send mundane them to you anyway. <laughs> Probably freak down, mundane up, because that's sort of she would like you to be. She enjoys Echo more when he is uh, less of a freak. I can't move mundane up anymore. It's already at three. What the? Which scale? is wild. Yeah, it's maxed out. He's he's more in tune with human society now than he's ever been. I think that I'll put it in a general chat so you can take a peek. I guess danger up then would be the next one. Because in her mind, she was like, you were a good little foot, foot soldier for kickball. You took orders very well. Yippee. You should be, be better with dealing with dangerous situations. Yeah. Makes sense. Cool. The <laughs> result of his high mundane is him barking like a dog. He never <laughs> barked like a dog. That's he was he so said. close, though. Literally, uh, if, no, he, if would, she pressed no, him no, one no. more time, <laughs> no, he no, would have gone, no. yip, yip. <laughs> no, no. I will not take this slander against my Echo character. has a nightmare tonight about, like, uh, Kinsey standing over him giant, and he, he's in, like, a dog costume and being forced <laughs> to <work. laughs> Like a dog Oh, yeah. uh, That's cursed. All right. There we and go. Then I think I get to mark potential, don't I? Uh, let me double check. Or clear some addition. Yes. Or clear a condition. Uh, I'm gonna mark potential. All right. Next up on the list, we got Alex. Mm hmm. Um, I'm gonna say she's feeling pretty good. Um, and I would say, um, probably feeling closer to her image of herself. Um, with having a pretty successful attempt um, at during the kickball game, uh, being able to use her powers and not really cause any collateral damage and then doing some some good teamwork with Nelson. Mm -hmm. So, hmm. Yeah, it means you get to shift your labels. Hmm. Mm -hmm. See, yeah, I like my labels though, so now it's a dilemma. Hmm. I mean, how do you think if she's moving into her image of herself? <laughs> is there anything that you feel like, you know, maybe she feels a little less like this, a little more like this, just, you know, kind of character wise, narratively during this time? Um. Maybe mundane up and either danger or freak down. That makes sense. See, so I'll increase mundane and I'll, I'll decrease freak. Makes sense. Yeah, she's she's feeling normal and in tune with other people. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. Then next up, Terry. Uh, Terry is growing to like an image of himself. Okay. Um, there's a traitor somewhere. There's invisible people everywhere. Yeah. She's had to plan tactics, teamwork, solutions. Mm -hmm. Not mundanity, superiority, assess, provoke, never be vulnerable. Yeah, yeah. no, mundane's going down, superior's going up. <laughs> okay, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> His eyes are fucking peeled and he is not feeling normal. That totally makes sense. <laughs> all right well finally we've got lily that would backfire so hard <laughs> <laughs> we'll use this concept of time uh, i think lily has grown closer to uh terry makes sense he helped in in planning some funny stuff for dodgeball came up with the get the smoke over to the other guys idea mm -hmm. and then you know doing the teamwork thing to come make that into like an actual little shrat they can do with ghosts was sort of fun yeah i'm right. thinking the name smokescreen thoughts mm. smokescreen 
No, most not screen. screen. Scream. Oh, that is actually. Oh, I, that's I do fun. like that. I, I was like that. Fear Ghost Kamikaze Attack. Smoke but... Scream is pretty good. <laughs> I do like that. All right. Well, yeah. Then uh, Terry, add that you have influence over Lily. Uh, oh. I think it looks like she's I already, already have that. It looks like she's already on yeah, your list. Yeah. But... Oh, okay. Oh, I, I see. All right. So you, so you just have to move my funny labels. Um, what is Paranoid have... Terry going to want to see out of the Surely mundane up, right? <laughs> no. Yeah, can I see the labels real quick? Uh, yes. It's so funny, too, because if if you guys really want to shift a label above <laughs> plus three or below minus two, and you're like, no, nothing else makes sense, then that would just inflict a condition. But you, you can choose to do that. But you don't have to. But I just think it's funny, because that's what would happen if you tried to do that. No, my, like, Terry thinks, so Superior is the one going up, like, almost 100%. I'm trying to think of, like, how Terry would think that needs to happen, though. Mundane's already at minus two. Terry doesn't think, like, Lily's, ir like, irresponsible and trust too easily, so that's not the issue here. Um, I was gonna be Savior down, Superior up. You gotta look up for number one. <laughs> He's so right, but what a shame. That Savior, I think that's the first time I've ever had it positive. Damn. Yeah, Terry just wants to see her look out for number one. Understandable. Alright. Well, then after that, we just have uh, the Nemesis question. Which I did, I do think I did from the little conversation with Nightwalker last time. That's true. You did do that. I did. So you can I fucking, I had to hunt him down like a bird of prey. <laughs> just to have that fucking conversation. <laughs> Yeah, you got that. You got that, so you can mark potential. Mark potential. I want to also do that because of growing closer to Terry, and sure. because do I, I have to roll my obligation. Remove angry. Uh, no, you don't have to roll your obligation. Okay. Well, every so often, we roll Terry's obligation uh, between sessions whenever there's a notable time skip. If I had you roll that every time after sessions, though, holy shit, criminals would be attacking the school daily. Pincer would actually be a recurring character. <laughs> Pincer is not one of his contacts. I, uh, That's funny. That's his a con shame. His contacts are. Uh, well, I don't know if Terry, if Kai wants to be open and transparent with who his contacts are, but he knows. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, former boss, uh, former uh, like workforce buddy, and a train. <laughs> God, the less we see of the conductor, the better. <laughs> He'll be back. <laughs> All right, well, with that, the week winds to a close, and thank you guys for playing. I think we should get the conductor fired.